战，你就是有两名新人，然后又有这个节奏的不同，嗯、所以我觉得提 buff 会有点多。我们相信他们，但也不要。给他们太大的压力，不要给太大的压力。今天就是尽量的去追一追分、嗯，享受比赛，对吧？至少积累可以积累经验、嗯。那么对于昨天来说，大家都会认为 A 七发挥的确实非常的出色。我们在这里也专门准备了一段混剪的片子，一起来感受一下。但实际上这一局我们的发挥啊非常有竞争力。没错。也有优点，然后在优点过后，在一圈的时候，其实梅西啊，包括这个炸弹王都是在我们前面卡着我们，我们点位就已经起来到这种低点位置。呃，这个现场氛围是真好，因为去年是、呃、我没有去土耳其现场嘛，然后我、呃、其实从这个呃聊天的过程当中啊，就一直听大家说现场的氛围特别好，特别燃，特别炸。就回到我们和平精英职业联赛的呃观赛过程当中，我觉得大家如果有机会的话，也可以更多的到线下，对，啊、呃，给支持的战队给予一些他们需要的氛围。是的，但是我们今年春季赛不是一直在搞这个票务活动吗？是的，有很多应援的活动，大家都可以过来参加一下，因为我们每周的应援活动都会不一样。没错。那他这样确实昨天猛猛发力啊，而且是他们的核心选手一开始应该并不是。在过去的，说实话，这场比赛啊，本身实在是太舒服了。他们在最后出房间，我觉得好多就是平时细节操作还是有瑕疵的。是的。Sound check one two two one two two one two two one two two guys hello 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 welcome welcome sorry I was setting up my vertical stream. Um, <coughs> you might get deaf. Is it is my sound loud? 全来了。Wait, what are you talking about? 那一刻他们全都来。你看，这四个人当着你的面跳桑巴舞，这谁受得了？啊，但是确实不得不承认，昨天的。Wait, are there multiple sounds? What do you guess me? 非常的出色，但是我们今天的评论区也提到了一点哦，就是我们有一位同事持有不同的想法。哎呀，你直接说我名字就行了，我不看好 A 七啊，因为这个 A 七，呃，他打过四届。全球总决赛，然后呢，一开始的两届他们都是第九，嗯，然后呢，最近两年的两届都是第三。我才肯定。一个共同特点就是第一天上半场或者是整个一天的发挥都很好，然后第二天睡了。我觉得呃，可能这一次呢有一个不同的观点，就是他因为本土。Let me let me let me open the official ones. One second. 是他们的粉丝，呃，可能从这个主场作战的心态上来讲。It's very hard to manage like two stream at the same time. Guys, bear with me a little bit. 你要说这个细节上的复盘的话，我觉得其实，呃，不管是 I C B 还是 R C B， 包括呃，东南亚赛区的这个 Boom 炸弹王三支战队，其实都是有着非常强大的追分潜质。我觉得就 Alpha Seven 关于 Today's the day two, guys. Today's day two. 稍微有点点这个拿分的势头减弱啊，这个原因还是跟他们的这个擅长的打法相关的。哦，至少昨天有圈，他们证明他们圈的是对对对。但是在接下来两天如果没圈的时候，他们能不能拿分呢？对。这个和平精英就是打来打去就是这样，对吧？呃，是的。有圈的时候你能守住圈，没问题，这个分你该拿。对。没圈的时候，你能够在这种危难的情况之下创造多少的分数，这个才是夺冠的关键。对。如果 Alpha Seven 能够在今天啊，可能六场。My volume is low. Or. 仍旧猛猛发力。My volume? I think my volume is pretty loud, to be honest. Alpha Seven 六场比赛绝对六场都有圈，巨好。对，按你应该是这样的啊。你和酷酷应该是一个属性啊。反正他们如果没圈的情况之下，如果能够。比如说十场没圈啊，我打个比方，十场没圈的情况之下，他们如果能够在三场比赛当中拿到八分，那就是很厉害很厉害的一个情况。这就是及格分了嘛？再加上他第一天的六十分往上，七十分。No, everything's fine. Good, good. 今天保持的这个百分之六十啊，这个这个及格的分数的话，那第到第三天，我相信他们的分数还是在前三之内的。嗯，是。啊，但是我确实，因为我为什么说我不看好 A 七啊？就是我看我我看好了这个昨天他没有圈的时候，我看了一下啊，昨天 A 七在没有圈的时候，其实发挥真的很一般。是啊，而且他其实有一把。So the Chinese caster are saying that for Alpha Seven, if Team Alpha Seven, if Alpha Seven doesn't get a zone, their performance is just okay. It's not like they're、uh, like really good. That's the that's what Chinese the Chinese like. 
Analyst is trying to say. Hello, day two watching Xifan. Hello, Falcon Top. Welcome, welcome. I mean, the Chinese caster could be just like, you know, very optimistic about the performance of Nova. Uh, basically, they were saying that A7 looked, they, they looked, they looked very dominating yesterday, but it's because they got zone, to be honest. Like, once they don't have zone, they are just like other teams. But they do have better teamwork and uh, other things. Like, bro, they are about to they are about to start the first game, and the English stream. I don't believe the English stream is starting. Oh, you know what? Actually, the English stream is actually uh, they started already. So today, it's basically they're pretty much on sync. Nova going against. Wait, let me see if their POV is faster or slow. Okay, okay. We have their POV. Nice. Let's stick to the Chinese stream. Chinese stream now. So, how Nova fought Pai Nan is that they divided the Pai Nan into four zones like zone one, zone two, zone three, zone like A, B, C, D. Bro, they're still in the same strats? Is, D, is DK still using the same strats as yesterday, bro? They were saying like they they crossed they crossed they crossed. Oh, this is a, this would be a good zone for Nova if there's no hot drop. Be careful the wall. Their mic really sucks, so... Do you have ammo? Do you guys have got armor? No, we don't. They said... I, I, saw, I only saw... I only saw two across. I only saw two guys. I only saw two guys. I feel like this... The, I feel like this hot drop is going to take very long, to be honest. DK is obviously playing safer, but they're still the more aggressive one. Nova is basically is trying to hold angles and see if they can get some openings on DK. And once they got opening, they will like push. That's basically Nova strats. Be careful the third party. I think this is gonna take forever to be honest. None of the, team, none of the teams are moving whatsoever. And besides they're in zone, I feel like this hot drop could take 10 minutes, bro. So now they're just saying like two, two left or two right. Yes, one, one guy, one guy, one guy, my marker. Oh my god, nice, nice headshot. Paraboy. They are crossed, they are crossed, they are crossed. Behind, they are crossed, I knocked the one. Behind the one stack. 
Pepper said I need, I need a helmet or something. What is that we can we can cross? You're going to zone four? One of them is going to the zone four is actually the one I think Long is going to zone four in Pine An, like the D area. Oh, that's that's dreamy. That's lot not long. It's dreamy. And okay. Hi-Fi and Boom is fighting in the background. Paraboy said, "Uh, they should get they they got the revive already." Get on the roof. Get on the roof. Bro, seriously, DK doesn't really care. DK just want a hard drop. Can you see them walking away, Pinan? I saw one, I saw one. They don't have much resources. We basically got three. We got three. We basically do the three block. They only have one. They don't have anyone on the roof, right? No, they don't. I'm just afraid that I would get knocked from the Pine and Hill. Guys, do we still watch this? I think this is gonna take forever. Do, do I switch to the uh, main POV? I feel like this fight is gonna take forever. I think we can switch back once, like, you know. Yeah, we'll switch it back once they got in a fight or something. <笑>两个人都没有想要主动进攻应该是在落地的这个阶段大家物资实在是太过于匮乏没有道具能够打开对方的防守突破口 <laughs> Do they have a better quality today on the YouTube? Well,Let me try the English ones.说到这个方向,他们的优势是拥有更多的手雷。RCB目前的积分是49分,但是 steal some points as well from Regnum Karia and here we go a bit of a push there Royals of War is gonna get one of the players knocked Tonka is gonna get knocked close I guess the quality is within this a little bit better two players from Regnum Karia starting to push him and meanwhile I think the player from Reject that was trying to get that off angle did end up getting spotted and he ended up getting some shots yeah, I think which the, made it back up. The quality but Regnum now being able to take over this building right here as Reject starting to make a push but it's looking like a tough push one of the players is going down right there Sute yeah, Regnum Karya doing a great job handling both teams right now. Rejects really trying to capitalize on that third party, but the different angle from their player in the back line, I think, actually did come into play. Rejects will be able to get the reset back up to four. You can see on that mini map, Rejects have a player on the left. Yeah, they the fixed right the delay. Yeah, the I think the English stream fixed the delay. Otherwise, there are like the countless the people like L, going looks like the player on the east and spamming the results. So and spoil. All the positions of the rejects player is no Rejects is fighting Team Bra. Very carefully as he does get exposed. Maybe Regioso sneaking up here with the UMP was the play. And there we go. Regnum Karya now down to two. 
And that's the thing that we were talking about. I don't think Random Karia knew that there was going to be two teams just being passive. Here we go. The push from Reject. Raul is going to end up getting knocked. Is he going to be able to confront that elimination? Oh. He's not going to be able to. Oh. He almost had that. It is for Regnum Karia. Beautiful, beautiful plays by Ray GOC as he continues on. on with the off angle. But now they need to be careful because there's still one more play of Royals of War alive. Yeah, that looked like a, a little bit too premature of a celebration. I don't know if they know that Royals of War is still alive there. Elsewhere on the map, teams are getting it underway. The new zone did come up. It shifted back up north, so Corey is dead center. You can see S2G just north of the center zone fighting with Zebra Masters. Ray Z with that nade in hand trying to hold back the push. S2G do have a little split defense with one player up on that hill. Hopefully Ray Z can handle his own right now. Hopefully they will be able to handle that because the shotguns are going to be coming now to play. You can see Zebra Masters now going for that push. I don't think he was able to spot it. We're not going to be able to see anything as we also get S2G flashed. Zebra Master, and which seems be better. So you can see. On within this building, Zebra Masters decide to back up a little bit more. You were talking about that player from S2G up in the... My money is on Zebra Master. Angle, but Ray Z does end up getting on demeanor. Being able to get that angle on Ray Z. And now it's looking advantageous here for Zebra Masters. Are they just looking to just corral Kasi? Look, <laughs> every single angle that Kasi might want to exit from is going to be covered here from Zebra Masters. Yeah, S2G not looking good here at all. Two players up on the hill really need to make an opening. Actually, it's going to be Kasi to find that opening and the finish. Now he really needs the support of his teammates on the outside. Kelsey, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna back off? Or is he gonna try and hold this down on his own with the DBS? Oh. That's one, that's two. He just needs one more to get Oh, the nice. Before, but Kelsey the pixel does go pick. down. Where's the support from his teammates? Not in time, Kelsey does get thirsted. Now we do have Zebra Masters in the 1v2 situation. And by Kelsey being able to clutch up those two knocks right there, it's going to allow Hamsi to push up. And oh. not only that, CO is going to be able to push up as well. It's not looking good oh. for and they're Whoa, I just cast her Chris Zebra Master. So good for Zebra Masters on their push. Kelsey just absolutely stop it, and it gives some more life to S2G, even though it's only going to end up being two players. And just to keep... No one lost the one already? With what's going RC on still full, man. Fights, Reject did end up finding that last player from yeah, I won't be, uh, if, I, we, if we were using in the English stream, I won't be able to use the Chinese stream. We can watch it back during the break. We'll be watching the Nova POV during the break. But for now, let's just focus on the game. Because they took that fight with D plus for so long. Nova got caught in their rotation trying to enter the circle. IHC swooped them from their side. And with this new circle shift, it looks like teams are going to be doing some more. I think they give up the IHC fight, basically. Decide to navigate back west and probably over the top with this new zone as the circle is kind of shifting north. So they're going to look to wrap back up. Nova did lose Dream. Nova down to three now and still caught in this gridlock against a D+. Plus. And right now, D Plus is looking for those last players there from Nova Esports. I'm pretty sure they saw on the elimination feed one player getting eliminated, as you were mentioning there earlier. And this split is just not looking good for Nova. Nova was able to start off hot yesterday with a second place finish, eight eliminations. But ever since then, up until the last match, we didn't really see much of them. We didn't really see the Nova that we're used to seeing. And I'm hoping we'll be able to see it here at some point. But some team that is trying to make a stop to that. Some team that oh, is wait, trying like... to stop them from being able to do I anything see. here. I she's gonna be making that push. <laughs> I don't think they knew what? that. Oh, IHC. Here, IHC oh, they didn't know. It. They're gonna get one of the players knocked. Are they gonna be able to recover from this? I don't think they're gonna be able to. They're gonna end up losing that player. And now they got IHC and K's from D plus Kia in the same building. Wow. IHC, definitely a little bit of a mishap right there. They assume D+, plus, the other team in Pinon would have left and taken the hilltop, but they haven't. They are still here. And now IHC, well, we've said it multiple times yesterday. Even as a three-man or a two-man, this team could put up an ungodly amount of elimination points. And speaking about ungodly, we do have Godless still up for the team. Let's see if IHC can pull off that magic that did yesterday with just their two members. It would definitely be a tough one in deep. Yeah, it should be, be like, what, two too, teams? That yeah. That player is still alive from Nova Esports. That's what I was worried about right there. Little knock another one. Nice. Spot. One player from D plus Kia, he's going to get the knock. He's not going to be able to get the finish. But if there was ever an opening there. Bro, is literally. 
the, the lone wolf in Pine An. You mentioned that as well because we saw this team so many times not having their full roster, but they were still able to clutch up plays. They were still able to make sure they secure those extra points, and that's why they're currently in second place. But now at this point, you need to be careful. You're going to possibly end Ooh. up getting third party as we saw some of the vampire esports players there towards the north of them. Wow, look at this zone shift. The Falcons in a Ooh. great, great position. <coughs> and I think... You know, usually when they're dead center, surrounded by so many teams, on an area where it can be breached from, from so many angles, D-plus catches another player, and it's actually, oh, that's not IHC, that's actually Vampire getting caught out. Let's see if the Falcons can hold everything from up top. D-plus, Corico popping oh. up here, gets one, gets two, got him. not get the third one, almost does. His allies trying to support him from inside Panon, but not in time. Vampire will lose one player, and should be able to get that reset onto Newsy potentially. And the team that's going to be looking to see if they can somehow end up third party in this was Team Falcons. You can see Team Falcons there jumping around, trying to look for angles, but it backfired a little bit as Top did end up getting knocked. I'm sure they'll be able to hopefully pick him up. If not, they will be down another player. Longster now trying to make that switch towards his other teammates so they are not so split. Vampire Esports got caught off guard there by d plus kia and it comes down to that rotation they weren't really able to scout anything i think they still thought that people were going to be fighting in pinan they were not expecting one player to just be in that sniper tower laying down waiting to see who was going to pass by who was going to be the unlucky player to get surprised by him we're going to be going now to death wolves in high fives death wolves in high fives these two teams oh. Definitely need the points, and here comes the push. They're gonna keep on driving. Are they gonna be disengaging from this one? That's a little bit sketchy. They're gonna be having to use those trees wow. to their advantage and hope that high no fives is not able to hit any shots, and they get away with it. <laughs> There's no way. He even crashed into the tree, and you saw a player jump out the car. I know. Where's A7? S7 is secretly that. getting all the zones, they guys. Do get away. They oh, get Mafia also did knock smoke gaming. Wow, what a rotation! And IHC finally get it taken out and reject. Reject. Seven kills. To their confidence boosting ritual from yesterday. They are shooting every loot box after every team wipe, and it is working out for them. Rejects with seven elim points plus four members up, and they're in a good spot. In reject. So Sara touched better, the better female match. interviewers. That reject hands yesterday. Right you were able to Maybe that, that gives them the lucky charm. Guys. Maybe to keep that momentum going, keep the energy up. But you know what? Let's switch up here. And Hyper would need those handshakes, to be Blue honest. Blue being surprised a little bit there by the player from High Five. Monkey, Monkey is going to be able to hit those shots. He's going to be able to turn that into elimination point. But they are going to be pretty much just switching out as High Five does end up getting eliminated there. Only one player still alive from High Oh my god. High fives, Nova Esports now starting to make the push. Okay. Paraboy in order. You wouldn't want to ask for a better duel. But the thing is, they're going to be going up against four players of Devils. And on top of that, they need to watch out their back. As you can see, Longskirt is still fighting D plus He has so much action. Paraboy in the back. Here. Order in the it's front. Oh, order got knocked. He's Paraboy the last one. Lone Seal covering so in the back. Dead Wolves. Dead Wolves do have some enemies behind them. I was just going to say. Nice cover by. Paraboy is it alone? Oh, that's not by alone. That's by High Five. Confirmed. Order, which is huge for them. Order, definitely a player you do not want to face against in that close range. Lone the Alpha 7. Boy, trying to angle downwards. So oh, Lone got knocked support, on his way Lonsky up to the hill. Gets caught by Vampire. There's just too many angles, too many teams all left alive. And Paraboy is going to actually run back and try and go for that revive while Dead Wolves is focused elsewhere. And for Nova Esports, I think it was the split that kind of forced them to stay in those two buildings for a little bit too long. It allowed some of the other teams to rotate towards the top of that mountain and gatekeep them. And that's exactly what's happening here with Dead Wolves. As Dead Wolves is going to be able to spot him again. He's going to be able to spot Paraboy. Can hit those going to be able to knock him. There's still one more player alive there. There for Nova Esports. Nova Esports not starting the day like they wanted to. Meanwhile, Death Wolves with now three players seeing if they can spoil the start of the day here for Nova Esports even more by eliminating them. But they need to focus on themselves as well. They might not want to overextend on this. As I'm only able to be there's so many Oh, Lone Thirst of One Kill. Molotov is going to force Long Sir to back off that. Is that oh, Lone's out. Angle. They are going to be able to. There it comes. With the elimination of Nova Esports there so far, absolute madness. Now we switch over to Nextria and S2G. This is on the east side of the zone. 
Falcons was holding this uh, within a 3-1 split, so they lost one player to S2G, who just crashed straight in with the vehicles. S2G now trying to mount the defense against four enemy players of Nexuria. Nexuria looking good, frozen up close with that DBS. Same with Homsi, though. We saw how deadly S2G can be with that DBS. Can they replicate what Kelsey did? No, they cannot. Frozen will find the opening. S2G just down to the one. Nice to GCO later throwing some Molotovs trying to stop this team from pushing up and this team with bro, Nexuia, next Zuya, to be careful because no way, Falcons bro. is going to be on the horizon as well. I think Falcons is going to be the biggest worry. Could end up being off of seven. It's off of seven. It's going to oh. get a little bit closer. Oh, he got two. Get one knock. He's going to get two knocks. Next Where's the support? Good for them. They're just pushing one by oh. one. Oh. As next Ruya is able to finally eliminate that final player from S2G and only end up losing one player. The only worry, as I was talking about, it was Alpha 7. Alpha 7 should be able to gatekeep them here with the positioning that they have. Yeah, with Falcons focus Alpha on Alpha 7 Vampire, one I kill. Alpha 7 could get 71 points. Next Ruya. Falcons, one of their players do drop. I think that was to actually rejects from distance. And rejects still putting in a lot of pressure from the downhill side right there. Can they make it up? We're down to only a couple, a handful of players, but multiple teams still vying for that top mountain stop. And Falcons forced to fall back as they are facing too much pressure from too many different teams. The Falcons trying to hold too much land right there within that spot. You saw Rejects. I mean, Rejects is my still going in. Yeah, I'm, I'm live with my vertical stream as well. Why they would want a hot drop I'm like, uh, That's why I'm doing the uh, guess what? global overview. Vampire global Esports POV stream and also the as Nova well. POV on my vertical stream. On them, if you guys watch that, like simultaneously, you can go to my vertical stream. And one of the oh, that's gonna be a little smaller if you're watching on your TV. Oh, oh nice. He's gonna be making the push up. He's gonna get him knocked as well. But now, Alpha 7, Carrillo barely alive. Oh, Mafioso clutching it up. He's able to hit those shots. Huge clutch up right there. Five kills on the board for Alpha 7. Finish out next, Rio. They're down to two, but more important. Oh, he see? He saw one. Good control yes. on the hillside, and they catch the other. Mafioso, three kills. Alpha 7 on fire right now with only two players. Yesterday, they got really good zones and got huge chickens, but now we see even if they have to fight their way into the zone, they could do the same. We're down to four teams. We have Falcons, Vampires, Alpha My Harvey 7, Reed and the Rejects glitched team. today, so I'll Rejects, just turn it off. Probably the next team on the chopping block as they are the furthest away from the zone and they have to go uphill. But I think they could go in from the north side because the Falcons are too worried about every other angle to really gatekeep them. Yeah, and I don't think Vampire Esports is going to be able to spot him if they continue to snake us. Well, I love the little jump that Mafioso was able to do there. Usually we ground upon whenever players do end up jumping on top of a rock. But you know what? That rock was small enough that the other player wasn't going to be able to see him from Dead Wolves. It works out well for them. They are able to take care of Dead Wolves. And now they can focus a little bit more towards the other teams, towards Falcons and the only problem that I'm seeing here. Is she had our insider zone protection? They are aware. That nah, I don't Sports think so. Is getting closer and closer to them, and you were calling them out. You were saying rejects could still be able to make it within this circle, and right now they're doing exactly what they need to do. Just start inching up little by little. Take advantage of Falcons being. Is this the second game? This is the first game. And Alpha Seven, because reject could end up surprising some of the players there from Team Falcon. Yeah, Seven. I love endings like this on Sandhawk. It's the classic hilltop snake showdown where you have multiple teams from all around the 360 degrees of the uh, of the circle coming in at the top. And of course you do have the Falcons players at the tippy top. They definitely have their work cut out for them. And circle nine, here we go. It's gonna close dead center. Who's gonna come out on top? Obviously Vampire does have the man, man, uh, the man advantage here, but in situations like these, everything could change in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and for Team Falcons, even though they're currently at the center, I feel like they wish they were in a different position because they're going to have three teams just looking at them. You Nobody's overrated. The utility now is starting to I mean, they're down, still... I'm with you. There are I'm, still I'm, I'm, 11 I'm games to go, guys. Team, but boy, 11 more games. Situations when you have four teams left, go for it. Pull a six list. Lay down and start hoping that nobody's... Bro, he literally said to pull a six list, bro. Around. You can see I wonder how many how many viewers know six list now. Utility, seeing that they could possibly spot anybody. Everybody just crawling up, getting closer and closer here to Team Falcons. And at some point, somebody's got to give. 
Somebody's gotta get knocked. Mafioso. Here we go. Divine being able to spot. I see got knocked. Actually from Vampire Sports is gonna be able to spot. I see from Team Fox because he's gonna get eliminated. Now it's just one player in there said as Vampire Esports now oh. spotted by Carrillo. He's gonna get eliminated. Carrillo thirsting so people like crazy. Carrillo? Oh, Carrillo got one? Oh. It's a 1v1, Divine. 1v1, versus Divine Newsy. versus Newsy. The chicken dinner. Schweppes able to call out Divine's position, but it doesn't matter. Divine knows his enemy's position. DPS Bro, I swear, this is the... It's the this DPS is, 1v1 this... showdown. He confirms the point. Who's going to get this one? Right swing, left swing, shimmying back and forth, using what cover they can. Oh, Newsy got a better outside out of blue, reject. Was not expecting that angle, and Vampire pops off there with that chicken. And you can see how much it meant to the Vampire Esports coming in hot on the first match of the day with nine nice. eliminations. Newsy, a player that we wanted to see more out of last year. And boy, are we getting to see more out of him this year so far in the PMBO. Coming up huge, clutching it up there for the team. But for Rejects, honestly, that was a well-played game. We saw the fights that they were getting to from early, early in the match. And for them to continue on the momentum, as we were saying from that chicken dinner that they got yesterday, that's exactly what you want to see there out of Rejects. What a match right there. And I guess it really did come down to that man advantage. Everyone was getting traded left and right. So with Vampires with the one extra player, he does get it done. Here's that final blow kill cam. Divine up close with that. I DBS. swear, this is the, Honestly, this this is the is exact Japan raw. Close range, DBS fight. I clutch it up like looking one of the PMPL in a game. kind of outsmarted him by going out into yep. the blue zone. So taking against that the angle, accept player, I think that was definitely unexpected. Two year, right one year before, in the favor of Vampire Esports. You gotta risk it, and that's exactly what he did. I'm glad you called that on. You know what, Maxman? If you are watching, I'm gonna need you to go and back and just review that whole play because so much madness happening. We went from having four teams to a blink of an eye. We only had two teams left, and that was quite a surprise for me. I think right now they're trying to figure out who wants to do the interview, who wants to do it, and look at that. I think it's gonna end up being. Tony K. Hajuks, what do you think of that ending right there? That Yo, was ridiculous. What more could you ask for right there? Some good old Sandhawk snakes going at it back and forth. It was anyone's game. It really was. It was all about just like, yep. hey, which two players decide to fight first? Carrillo stood up real yeah. early, got some nice elimination. But with that comes some risk, right? I mean, you risk spotting yourself out, and that's what happened. I think all these teams should be pretty stoked. Uh, what was the, the advanced? For third, they Tom should Chocopor, be. They should be you could uh, Falcons, have honestly, more precise. They were, they were having such a great third, position. If they wouldn't well, have since you have the spring sensitivity now, it doesn't really matter. Confident to be trying to hold down much angle and trying yeah. to take on so many fights, I feel like that team should have been able to win. It was theirs to win with the with the position that they have, but they were just worrying about way too much stuff with everything going on there, Sute. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I it wasn't really shown on camera, but they were holding that three one split. They had one person at the compounds right down the hill. That was too greedy of a hold, so S2G <laughs> came straight in with their vehicle rotation. Is the Chinese Just stream today? The global the one, they have no player. delay. Down to the the global stream have no delay, and they improved the quality a bit. So we're using the global for now, as that's the language angles. most of you guys I understand. I just to throw out there, though, if it was IHC, though, with three oh. up on that hill, I mean, they might have take, taken everyone down, but Falcon's not Good able point. to do it there. Well, well, we'll have to wait and see if IHC can maybe start clutching it up with not just two, with with not just to do. I want to see what they can do with four. Talk about this last match. First, I want to ask you because you had a great game in the prelim stage. Now you're having a great game here, and also I want to ask you because you're playing more aggressive now. Do you feel like you were hiding something during the prelim stage? <laughs> Yeah, we will we'll keep the English stream just for the for the host. Oh, we literally you can literally that's literally her handle, bro. They literally showed her handle for his IG. For all of your simps out there, go follow. Okay, go follow. How do you feel about the Brazilian crowd so far? รู้สึกไงกับแฟนแฟนที่นี่ก็ทําให้พวกผมตื่นตื่นแบบว่าเหมือนบ้าขึ้นกว่าเดิมครับเพราะว่าเสียงดังผมจะได้ไม่หลับ
That's really great. And last, I want to ask you the expectations, not only for the next matches that we have today, we have five more matches, but also for tomorrow. Expectations for the next matches today. We still have five. Bro, the translator didn't need the translator, bro. Second day of 2024 PM Joe Brazil, and tomorrow, what are your expectations for tomorrow as well? The translator needs a translator. It's not simple. It's culture. She's drooling for the host. <laughs> Chunky boy, shut up. Nah, I'm not. The point is not too far, and we will try to become the first place on the last day. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you so much. And we come back soon with more 2024 PMGO Brazil. See you soon. Sir Tani and Tony K looking happy focus. for a bit there, <laughs> Chute. We bro. thought that team wasn't going to be able to do much. I think it was D plus Kia that ended up surprising them at one point, but they were able to come back from it. George is that show you is better. Yeah, great rotation out of Vampire 2 going up across the bridge. Wait, what's her name again? Is it Elisa? Right into or that side something? of the mountain. And they did lose one player to D, plus, like you mentioned, but with three, it was enough because everyone in the War of Attrition piling up that hill had less than three, and that was the magic number they needed. Talking about magic numbers, we got a chance to see there. Hodger the push by IC getting a little bit too much. We did end up with just a duel for IC, but so far, first match it's it's not the same as yesterday i see cannot clutch it up with just a duel hopefully <laughs> hopefully hajuks will be able to see What's more of actual four players alive from ihc and not just a duo i mean we need to i mean you said it's not the same as yesterday for ihc but guess what it's the same as yesterday when it comes to vampire because they are undefeated in sandhawk right two chicken dinners already to start the day i, I mean guys. what more could you ask for especially 19 points these guys all they got to do is just show up in the rest of the maps and we could see some guys it literally they sure. showed you they showed yeah, you her instagram handles I, I on think, the stream i think bro. i know Somehow what you're thinking about yesterday. and i was thinking about it too i'm just like, like wait, is this the second from the no, this is actually bro. the first guys, you gotta pay attention yesterday, right. yesterday it was off the same we're thinking about where are you where were you guys looking at started to get all those right they showed they obviously but hey they'll be happy they're gonna be like you know what we'll mimic what we did in prelims here on the main event we'll start showing up on day two and if for some reason i mean vampire esports can actually mimic that that will be amazing mark. considering how their Customer day two mark, during prelims was, but it's I'll a lot harder here. That. You can see IHC in second place was only able to get just one point. By the way, Show second place, we'll be talking about the overall. They only got Sunday, one point bro? here in this last match Damn. as we go over to Stone Sute. Three eliminations, 685 damage. Yeah, Stone, such a veteran player. I remember back in the days when I was competing when he was under the team of Mega. So this guy has been around the block. He's got that experience. Guys, could you guys follow my Instagram as well? And better. And Before of I hit the follow on with Vampire Isadora, is it? Years, you know, I mean, what, what, that is just Isadora? some more motivation for them to continue that upward trend. And Vampire, with that huge win, just, it does just put them really in popular in esports scene. Surprisingly, you all just know. Where the hundred thousand dollars does wait for the? I mean, we we don't Stone watch Brazil tournaments that often. That's a two on his arm. That's just looks so why sick, we don't man. Know her. Absolutely awesome looking. But you know what? I was teasing the overall standings, and guess who's no longer in second place after the that match? Alpha Green, Seven still in first place, being able to expand on their lead now within that second place. Reject jumping all the way Set up, up three That's places. Good. I for sure will do. But like every time I MS stream, I'm just too tired. Like five hours of stream. Like every I single day. I mean, that's Nova, what I was trying to Nova say. first you know, place like in the second page, you guys. Vampire, right? Get that chicken dinner in Sandhawk <laughs> during the prelims. They just started a tear. Why does she, she you know, so I think that all on these IG? teams that did their research, when they saw because, that the vampire wanted chicken dinner, especially uh, with a sick 1v1 at the end, you know, you know these guys are going to start heating up. As a streamer, up. So you, even though, you wouldn't like, want to know all the, you know, the cold, the, the casters, the I think the there's host, definitely right? a lot of pressure on their back. You want to get to know so them so that I can provide a more background story to you guys, right? I'm doing it for you guys. So big that nobody can even think about passing it up. Pretty much and luckily for the reason why I feel like we got a bit of a 
of a question to answer for us today we Wait, no, we're not doing during well. the cast too we were saying how this team needed to start showing us more not only just on their chicken dinners but also by how the way if you guys want to watch the nova pov i have my vertical dinner. stream set up you can go to my vertical close. stream and watch but now basically i do a, i did a split screen points, so the middle screen is showing the overall english pov and the bottom screen is showing the nova pov this works in favor of alpha 7 of not getting the chicken yep. dinner by being delivered the zones, right? Yesterday on Sandhawk, they pretty much- Oh, you guys are also chatting the vertical stream as well. Sorry, I didn't catch that. North of that. And it's such Tonke a handsome. Win for them. I think today with the day starting off as more of a challenge for Alpha 7, it gets them ready to fight for the zones, to fight their way. She finds them more popular than her? I wish. looking really great for Alpha I 7. I wish I'm more popular. That was our big worry, right? Yesterday's yeah. points from them came from the three chicken dinners, the placement points and the elan points came from those zones that really just get the Caster sound too high. So now but, uh, they're just the down zone and they're already starting off hot. I think Alpha is looking more fresh really than really yesterday. Yeah, Zute they probably they heard us roasting him. They end up working in regards smoking to weeds and stuff. If they don't end up performing well, so Zute quit it with the wrong thoughts tomorrow. Quit it or we for a day. Usually what ends up just for us. But so for them to be able to shout out to like that is great. But I want to continue to see that, right? I want to, especially going to Aaron Girl, if we go back to the Aaron Girl that they did end up winning, it was the exact same, I feel like. One of the zones was gifted to them the whole time, and they were just picking and fighting who they wanted to, who they wanted to <coughs> fight with. I kind of want to see what they do if she they might do a collab with her. The zone, like dudes, they actually have to fight a little bit more. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it, they, they can definitely do it, especially since they were a team that loved to is play. Is it no fab? So what is no fab? You know, that was their whole that. play style, what is that? right? So it's not something they're unfamiliar with. But I think now, you know, we see them playing that more central kind of play style. And they got three chicken dinners yesterday. So I hope is a that, girlfriend. you know, their coach talked to them and said, hey, yeah, Multi multiverse hey play before, watch your language center zone works for us let's try to move there a little bit earlier and if we don't get the zone heck she if any team can push into it it's them yeah four push-ups for nova four kills can frag out. how many kills do you know what yeah three. i can do the push-up we that's fine. We know what is just let me set up this harpy right thing so that, that's somehow it's glitched this team, i don't know this why. Is why a lot of the other teams tend to find alpha seven so so scary let me Going find back another... to Rejic, i, I kind of want to give more of their flowers too because not only were they able yeah, to yeah. take the fight to take to regnum karia the way reggie or I, I don't remember the player's name from reject but the way he was able to get that off angle royal of war was able to spot him but he still committed to it he kept going and ultimately it ended up helping them on getting that win over uh, regnum karia yeah, re rejects really. I do want to applaud them. Every single year, they have been just getting no noticeably better. The first time they made it to the the global stage, I believe they didn't even make it out of the group stages. Right, they couldn't even get into the finals. Mm. And then the year after that, I think it was like they got into the finals, but they finished maybe definitely second page of the leaderboards. And now. We see them in second place. This is the best they have ever done, and I think it's that confidence. She was happy to win 100 plus when the host there, came, like, bro. You know, I'm, I'm calm, yeah. I'm to, um, calm. I'm a very calm. Bit of a comp, uh, in Japan, I remember their leagues were really strict. Like there was no mm. BM or toxicity. You actually maybe get a fine, especially since they have their own league. They have an established rule set, so it's actually quite interesting to see. You know, where you could get fined for shooting a box and showing disrespect. Now on the global <laughs> stage, Japan's like, they're uh, letting it all out. They're not pulling <laughs> any stops. It, it, you, you die to us, we are shooting your box, and we're continuing that aggression and building that confidence, and it is working out great for rejects. At global events, I'm pretty sure they're like, I wish we could steal <coughs> those admins from Japan, because look what we're doing now, Juice. <laughs> look what we're doing now. <laughs> Just letting all that <laughs> hatred that's been built up over time, right? And I maybe mean, it's no like one a, needs a purge scenario here in PMGO. And you know what? That's the overall energy of this event. It's crazy there. I mean, you heard Sertani during the interview. He could hardly even hear yeah. the questions because there was so much noise going on over there. So the hype is at an all-time high. I love it for sure. And I and I'll tell you what, in order to be a team that just like loves hot dropping and to have success, any success doing it, you have to be fearless. Right? You have to have that just like, you know what, we're going to push everybody. If we go out in last place, we go out. And uh, I think the fact that they started that and actually had some success is the reason why we see them just that aggression just start and just nonstop from whenever you know, the time this. needs it.
heartbeat rate thing. Yeah, they, I mean, if they can continue to hot drop there tomorrow when we go to Sandhawk again, if Royals of War for some reason decides to land on them again, and it's going to be four easy points for a reject, I'm sure they're going to keep on taking those points. I'm sure they're going to continue to do it. Teams that definitely need the points, though, Royals of War. Do we expect them tomorrow to hot drop them again? I don't think so. I don't think so. They're too low down on the leaderboards at this point. Uh, they they don't have it like the way Rejects does, especially when it comes to like hot drop success. So yeah, I think you just gotta let them go. Yeah, I, I'm hoping. <laughs> Royals of War, <laughs> if you're for some reason doing the VOD review and you're listening to this part of our segment, don't hot drop them. Okay, don't just just try to do try to do something completely different. We know how that ends up going for you guys. Now that's two times in a row. Just just stop it. Just, hey, just stop it, okay? <laughs> they, they speak Spanish, so I'll help them out. No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to get one of your famous translations. Yeah, I was like, I was getting ready for it. I was like, let's go, baby. Let's do this. But shout out to Realme 12 Pro Plus. Elevates your photography experience with 120 times super zoom and performance in games. <laughs> What are those Chinese casters talking about? Seems like they're having a great time. I mean, they're probably just joking around, to be honest. How to be a portrait master. Guys, I won't be able to do any watch parties. I have so many tabs going on. Once I switch some things, like this is gonna mess up everything. We have a seven minute break. Let's go watch back the Chinese stream then. One second. Okay, let's watch this back. While we waiting for the global streams to start. How did a dreamy die? So basically the Wait. IHC actually in that time there's a dreamy. Oh, that's probably the why they went to Pine N. <laughs> Dreamy said play slow. Once the zone close, you know, we can there there are gonna be like three more teams dead. So play slow. There's one one squad in front of you guys. See if you can kill them. Where? Do 
You guys need help? 3 3 3. No nades, no nades. No nades. Bro, his, his stream is blurry as hell. What is that? There's one more. He's coming to thirst. He's about to thirst me. He's knocked, he's knocked. Long is long said uh, I got knocked off from Pinan. Parabo said I'll come I'll, I'll come back and save. They thought they, they thought oh they knew they knew two teams already. So two teams are above them. No mats. And drop, Parabu is dropping the mat for a long. They're watching you, they're watching you guys, they're watching you guys. No, Parabot to put the mat more mats for long. Parabot said, uh, if only I have some grenades, like that would be an easy wipe on D, uh, on DW. Because they hard dropped with DK, they basically, their like, resources are really limited. So that's basically a swap and run for Nova there. Guys, yes, I'm going to the bathroom, girl, right? Two time this easy, I should fire.
Welcome back to the PMGO Brazil 2024 day two of the main event boy We started off hot there in Sandhawk. We started off hot with Vampire Ooh. Esports getting that chicken in there And we saw what they were able to do too on the overall leaderboard I wonder if they're gonna want to keep on climbing that up even though it's not a PMWI Even though it's not an Invitational I'm sure Hot Jukes Vampire is looking to make it a little bit different here this year They're, they're looking to send a statement not just a, a PMWI Oh, yeah. I mean, they want to start off. I mean, well, they didn't start off as strong as they wanted. That's for sure. Right. But with this chicken dinner here, it's rocket launched them up the leaderboards. The big thing, though, is the prize pool. Right. A huge difference between first and second. They got to get it done. I think they might be able to get it done, boys. I think they might be able to get it done and end up within the top three. We'll have to wait and see, though. It was just one match. Take it away, though, as we do get started here in Aaron Go. Let's get it going here. Match number two, the first Aaron Gale of the day. I'm Hot Jukes here with Zute. Bro, are you ready for some Aaron Gale action? Oh, I am ready for all the action that's going to happen today. I mean, I'm, when I woke up this morning, the first thing on my mind was like, whew, I wonder what we're going to see today in the PUBG Mobile Global Open. Because the action yesterday was just some of the best I've ever seen. And today, with the way that Sandhawk played out, with Rejects rising up, with Vampires rising up, with Alpha 7 still maintaining their foothold as, like, the top team in the lobby, it can only go up from here. You are completely right. It's only going to get more crazy here as time goes on. Vampire dropping out early. They're going to be looting that are split losing that Stalber area up north, so they'll have a good spot in there. Let's see where this first circle goes, right? Are we gonna get a crazy military circle? Nope. Good old tried and true. But it looks like we do have some things starting to heat up over here in Yasnaya. This is high fives versus S2G. We saw this drop before. Yeah, yesterday it was uh, a really far distance plane path. So All right, back. Both drop I'm just here. replaying some editors. Split. He's adding a video and he's on like my right comments. Overhead. I think hi -fi is oh, Hi-Fi fighting really S2G? Which is drop right on top of S2G and take the fight straight to... Hi-Fi is like, really struggling here. we're not running away. Okay, just head on fight. To one HP. Definitely probably doesn't have any first aids either. Let me refresh my stream a bit. Just started looting. Some S2G really struggling here. One of the players already down and another down to one HP. Definitely probably doesn't have any first aids either. As they only just started looting. Yeah, both these teams struggling big time on the leaderboards. S2G all the way down in 10th place. place Alpha 7 uh, always high until stage place. 5. I you think. can see S2G's got that D. He's got oh. that D. Yes, it's the first oh. knock. Looking to get another. CEO. Trying to play it as safe as possible. This player Three is goaded right with the shoddy. From S2G. Using all oh. The they got. Gonna get that nice thirst onto Snowix. That's huge. And now S2G, yeah, slowly picking apart high fives bit by bit. Ooh, second knock's huge. Big. Oh. Oh, into the back. High fives definitely getting cut down here. They had the man advantage, but they ran into the shotgun. I think close range or off a hot drop. Hold up, that. He's jumping back. Wow. And, forth, and there we go. High five. Finally gets it done. That's cool, the best 2G. Loses one player. And in a hot drop scenario, I think the thing you want the most, it's not armor. It's not meds. It's not even util. I think it's the DBS. I think. True. Yeah, it what happened to your team? My team DBS, initially didn't qualify. Like, I got the DBS and frozen. He didn't qualify for the main stage. Oh, like Otherwise, they would be, be competing now. As he is being <laughs> burnt alive right now. Next to one of their players getting caught. He's melting. Oh, poor Frozen. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? It, you know what the crazy part about that hot drop is? It's so unnecessary. You know, Yasnaya is so big. Such a big place to loot. I mean, you can literally land on either side of the street. I think the yeah, reason why hi has got to, you know, ways, choose the hot no, drop is basically they only have, like, building, few points. S2G and they just want to, you know, they don't want to, like, though. They just want to refresh their gun uh, skills a bit things up completely. and see if they can, you know, win the hot drop, yeah. basically. I, I think from the way it looked, it looked like it was definitely hi fives initiating the hot drop since really want to see you on long here she fun me on long here kind of reconvene like eight years ago i was on long hair Mitchell too long right there short actually it's not long like why do you want me why, why do you want to see me in long hair hot drops yeah neither Soldier. team or not neither team one team might not want to hot drop but if you don't want a hot drop it doesn't change the fact that you're going to be in a hot drop if another team yeah. like high fives is still going to drop on you 
So good job yeah. from SDG to recover that, though. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta just deal with the, you know, you gotta be able to adapt. And in that situation, SDG, I think all the Brazilian teams are hard dropping to, except they Alpha Seven. They Maybe they, job, you know, they're doing a sickle strat. You know, all the Brazilian uh, team may so just go out and hard drop so that the Alpha Seven can get the champ, huge. bro. You know, Maybe that's the reason. <laughs> but they're gonna definitely need a big game here because S2G has 36 total points. And remember, I mean, top three is where the money's at. So, yeah. when will uh, the training video come? Me, no, OB, you literally came into my stream time, asking the same question every like single day. My editor is working on it. I the was ABS just the doing the revisions on the video. That's where Rashi was replay back. It was pretty much all. Shotguns right there up until the very Is there a delay in my screen? So that's one I don't think there's a delay, out. to be honest. High fives eliminated setting in 14th place. We have smoke. Bro, Power Boy's OP this driving skill. Right His Jeep is up, like so literally on top of the roof. Almost up, is gonna allow for a lot of nice action as you do see those dips right there. Call them the OP dips. So many Chief, I think you're into man. So many what? Battles no, I'm straight, bro. This particular area and it never disappoints. Never does. And uh, you know, this is a really Who's good the place to hold too because the community is hot you know, no you and uh, Zute. Uh out of there cuz yeah. in order to approach this building, you have to just straight up drive up and crash it. So yeah, that's why you see these players from Smoke Gaming just like looking around every single angle just trying to avoid a crazy push and smoke gaming great team uh to be able to qualify here this is their you know big big shot to be able to compete against these big teams and i think they're definitely learning something i mean they only have 14 points so far but you know the x they have pretty much everything to gain you know as a new team coming in and, and regardless of where they end up with the leaderboards a great they're gonna have a great experience here oh yeah the global stage is just something that you have to go through and get beat down once or twice before you can, you know, start to rise up and really, you know, get the hang of things and a, a lot of learning curves to be had. Like, speaking of learning curves, look at Reject. This is, I think, maybe their fourth time. When are you going to make a video the about the hip fire scoping? Well, actually, uh, you mean the quick scope? You know? I'm also and working on that finally, video as well. I'm mean, writing the script. It's starting to work out for them, but. It's not over yet. We're I have a lot of things to work on well, recently. Just only one game and also, I'll be doing a wisdom tooth. Could still realistically shoot up extraction. Take that top three position. All next to Tuesday. Yeah, and you know what? It's so crazy. I, I love. Well, is FF seven? That the more events they play at this at level, the top eighty four. They get and reject are doing a great job right now, sitting in second place, fifty six total points. Now, the thing that it's on everyone's mind, though, is Alpha 7, right? I mean, 84 God, points please on the help board. Nova. Only Nova players can help themselves. Teams. That's a big gap already. So, Alpha 7, definitely not wanting to let up the gas because not only is there a big gap in the leaderboards between first and second, there's a huge gap in price pool. $50,000 difference. Bro, please don't make a video on best and Android this the video. So, I already you know, have an Android this the video. Even a dime made of that. in my channel. Considering that they're in their hometown, Bang. make but sure yeah, you, you know check what? my one big factor, videos in Dute, my channels out. I already we it yet. published the you know, setup since the activities I used in PMGC 2023 PMGC. There becomes tomorrow, that, will, tomorrow will be the last that day. Presence that you have, right? If you're a team like Alpha 7, if you're a vampire, you know, Nova, whenever you have such success in tournaments, all of a sudden. Anytime you push that team and you realize it's them, sometimes you'll have players hesitate. They'll be like, oh, you know, it's Alpha 7, or oh, it's this. And that little hesitation, man, those teams take advantage of it and take you out so quickly. And uh, I think Reject, especially a team that just hot drops constantly, have proven that they've kind of gotten over that, you know? That yeah. those nerves start to leave. And I think there's, they're a lot more comfortable here. Yo, Vinny Gupta, thank you for the gift of the membership. And congratulations to Nova Neutron for giving the membership in my channel. The first, like, minute, oh, this is a good zone for Nova. Back off. And especially when a third party oh, comes finally, in, Alpha 7. Let's see how let's, Alpha 7 that's, is all the way teams, not just Rejects, on the east side. Instead, let's see if Alpha 7 can third party get any points like in this match. Points Right if yeah, Alpha 7 wants they, to they claim the first place in global tournament, they have to show their strength when playing. So rejects 
definitely showing no a circle. lot of uh, Last. experience, and they decided, you know, how they want to take certain situations, and they're going to take it straight on. New zone did shift out. We are pulling back west right onto Potato Hill. Potato Hill is now the new center of zone, so we won't see that nice area around Shelter with all those different divots come into play, but this area of the map could still make for some pretty entertaining situations. Oh, yeah. We could even maybe get a school finish. That'd be pretty fun to watch, no? We haven't seen one of those oh, in a hot see. minute. Oh, yeah. We'll see where these teams are going to decide to go. Um, right now, outside of the circle, Rose of War are going to be coming in through the Pachinki side there on the Southwest. Oh, Falcon in trouble. S2G are still up in Yanagi. I see. So getting an off angle on Boom player. Team Falcons, look at that. Hanging around in a Oh, shack. Boom is actually very, really very aggressive. The boom. Let's see who's going to be able to get that nade off. Oh, and yeah, that's the hard part. Action got thirsty. If you're in there, there's only one place you're going to go. I'm surprised they're even getting off of this now. Yeah, I think, Wait, did uh, the boom get the. Many teams rotating by. Look at the mini map. Multiple oh, my God. Coming in here. Uh, Boom we'll, is we'll come back and slaughtering player, Falcon. Man, Falcons really struggling out here. They're just down to that solo player at the shack. And look, it's Rejects. Oh my god, here. everyone want they a piece of pie. They want some of the action. Definitely a team that's not scared to take on any type of fights. As they actually knock one player from Boom. Pompit goes down. Sara still close range here. And they got him. Be a little wow, bit worried. poor Falcon. Literally got like surrounded by zone, like so two teams. A lot of teams moving in and out here <coughs> looking to and see got wiped in an instant. Looking to see what positions are open. And I think teams are starting to finally settle down and disengage now. Oh, and that wow. Is be it for Team Falcons right there. That nade just doing them in. Not having a lot of success here at the start of the day. And yeah, you can just see. Rejack, he's actually performing really like, good. Uh, you gotta be the handshake tomorrow, guys. Okay. Yesterday, guys. Say, you gotta be because of the handshake there. yesterday. Yeah. Getting some nice shots through the tree leaves right there. Boom has readjusted to a different position. Really good job out of Boom. That was a really sticky situation. You saw how many teams are moving in and out, and with those sight lines, they can get third party from distance very easily. So Boom finds a nice secondary position right here at this little divot. Nate comes in, does some damage, but it's fine. Flyboy. Driving in circles here, just trying to get as much info as possible. They don't want to stay too still right there, or else, yeah, those nades might just come in. And I think they spotted a new location to go to as uh, the new circle came up, actually. It goes up north, so that is why they're going to rotate right here. Yeah, they're going to rotate this blue here. It's not a terrible location. It's kind of difficult to leave from because it's really weak from apartment side. Yeah. Uh, so they could definitely get pinched. We'll just see how that ends up playing out. They're already down to three, so we'll see. Yeah, like where that finishes. Meanwhile, no oh, Parabur got a kill. Do it. That's gonna be against next. Uh, an R. So they get a couple, uh, at least one elimination under their belts, and they're gonna be holding this beautiful, beautiful little hill ridge right here below school. I know this is a spot you really like, Zoo. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say, anytime this type of zone happens, this is my preferred position right here. You are in the open, but you have this nice ridge line. Not just one, you got two different ridge lines to work with. So you can take a lot of shots everywhere. You still have school as a backup, and you can monitor school too. You can see which school apartment building is unoccupied because if the zone keeps closing in on school, you don't want to be you know, the first team in there and stuck in there. And you also have a way of leaving this position too. So Nova, this is a team that I see you know, frequent the spot quite a lot. Yeah, it's a really good location. Like I said, even if the zone shifts, you have a great way to be able to get out of there. A lot of cover coverage with that tree line. The only place it's weak from is right in the opposite direction of Dream, that little shack right behind it. If a team rolls up there, it's going to be an all-out war. But you know Nova is not scared of a fight, that's for sure. So you can see teams trying to find their little stay location in zone 3. But, oh, smoke! Getting run over by Death Wolves. Man, that's not gonna. that's not going to feel too good. Death Wolves out here, getting more points. Death Wolves really turned it up today too, so far with their performance. Sandhawk did pretty decent for them, so it looks like they're gonna keep that aggression up. Smoke Gaming just caught out on the east side, trying to make their way in. Smoke Gaming down to three, looking to do whatever they can to just get any type of position or any type of points, really, before they get eliminated out of here. Oh. Majority of the teams are all in the zone besides Smoke Gaming. Rejects are on the far south, and yeah, it's just smoke that still hasn't made a way into the zone. 
Yeah, I mean, they're, they have a really big task ahead of them. I mean, this is their first time competing at this level. They are one of the qualifying teams. I mean, not a lot was expected from them. I mean, they did do great during the prelims, but this is a whole nother monster here. So uh, there's an old saying, right? Sometimes you got to pay to learn. And they're definitely learning a big lesson here. And I'll tell you what, okay, I mean, we've my seen plenty of times a team goes to a global event like this, and then when they come home to their region, they're like the best by far. You know, and we then we just see them just level up little by little. Well, they're gonna have to level up right now because now look who's got their eyes set on them. It's none other than Alpha 7. Alpha 7 is here for the points, here for the fight. New circle pops oh. up though. Oh, yeah. Good Alpha 7. Not doing too bad for Alpha 7, but Alpha can How can Alpha 7 play this zone, zone guys? So Let's see how Alpha 7 play this zone. Points, but the circle pulls down south. School could still be a potential ending, but see, this is the exact situation you don't want to find yourself in. You lock yourself in school, and the zone shifts away. Nova, meanwhile, still has all their options open. D-plus still at that little compound, find themselves a nice new kind of central location. Slow, give me three kills to Alpha 7. Yeah, I can see why IHC took school, because schools in, if the zone goes there, and you are the team holding it, it's like you win the game, pretty much. You know, but if it doesn't, yeah. Are they going north or south? Pretty Alpha interesting 7. to see how Let's see. IHC takes this on. They still have their whole squad. They're going to probably have to try to sneak through apartments because at this point, everything has been taken. And uh, usually a lot of teams in a zone shift like this will try to go and wrap and try to hit the hardship side. The problem is, is that the hardship <coughs> side is Potato Hill. So you Seems know like they're going south. Taken. It's going to be yeah. interesting to see how Alpha 7 tries to creep into this next zone. Potato Hill is being taken already by the reject team and Royals of War could potentially find themselves in a fight right here. Both teams are on the edge of zone, so they might just share this, not exactly have to fight over that top position just yet. Rejects monitor monitoring their west side and they have Regios on the east just maintaining info. Oh, there we go. Alpha 7. Yeah, they haven't stopped uh, looking for fights. Chasing oh. them down, driving over. That first drive by was a distraction, but however, the other players of Death Wolves will find Death one. Wolves? Kurio, sure oh, he's one bullet. He ran out of ammo. Kurio surviving at one HP. Look at that. He doesn't even heal. Kurio. Just has the mindset. Wait, did the Kareo knock that guy? One HP? No, I'm not healing. I'm gonna pull out my weapon and shoot right back, and that's a huge opening for the side of Alpha Seven. Kareo just looked him in the face and said, "How dare you try to reload in front of me?" Oh, if he only had one more bullet, he would have gotten that knock. Here comes Rebel though, looking to try to get a run over. And meanwhile, I mean, this is how you do it, right? If you don't have a straight, uh, you know, place to be able to go. On a rotation, just hey, drive up, shoot at everything in sight, and do it the hard way. Yeah, Alpha Seven, they're getting it done. Carrillo does go down. W camera man. A couple smokes. I was gonna say maybe we'll go back for the revive, but Regioso. I love this play out of the reject team. Regioso is oh, so Guido. far away from his team. This DW player. This is the player who did one v three on Nova yesterday, guys. Guido. Guido is the player. Regioso picks up a crucial point for the team. Padding their point even more right now. But the 1v1 still going on. <gasps> What's your own nays though, bro? Oh, man. I mean, it's just crazy how some of these micro plays are so huge. I mean, we saw that player from Alpha 7 try to get the knock onto Guiza with that, uh, that nade. But he just wasn't able to find the range of it. And then he ends up getting knocked to return. And just like that, things are not looking too good for Alpha 7. But they have a great lead. So they can afford, to, you know, maybe a rough game or two. But... We don't want to see them having to stress out on the final day. Meanwhile, IHC going to have to do the same thing we saw Alpha 7 do, right? Just push in from the edge and make their way in. Nova and is actually not bad. Oh, they can potentially third party the fight. Out. And here comes Rogue. At the south. Guys, I feel like this could be the Nova game. Playing at their best right now, and when I say that, I mean they're playing as a three-man because we haven't seen them oh in the late goodness. game just yet with four. But it looks like three is all they need. Rejects so with newfound confidence, with newfound strength as a four-man team. Where's Nova? Is Where's the, where's, where is the third party? IHC now. I'll tell you what. Out of all the teams I've seen so far, a on-fire rejects could be extremely dangerous. This is a no. Now, that knock they is definitely no. 
to help buy them some time. But they're, they're playing a little bit safer from Nova down this time. Well. IHC. Powerboy. Yeah, just trying to Shoot. get this next circle. Good on Nova to try here, to pressure all here. All the shots they know that all these and the grenades are very, very much under pressure with the zone coming on in. Godless wow, going look in. Look at this. Oh, almost gets trying to get oh. that one. Oh, you hit the buggy. That DBS, but Duello just too fast. Yeah, Duello really heads up right there. I like that push, honestly, by IHC, too. They know yeah. they're down to three, man. And with so much pressure down south by Nova, that knock that they got earlier, that was their only potential chance of getting a good position in the zone. Nova's only got three, so three, three points this it. game. It might have looked bad, right? Pushing in by RC? Was a timing thing. Six kills already? Risk, if he waited, it's back to a 3v4. So he took a risk. It didn't pay off, however. And Rejects will continue to hold the top position on Potato Hill with four. Meanwhile, Nova close by, still with four players. I know if he mic is the worst. I can't really, like really hear. I can't really Rejects. translate what they're saying. Two. Because uh, two in the back, their mic is bad. Very bad. On the right I'll, so they can just stand out in the open. We will and watch then, Nova's uh, I mean, POV after the it, whole match. They were just they were covering him perfectly. So even if IHC was this is the second match. Falcon, hello, welcome to the chat. They were gonna get shot from behind Are you, so bro? quickly. So a great job. Meanwhile, IHC is stuck in the blue zone and they had to get out of there real quick because this blue zone is starting to chunk. IHC did. Sneak on in and trying to circumvent Guys, like Nova, the stream. But Let's Nova's make it 600 likes. Here we oh, Dreamy? Nova? Ars oh, Team Bra! <gasps> but man, these reject squads are starting to get heated. Oh, actually, it's Team Bra! I saw RC, I thought it was reject. Nope, it's Regnum Cario on the push. Yeah, Regnum Cario catching Nova right here. Nova down to one. Long skirt gets a revive on one, and that's about it. So Order is deeping. At the same time, Paraboy went down earlier trying to hold the inner side of the zone, but IHC catches him by. Who knocked the Paraboy, guys? Just Who like knocked that, the Paraboy? Nova was a four man team in a great <coughs> position, but I think they tried to do a little bit too much, and Regnum Cario just really hindered what they wanted to achieve here. Now Nova down to a two man, forced to go in to the zone. And we have the Zebra Masters here on the northeastern side, still with the four, taking fight with the likes of Vampire Esports. Here they go. Zebra Masters have that high ground. If they're able to throw that util perfectly, Vampire's going to be in big trouble. Here comes Schwepp trying to push on up, apply some pressure with that M4, trying to buy some time for his teammates. And he's going to have to do it quickly because there's only 47 seconds left on the clock. Tony K trying to get this res off. Next zone does go I just see behind them. And oh, my goodness. Rejects are going to have to come down from Potato Hill. I think order to knock yeah, one. I think Rejects. Is it? With no, it's actually Onar. Onar knocks the one. I see player. Getting more points into this match. D plus sitting at the God Complex now. The zone really favoring them every circle so far. Vampire down to two with the close zone by. May just have to snake in for the rest of the match. Zebra Masters with four, though, can make a lot of noise and look for more and more points. Yeah, it's, it's Zebra Masters time to stand up and really just, I mean, not get passive at all. They got to get hyper aggressive yeah. here with their position, especially considering that they're only in 15th place right now. I'm surprised they even let up off of Nova at all. I thought that they were going to be able to get that push and finish them off. Oh, I'm but, not sure uh, about the post end, though. Trying to just find a location dead center. Like DK, and if they no, really want, no, they can just smoke up. Yeah, I thought he had an angle there. Just and then kill it. Nova. Yeah. This is where D plus needs oh, to order. get somewhat aggressive. You know, if one of their players gets knocked, the <gasps> team might full send them. Who not I mean, RC not the order? Rejects, but with D plus that far down the leaderboards and with four players up, they need to look for some points now. Because if they just sit at this compound. All the fighting is going to go... No, he's out. RC, now. 9 kills. 11 kills party for RC? Step out. Oh, my God. What's happening? Regnum Karia Bra going down there. Zebra Master. Like I said, they had to start getting aggressive. Trying to be able to get that spray down that just little... I need you to go to Brazil and oh, shake Isadora's hand, bro. Tony K. She, she brings luck to the team. Yep, that's gonna be oh, my God. Take a look at the ELIM numbers on the right-hand side from all of the oh. teams. One number is not like the other numbers. Ooh, I just, as soon as I looked over to the right, my literally jaw dropped. Are you kidding me? Reject with 11 eliminations and their entire This is crazy. Alpha 7. You better be careful because this Japanese team is coming in hot today. And they get the chicken. They could tie up, or maybe, no I don't way. know, like, I mean, it's a lot, but we'll That's see, Rejects, 
Rejects with four Jimmy probably laughing? No, nah, I don't think so. Hot right now. Let's see what this team could do. The only team they have to Order really worry about test, is Deep Plus. Order's girlfriend is going to slap so Order real hard. Towards the south side giving Rejects the circle. They could just sit pretty and look at that. Even now, they're still finding knocks. They're still finding openings. This Rejects team is not the Rejects of the past couple of years. This is a completely new and transformed team. Oh my goodness, not to mention that they do have that, that hill advantage as well. And the zone has already shifted south so many times. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it continue going Surely. that direction. Yeah. yeah, so let's see what ends up happening. Is Yo, gonna try to have to do in the blue zone and he does get that knock, but he's gonna run in. He does, hits that lay down real quick. He can't eat any more blue at all. And uh, he's not gonna get the chance to as, yeah, next Rhea shut him down. Yeah, next Rhea with a nice little game sense play right there, spraying through the grass and catches the last player. He's gonna be able to get that revive too. And look at this, the zone does pull towards rejects. Yo, wow. Now, with a circle like wow. this, I mean, this is only stage six. We still have more circles to go. D plus is in a very vulnerable position now. Rejects then just play compound, slow. Sarah, leave, snake in the front, snake in into the circle. From all different types I don't of think DK knows. So hard for Sarah is right there. D plus to push out of it, even if they get they can just wait. Rejects, Sarah can sure, though, they don't get third party Reject can literally just wait side. till yeah, Zebra yeah, Master so is right. fighting I mean, DK and third party fighting and win the game. The only cover. They're good. No, 15 and 16. I mean, oh, Sarah actually fired exactly his shots. At, Never mind. Sara up there is able to throw smokes on their windows and doors. They can't see anything out, right? Yeah. And then Reject's going to be free to push up for free. So, yeah, good, good eye right there. But that's going to be really the main team that Reject just has to get through. Oh, and they're getting some help from the other side. Yeah, he, oh, there we go, Zebra Master. Kia, good luck with this one. Yeah, look how many Elims D plus Kia has right now. A big old donut. No. That is just that is just not good. So you have four players here, but you may as well only have two because they're not able to utilize their numbers whatsoever. They're getting pressured in hard. Rejects, one of their players, does fall down to the likes of Zebra Master. But Zebra Masters is more focused on D plus Kia's position. Hopefully Rejects can get that revive safely. Yeah, I think Rejects totally fine with this. So like, yeah, y'all battle it out. If you actually decide to go in yeah, that she zone, found what I feel is nobody should start Master playing aggressive. Needs to be careful here. Yeah, now they're starting to set their eyes on on big threat outside because yeah deep plus kia there's not i think they have the opportunity to just third party to fight so at least like starting to push on out well power well, boy just like power boy can like solo basically go up there and Looking try to clear it i see they're raining and then the defense the nova zone. there i don't know what went wrong but we will watch six nades in their hand we'll watch bro zebra master what with all that pressure Feels the need to rise up to push Dude. It back, and Duelo does go down. A revive will come through. One of the players gets carried back, but Duelo, like, no. I don't think, will be able to be saved. Zebra One player is fighting a squad, and other three is fighting another side. Yeah, they're pushing D plus and rejects all out of This Zebra. may Duelo cause them the game. And Zebra Masters are actually out. They're Zebra out. Masters Why they're pushing two teams at the same time? Focusing on too many teams. At once, they had to hard commit on one or the other. We will watch the Nova POV after this game, hill. and I'll do the translation and see what went wrong, guys. Worry about these teams. But yeah, getting taken out is gonna be critical, and now Reject gonna just be able to get up there. Slow takes down the Death Wolves, only three teams remaining. Rejects back up to four. Duelo somehow getting revived. Korea versus right Japan. There. Next, Ruya with two, D plus with Japan wins those. three, and Jukes, look at that circle. It's not Yo, thank you, Vinny. Go for that for another gifted membership, and a congratulations to Naron for giving the membership. I mean, this is just south, south, south. The zone just keeps going in this direction, and this is the final zone, guys. This is the last place it's going to go. This zone will go into nothing in a very, very short few moments. So you can see K... Trying to get an aid on this wolf doesn't Which get team done. is Japan? From Japan? Wolf. Uh team reject. RC. RC is from Japan. Here. He needs to tie in this nade. Honestly, there's no reason he should throw it right now. Yeah, he should hold on to all his util so at least there's like, you know, five seconds left or when the zone starts closing. Look at Regioso. Just just working on his aim right That's, now. No, or, or no. <laughs> Maybe he was clearing his back. Uh, it's, he shot Seriously. Three trees with a DBS at that range. I, I hey, think you never know. You never know, baby, right? You got to make sure hey. that, hey, if somebody's behind these trees, I need to be sure, you know? No, 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 no. So <laughs> it, it, 
it, here, here's the thing. I think, okay, they, they have... Oh, oh, oh. Sara with a Why nice knock right there. Why would you yeah. peek? Deep Here comes the next. Look at Rejects. Focus exactly. on the team behind them. Yeah, it's just... D plus just really not playing correctly whatsoever. I just have to throw it up to that. Z Wolf getting close with that nade now, and he does find Nobu. D plus down to two. Ball. Can D plus get anything done right now? They only have one elimination to their nade. Oh, nice peek. They are getting peppered down. For Anar. Down to the one player. Anar's player is so good with these fights. With this pixel peek. Oh, Team Reject is licking their lips right now. Uh oh, it's Wolf with this, this spot, though. Can oh, he went on the roof as well. For sure. He's going to have to do it all by himself, though. If he gets knocked, oh. it's all over. Got to hit these shots. It's all up to Wolf. Ten if any other team than Reject is going to win, it's up to him. That, that's it. Oh, never mind. Here comes Blue. No more long down. Range. Only the over. DPS. They never finish off the last player. Defense, so I think that is a mistake out of the side of Z Wolf right there. Rejects. Just sitting pretty now. Ooh. One of them gets naded. I, don't think, I think rejects are With so much. Rejects only has two? I thought they still had four. Next nope. to me, could do this. 14. Oh, 15 incoming. It almost looks like they were kind of working. 15 kills incoming, guys. They knew what the best thought was. But now, it's just Kane. Last one up, Reiji. Looking to have a monster performance here. One more There we go. Divine with the last one. That oh, that's too far. Good. Oh, just a little bit too far. Gun switch. It's all oh, Richie, it is that Richie with the seven with kills? Monster chicken dinner. Fifteen chicken. Biggest chicken dinner yet. I didn't Alpha seven the may lose the lead. They had seven, in the first day. The biggest I've seen so far. RC. This nice chicken. Eliminations in the grand finals and rejects are just starting to heat up. Earlier, we saw them shoot the trees, right? So I think that's another part of their rituals, right? First, you shoot the loot boxes. Sarah needs to shake her, to shake her hands again. Take the time to do some, you know, aim They're shoot. asking for a player yeah, to do interview, yes, and the, the player's like, players Sarah, you go, you go. Trees, you know, like, if these you guys brought us the charm, out and let the me luck. shoot them, I'm gonna target practice elsewhere. That, that's their thought process right there. 87, 81, what are you talking about now? Let's go, RC. Thank you, Cindy, for the super oh, chat. Seven. I appreciate hey, it. Alpha 7 and Reject had a 28 point gap before. Damn, not me. Just it definitely like. got close. It's definitely got it close. By the way, Reject, man, I'm so glad you guys highlighted this when it was happening during the match. The 2-2 two, two splits, the splits that... Can't believe a Japanese team raced for the global title. The south of the circle, yes, they did end up getting blessed by Some the of zone, you were saying that all the all, all that other Japanese teams are bad besides this Reject team. Able to third party Is that true? Alpha 7 with Death Wolves. Not only that, they also... Anime power, Shifan? In third party, a different fight. Which What's the most popular anime right war. now they were in Japan? Do you they guys know? Making sure that they were proactive. And ultimately, that's Audio what quiet up today? The right there. By the way, Seabird Masters. Hmm. They, uh, I, I felt oh, like yeah. they got a little bit yeah. too crazy with that, what they were thinking. They have players from D plus Kia knock in the building. And then on top of that, they were taking the fight with rejects, which they were able to knock some players. They Other Japan teams never make it to global. The reject players and they ended up backfiring because Seabird Masters could have definitely made a big surprise there if they would have just stick to one team only. Yeah, you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna give him a pass though. I'll actually give Zebra Master a pass because no. you know it is their. I, and this is the reason why I say that, right? Is because this is their first time playing here. You know, I guarantee you in their region and the tournaments that they played, that works, right? It's okay to do because you can't. You're so good <laughs> that you can take on two squads at once. But when you're against, let's watch the interview the and then we'll do the. the world, we'll go back and work, watch the right? Nova POV so, uh, and I'll do the translation. Why I'm pass this time is Bro, I'll say, okay, you know what? It's a lesson. Anar got some really good learn. player. Uh, but this is the last time I give it. I mean, they have to just realize, hey, we can't do splits like this anymore. We have to take on. Isn't one Game for Peace and PUBG Mobile same? Team that was in 15th yeah. place with only. This is a big disadvantage to Chinese. Um, it is what it is. I they were playing on different version, but Nova team, still got like back to back world champ. So I don't I, think that's. As a competitive player, I mean, it's probably like a disadvantage, the disadvantage for sure, but like so I don't think that's something and you just make a huge really you, threw me Nova off right now. What do you guys think? Death Wolves was to take out Rejects, right? But that was the play that was going to be the hardest. But when they hit those nades, all of a sudden, you know, I'm pretty sure the IGL, a couple members on the team, you know, switched gears. They saw 
Guys, like the, saw the path like the stream. Let's make it 500 likes. The match, not just taking out D plus going into the all. building and then losing ultimately to rejects. They saw a chance to sweep out the side. Bad day for Nova again. And in the heat, and the adrenaline kicks in. The, Can we just see the host up there? There's only like I think it's the left. I think it's the, the other host who will be doing all the interview for a reject. All at once for I a, think they're switching. Experienced team like the Death Wolves is their first. Yo, Vinny, thank you for another give you a sub. And congratulations to Manjira Gaming for getting the membership. It's, a, it's just going to take more and more experience for them to navigate those types of situations. Nobody in the Falcon, so don't give me heart attacks. I think they have the right idea. They just don't have the experience yet to kind of really, you know, pull it off or know how to play it fully correctly. Jivan, you're doing nationality Chinese. Yeah, I definitely see where you guys are coming Chinese. from. Here, hear me out. I'm not an ex-pro player, okay? I've never been in those situations. <laughs> I only get a chance to see it. From a They're playing on the real media devices. Perspective and from my end, oh, if, if Zebra Masters would have just focused a little bit more it's there true. on what we would have been able to see, imagine. But well, you know what? Let's go in an interview, an interview with Reject. How do you hide a chat in vertical model? Uh... And we are back <clears throat> here with the winner with a chicken dinner. It's I don't know, to be honest. Do you guys know? Hello guys in the ver horizontal stream, do you guys know how to hide the chat in vertical mode? Because people from my vertical stream is asking. Why is Zute looking stoned? Sarah is no ho- Sarah is not holding the microphone this time. This guy is sus. Sarah was holding the microphone, bro. And today he's not. No, I don't have any pressures here. Like the drums from the fans, like the screaming, the whistles from the Brazilian fans, makes us more power from actors. Yeah, thank you. Okay. RC, mic my words. RC's performance going down after this interview, guys. Maybe we are top Every single time when you show confidence in the PMGC interview, your team's performance goes down. Watch it now. This marks the end of RC, guys. This whole interview marks the end of the RC, bro. Who's laughing? He was laughing. Who's laughing? He wanted he to say something more. He Who's laughing, bro? Say, Admins in Japan, we're gonna continue to shoot boxes, baby. We're gonna continue <laughs> to go for that first place because right now Why are you they're cursing, looking RC? so good, man. Bro, Talk about I'm just talking we were, about facts. We off of seven Edge to be able to get chicken dinner. With that, Adder was confident, right? right? Making you the grand finals, Hot they dude, fell, and NHP star with confidence and so oh, it's comeback day, and then it did shit. The player cam so, and the audience cam. Mark because my words. Obviously, it's all Alpha Seven inside the audience, and I want to see their faces right now. RC and I also want to see their hands because I can imagine that you know what the nails that they have have got to be all bitten off right now. <laughs> gone, absolutely see gone. Y PMG, PM, the, like be P, the global like, tournament uh, interviews are literally toxic. Earlier, Once you show your confidence in these interviews, you do autom you all get automatically gap from first to second like, place. And you know what? We're gonna back. get into the match rankings, so we can do the match points. real quick. But good job, RC, though. Nice performance. There. I'm not sure how many points Sheesh. Alpha Seven ended up winning, <laughs> but the the gap it's pretty much gonna be gone. Can't yeah, believe it. 25 points. That was the most disappointing moment for HVP fans. They literally that got slipped crazy, one step behind for the finals. I knew, it's right? Unreal. I know. It really I know is it. unreal. I mean, I thought that that gap was going to hold all day long. And in just one match, poof, goodbye. I mean, anytime we've seen a 25 point game or a 20 point game, the leaderboard goes nuts. We see people, we see teams jump like nine positions. So, oh man. I mean, Alpha 7 cannot let off the gas even a little bit today. And this was the biggest worry all along. This is why we were, I was personally starting to nitpick a little bit on Alpha 7 yesterday with their performances, even though it was such a high. There was bound to be a teammate that was going to end up challenging. You would have got an 8 eliminations. I oh, mean, wow. 8 eliminations, 1,000 damage. And so far, this player has just showcased so much great stuff today. Not only just from this MVP performance, but earlier, Sute, I mean, we, I was talking about this player when we went to Sandhawk. He was the one that was able to get those off angles early, yep. early on in the fights. All right, let's Reiji, switch to the Noah POV. Really confident.
confident right now, and you can tell with just how well he's playing. He's the Okay, they had a clear instruction on how to play this zone. Let's gatekeep team at apartment. We have to gatekeep a team at apartment. And better boy said, uh, we got zone, we got zone. We find our zone. Everybody said uh, I'm holding. To be honest, I'm not trying to nitpicking. It's not like I'm a better player than Paraboy. But to me, my personal opinion, you don't really need to get to the zone here this fast. You should either go s more to the south to hold IHC and see if you can third party get some kills. Or group up, with, group up with your team and defend the team at the apartment. Because this position, I feel like you can take it any time. From that position, from the position they were at, you can literally take this rock any time. Even if there's a guy like Fosin this rock, from your position, once you clear a team at the apartment, you can literally kill this guy at, at the rock. What do you guys think? I feel like Parabone shouldn't take this position this early. He should either group up with his Nova squad or go more south and try to see if they can sort of third party the fight between IHC and whatever team it is. Okay. Did no one did the power get knocked by HC? RC order knocked order knocked one. Yeah, order got knocked by IHC actually. Did the match start? Damn, let, let, let's watch this later. Okay, let's go back go back to the match. As Reject ultimately did end up getting so blessed. They were doing the rotation, they got caught by Death Bulls, and then for Reject to be able to just kind of peek over their head and make it even harder for Alpha 7. That's like the cherry on top. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice over Nova. <laughs> by Death Bulls, and then for Reject see to be able to Nova just kind of peek over their head and make it even harder for Alpha 7. That's like the cherry on top. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was going to mention something, but we got to mention this circle right here because Let's that is go. absolutely filthy, Hajjuks. I haven't seen a zone like this in a hot minute, man. Oh, this is going to see some hardship immediately. The same fight. Once again, back to back. Here again? Goes the S2G high five to replicate what happened in the previous match. Hopefully, not lose any players and end up eliminating high fives and high fives for a team. That we got a chance to see what what they did, you know, in the qualifier finals. We also got a chance to hear what they were saying in regards to the interviews. Getting the very confident, which is ultimately what you want to see from stream. teams like this, from teams that just haven't been here before. Like we also got a chance seconds. to hear what they were saying so it, like, in regards. Interview. To the interviews getting the very confident which is ultimately what you want to see from teams like this from teams that just haven't been here before but maybe a little bit too confident hajik says this team is currently sitting in 15th place with 21 points and they're continuing to hot drop stg and that's where they're gonna stay to be honest if they keep on doing this hot drop yeah i think even s2g realizes this is bad yeah s2g smart yep. very very smart even though they had the initial knock, they just know it's not worth it. They're so low on the leaderboards that they need every single point they can get. And yeah, you know, trying to get four eliminations back. is great, but the amount of I time think the reason losing, one of the reason Hi-Fi needs this the spot is they want to get all the player, they want to have all the controls on the vehicles. And currently the, with the circles at, I think they I think they definitely that realize that circle. They're like, oh yeah, if we want to even make it inside this circle, also they're literally quick. Let's not worry about this fight. Let's loot. Let's reset ourselves and actually start forking about a focus out about early how we're gonna, gonna be gonna making it into that circle. Hopefully they can get some scouting done because the thing that we were seeing a lot with this hot drops is teams just wouldn't have time. Yeah, you would end up winning the hot drop, but they oh, wouldn't yeah. have time to scout. They would be going in super blind, and that would be the end of the match for them. I mean, I guarantee you that was their comms. The second they saw that zone, like you mentioned, they, they just said, you know what? We're not going to fork around here because we got to get out of here quick. Because with a circle like this, 
half of the zone is in water. That means that yep. this might as well be circle three. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And you're still going to have all the teams alive, too. Nobody has gotten knocked. All the players are going to be up and running. Hi, Fice. I want to get a chance to talk about this team a little bit more. I was going to be kind of nitpicking a little bit of what, what I got a chance to hear from the interviews because they did sound so confident. This is kind of what I was talking about in regards to this team. You, that's what you want to see, Hodgix. You want to see a team being confident, but the thing is, you don't want that confidence to end up becoming a little bit too overconfident because you're going to be disrespecting some of the teams that you might need to start taking serious. And at the moment, I feel like that's what High Fives is running into. And they could also be running into what Zebra Masters ran into earlier with what you were saying that you were giving them a pass because they just never been here before. This is the first time they are here in this kind of situation. Yeah, you know, that's the thing is that, you know, I, I, I don't really give passes too often. And I only gave them that one specifically because, you know, like, uh, it's so, like, what kind of what Zute said, you know, it, it, there's it's so much... There's so much chaos going on towards the end. Yep. And if you're a team new to this, you may think that what your old strategies, you know, oh, let's do this split. You know, you focus that way, I'll focus this way, will work. And then they face the best teams in the world and they oh. realize they're Nova really quick that, oh, you can't do Nova that. Gotta... We'll get back to that. Oh, we'll Royal of War. War. Tonka catching out their IGL order. Man, Nova getting caught bad that was a nice shot as well royals of war wait the paraburg and knocked the two a team that's gonna be getting no passes is gonna be no oh this is royals gonna be the end of nova the fight here and it's gonna be just dream alive Ro honestly nova esports has been possibly the biggest disappointment for me i was gonna say team falcons but i feel like nova esports two-time champions of pmgc yes i know this team is a little bit different yes i know jimmy isn't in this squad anymore but we were expecting a lot more of this team. And something that I started to notice more and more is that Nova Esports, when we get to those close quarters, they're not like the Nova Esports that we used to be. They're, it seems like they're just handicapped and they're not able to actually excel in those close quarter fights. Well, I'll tell you one thing, right? The close quarter combat has elevated unbelievably in just the past couple of years. Heck, I might as well say past, past couple of months, you know? So that's definitely going to be tough to navigate through. I mean, we could definitely, we definitely know that in, in that mid range, long range, yep. Nova still got it. That's for oh, sure, yeah. right? But, you know, close quarter combats, I think they're definitely realizing that they're going to have to be on the back foot quite a bit. Now, you know, we also know that they're a late tournament team. But when you got a very good close quarter combat squad like Reject, right, getting 25 points when they get a good circle. I mean, I don't think you can afford to even try to play that same strategy. Yeah, as we see Smoke Game in a team that hasn't been able to uh, pull out some of the upsets that I was personally <laughs> expecting to out of this team and stop losing one player. Damn. Going back to what you were saying there with Nova. That's a big L for Nova. They are usually a late team, right? A late, a late <clears throat> team comes in in the second day. But now we're... This is... This match right here, once it's done, is going to be our halfway point of day two. And the crazy part, too, is that, yeah, Alpha 7 might not be putting up the consistency that we want to see whenever they don't get chicken dinners. But Reject is now starting to put up consistency. Reject is now starting to put up those points. That small gaming is able to cut somebody down. Oh, Sarah got taken down. What did I say, guys? What did I say? They're going to be full sitting in here. Duelo is going to be able to spot a player there from small gaming. They're going to end up losing one player. They possibly end up losing more players here if they don't be careful. A small gaming does end there we go rc versus smoke gaming push from the two last players of smoke gaming yeah that was a little overconfidence there from reject to be able to, pu to push that building in by themselves what now, did what i just so tell players. you all the quick thirst and uh yeah i think alpha 7 fans are cheering right now <laughs> because they want to see reject oh early. what a turn and they're gone let yep. me see that crowd there you can you see go. Look, at right now. <laughs> look at the crowd the cheetahs it's like, oh yeah, bro. Where's the drums at? I Look at the crowd, bro. I some drums. I want to start seeing. Holy them. shit! Okay. If the crowd was so loud. Sarah literally said, you know, I don't care about the crowd. The crowd, you know, the the louder you guys shout, you know, we I feel more confident. Second place and third place. That is a nine point um, gap, and they definitely want to close it because come tomorrow, these teams are gonna be looking to. Now they're gonna have more data to go over. Now they're gonna be Why is your name green? Because congratulations to my membership. Reacting to certain situations not here was in the PMG not interview literally and, and the whole journey for RC I'm, in this PMG, guys. I'm worried for Nova Esports before we ended up seeing that fight there with uh, Smoke Gaming and Reject. 
because Nova Esports, yes, we know what you're capable of. We know that Paraboy can pop off. We know that order. But RC is still doing well. way better so than Nova. Got any chances to see <clears> the other two players and how they end Alpha up Seven Death Center, perform, Dreamy. I mean, they're in Nova Esports for a reason. We just haven't seen it at this event, and I don't think the teams at the top. I don't think they're gonna be slowing down, Hodgers. No, oh, they're <laughs> not. That's for sure, and you know, especially with such a home court advantage. I will say this, this has probably been one of my favorite events to watch. I wish I was there so bad, Seven, yes. because the 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 crowd in Brazil, like have you ever, you've been doing this a long time, right? I mean, lo, I mean, from whenever I first was in a tournament, this was 2018, have you ever, ever in your life seen such a home court advantage Wait, in a tournament Sorry, like guys. this? I got a glimpse what? of it. And that was this past PMGC when it came to SDG because the crowd was right there. They had drums. Oh. They were hyping up their squad. So that's the closest I can. Alpha think Seven versus Arena, it's a lot Roll of War. Like the players can definitely fear a lot more. And you know what? As we're talking about. Oh, Mafioso got one. He's gonna be taking some shots there. So Royals of War. Royals of War now. Carrillo is already dead. Here, but it's starting to backfire as Rebels able to spawn some spots. Mafioso, even though oh, they're winning the no fights. Team, gonna be taking on some shots there. So the last player, Cold Goat from Royals of War. Magrellan still alive. Rebel more than likely is gonna end up getting revived here. And the player that they did end up losing for. Oh, he's one HP. That guy's one HP. You can see Magrellan there trying to confirm that. Elimination. One player left. Cold Goat there from Royal Soul Ward. They need to clutch this up. Oh. They're gonna get surprised by Smokey. Niho. Brazil. Behind there to cover it. He does. Meanwhile, Zebra Master now coming on in. Alpha Seven gonna have Brazilian to get teams are killing Brazilian teams, guys. And Zebra Master is going the other way. They might even be able to get some time here to breathe. But nope. Now that. Oh, here comes the Zebra Master, guys. Zebra Master what is this? This is like a literally Alpha Brazilian party, bro. The thing is that Zebra Master is also now pushing them, but they need to be careful with Alpha Seven. Oh, Mafioso got another one, bro. Mafioso played this so good in PMG. I'm not gonna lie. From, uh, Clutch it was again and again. Cover that player, but as I was mentioning earlier, Z Smoke Gaming from far, far away was starting to hinder the position of Alpha Seven. Alpha Seven holding off just the right amount and trying to make other sure Brazilian teams Masters be like your payment here rethink if they actually want to take on it's not enough the grenades. Oh. we need more Masters is so good with those grenades rebels gonna be making the push rebels gonna end up getting knocked and it's just mcgrellin and mcgrellin hasn't been actually who is the ones that's still alive it is gonna Mafioso. be Mafioso. Mafioso ended up backing all the way up can he get away from this fight alive and that's i think what he's gonna be wanting to they need to get this point Three points is not gonna be just enough. Yes, they are still in first place. Yes, reject is wow, there. Wow, this but if, this if, is if fun now, guys. I mentioned earlier for Alpha Seven to start creating. The oh, their early actions on the top teams in the lobby. One player alive. Wow. Yeah, right now it's really just a battle between these two teams. Leader is Nova out? Guys, and you know, reject going out early was huge. You heard the crowd just go nuts when out. they got taken out. <coughs> now it's just up to Mafioso. Maybe he could try to steal another elimination because at this point it's just not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Smoke Gaming definitely hindered the position there of Alpha 7. Well, Zebra well, Masters, well, you know what? Well, they well, might have learned well, from well. that mistake that they did earlier. They're like, we're going to mm. put our full focus on this oh. third party here. And we have more teams coming in as well. <laughs> this is this is not looking good for Alpha 7. And Mafioso, he's just trying to run away. And guess what? Ah. He's going to end up getting caught there by D+. Plus. Alpha 7 only being able to get three points as Reject was able to get two points. So they're able to extend the lead by just one point. Ugh, that's going to be tough. But you know what? They do extend that lead among the rest of the lobby as well. So if it's a battle between two, uh, that's not going to be too bad. But you know what? Now the door is open, right? Yep. For teams like IHC, Vampire, uh, Next Rhea as well. And, um, you know, kind of now that we have a little bit of a lull, I want to go back to what I was talking about Zebra Master. You know how I gave them a pass, uh -huh. right? I gave them a pass because I was like, hey, you know what? It's your first tournament that you're playing at this high level. First time you're in that situation, okay? So I'll give you that one pass. Well, you know, we were talking about high fives. They kept top dropping S2G. That wasn't their first time. So they don't get a pass, right? Yeah. They don't. They, they Alpha 7 choking the second day instead of the third day already. leave so early. Because of I mean, circle. these teams are aggressive as hell. Like, the zone, so, I mean, normally you don't get rushed like you know, that. We like, literally, here. three yep. teams. They have 41 total points. If they're able to get, you know, Smoke Gaming, Royal of War. They can finally start, you know, trying to hunt. They down all went for that position. And they're yeah, trying to take Alpha 7 now. That's that. just and crazy. I mean, you just mentioned it too. I mentioned it. Alpha 7 rejects currently being out of this lobby. A perfect chance for those teams that are in third. 
all the way to it to start closing the gap we do have vampire esports this is a team that was able to get a chicken dinner or a chicken dinner earlier today in the first game they're wanting to continue to get those points they're gonna be able to spot silas there from regnum karia regnum karia a team that i expect to see a little bit more of too especially with how they were able to start the day on the on the second half of the day in some matches here and off here and there on the first day they were just a bit off it's not the regnum karia that i was uh I was kind of getting used to seeing there from the prelims. Same with Team Falcons. We haven't really gotten a chance to see Team Falcons. You don't know about what you don't you don't I'm know about sure FC. Is. This I is how they want PMGC same ranking day two. Oh, it is it? Is it? They were like six six placing in PMGC day two. But I feel like they overextend a little bit. Yeah, I think it's been tough. I mean, especially considering you know like where they decide to drop, and that's just the thing is that you know in a lobby like this that's so heavily stacked, somebody's got to be in ninth place. Someone's got to yep. be in tenth. You know. And if you just can't get the right zones, and if you pick a couple... Wow, of imagine if Elva 7 is alive. Imagine. Just like that. Look at this next circle. I mean, look They'll at the They will be right? dead center. They're one of the top teams in the lobby. The zone decides to Falcon. Away from them. Now look how many monsters... I feel like Falcon face trying to get in can here. probably... I mean, no matter well, probably are, like wrap around like to the to east in. side of the circle. Yeah, and that's when your scouting is going to come into play. Try to send one player. Hope that he can find an opening without having to fight that would be perfect but if you do have to fight i mean team falcons we know that they can fight we just haven't been able to see it to the extent that we expected to here in the main event we're gonna be looking at ic so far hey so far four players alive for ic but the thing is oh the thing is that they're actually in the circle right now too so maybe <laughs> we might finally end up getting the what if mm. ihc has all four players alive towards the end That'd be that'd be amazing, but I will say something, Seven. I think that what you just said is the problem, right? You send one player up, you try to find an opening. This is the PMGO. There's like hardly ever an opening. You know, you have yeah. to get lucky. You have to hope on a third party. You have to hope that something happens because you know if you're a team like Team Falcons up north, those squads that are in the circle are staring behind them. They're not making mistakes. None of them are looking in the middle. They're all looking behind their backs, trying to gatekeep anybody that is unfortunate you know to not get blessed in that circle so uh yeah like i said it's just it's all about timing finding that opening if you do get lucky and it and these openings are so slim when they happen you cannot hesitate yeah you definitely cannot hesitate and i think that was a, why i was being a little bit tough there on cyber masters on the, the ending of that last match because it felt like the with the rest review i don't even have the like nice, focus on unfortunately but i mean with those veteran teams like team falcons if we do <clears> see you hesitate if we do see you make a mistake no passes for you. No passes for oh, me yeah. whatsoever. We have Dex Rhea pulling up here. He needs to be careful because, boom, Esports is going to be very close by, by as well as D plus Kia. Dex Rhea just trying to find an opening here. And it's going to be a tough one as Boom is going to be able to spot him. But now Boom is getting taken some shots and they end up getting knocked. I kind of want to I kind of want to watch the Chinese stream being quiet, and to see how the Chinese Cassis react to Nova's full form. You, know, you guys want to see last do you guys want to watch something like that, that or we we'll stick to the English stream? The of, you know, they're in 14th place and that's the hard part is we have some teams when they get so low on the leaderboard, they automatically. Or I can't imagine how toxic the Chinese audience the, in are meta, right now. Never get out from the bottom in their live stream, like in the Chinese you know, live stream. Kia, I can't you have imagine to how toxic right the now, audience would get. Take advantage of the fact that next Rhea is could be pinched by two squads, but instead they're just gonna just chill, smoke out, and just see what happens. I think I think oh, I got a chance that, to see that right. What happens. <laughs> what a beautiful name, but I wait. I think I got a chance to see that right on the elimination feed and somebody from Team Falcons. So I think Team Falcons was able to find a way. No, no, I mean, I'm not, not, not switching it now. I'm not talking about switching it right now. I'm talking about switching it like maybe in the last game. We're we you, talking about we, them we having the four like players Chinese. alive. Hi fight is going to be. And I'll translate cool what the caster is talking about, like Nova. Elimination feet as well. They're going to be making a push. Demo OG. Oh. Gonna be looking for Kimbra. an angle. Here we go. Push from Regnum Karia. High fight is very close by. IC trying to hold them off. And he's gonna be able to find a cheeky angle there behind some of the players. Can he connect? Oh. He is gonna be able to connect. And he should be able to pick up his teammate right here. Zyola with a perfect just pre-fire through the window. 
Just trying to support his teammate. Oh my gosh, that's dude. We bro, I just call them the team, bro. I don't care whatever that names they have. They have a bra. In the, they have a. They have a word bra in their in their like team name. I, I would just call them team bra. Honestly, RCB in Shifan's chat, always team bra. That circle high fights currently only. They have one bro. It's kind of funny though, like team bra, bro. And IC is gonna be able to reset here. Nice SPG name, to be honest. To find a way into the circle. They're gonna have most of the I north free from them. And there you go. I fight Zao, uh, zero LMs. I fight struggling. I gonna be able to worry about is high fire organization or it just like the four like four experienced Kalia players playing the team and as with well no as sign e orgs. Sports. This is gonna be a tough rotation for them. And oh, did you the secret? Yo, thank you, the secret, for getting a subscription on my channel. Look at each other, starting to argue. Welcome, welcome, bro. And thank you for the sub. Stuff isn't going your way, hot jukes. Oh, it could happen immediately, you know. I mean, we heard these guys in their interviews, you know, they were kind of talking about like, ah, we're not worried they about this. They sell bra for real. And, and they sell bra. So you're so down on the leaderboard. Vampire gonna knock by HC. Gonna come out. But meanwhile, before we can get into that, this is this is nonstop action here in the PMGO. Look at this. No, they're I pushing up. Staring at Vampire Esports. They have all four up. Vampire. You Are they pushing up? That's crazy considering that Vampire was able to make that rotation first. I think they were trying to play that gatekeep. They, they have to push it. Likely be able to pick up that player I see. Here comes down the smokes. They know s 2 is going to be behind them. And they're going to try to find an opening here oh. within this circle. Vampire actually all the other teams. full Keeper send. Masters are sitting pretty right now inside the circle. Here comes the shots from Sayol into Vampire Esports. He's not going to be able to connect. Oh, he is going to be able to connect. Sure. There you go. Correct me, please. Sayol. What a spray. Get those shots. Now, can you confirm that into an elimination? And he's trying to, Hot Jukes. Oh, he blows up the vehicle, so that just leaves them pretty much out in the open. You can oh. see the smokes come out. He Boom versus Falcon? Why? The Four the points. The finish on the For Falcon. So they do find their way into the Not going to lie, Team Falcons, they are so calm when playing right the, the game, bro. I think that's one of the reasons so they're so good. Creep in little by little. Even though they're not pulling me right now, but like we all know they're like at the top a player world top all the way up team. On top scouting for them. So I mean heck, this could be finally that bounce back game we've been waiting to see from them. It could be, and it, I wish I would have loved to see how that team ended up rotating into the circle because we're talking about it there for for a long time, saying they needed to send it up somebody to scout, and I think they ended up working out that so well with their timing too. As possibly the E. Oh, RHC is starting to rotating. pop off so to this, this game match now. Was wide open, but now next Rio. We saw what next Rio was able to do earlier too. Surprise boom, kind of made boom back off. And now we're going to be switching to this. Fight. So this can always calm their emotion review on the final IC game. Yeah. S2G is going to be able to find somebody there from IC. He's going to be able to knock a Hamsi. We saw what he was able to do yesterday. Switching back and forth. Hamsi being able to spot people. Not going to lie. The only one S alive, S2G. Though. He needs to be careful because they did have some like their individual players got skill. He's like, once again, I think just got improved. Team Not saying Silas is bad, but like these players that he just got has good gun skills. Look at the they all have good the frustration right coming out immediately especially the ceo guy get finished oh so bummed out but ihc is now on why oh, dk like, bench the also i'm not sure 11 this is what we're talking about seventh right if they can keep Bro, this all is four up this team is dangerous. the 2023 pmg no, champs that. combat I, i'm getting a what little bit wow there for some of the other teams look at this circle as well the thing is IHC is Are they going to push the compound or what? Now they're going to make decisions now. Are they, they going to push the compound or what? Guess what? IHC is having to fight their way in. And right oh. now, if they could take over the compound against uh, Smoke, that would be great. But let's switch over to this fight currently happening on your screen, which is going to be D plus Kia versus Next Ruya. Uh, D plus Kia just too passive now. It's just way too passive. Only one elimination. You can just see K just trying to throw some 180s, 360s, 1080s, trying to figure out what to do. Free firing through smokes. No one's home. Yeah, it's just not looking good for D plus Kia. It's not looking good whatsoever. You mentioned the passiveness there out of this team. And here comes the push. K making it way too easy there for next three as he was the last player alive from D plus Kia. And D plus Kia, even though they ended up getting that third place in the last match, they only ended up with one elimination. And that's something that Suthi was mentioned. Just way too passive. And we got a chance to see it here again. But here we go. IHC oh. making that full commitment over to where Vampire Esports was. And yo, yo, you're going to be able to knock some players too from Vampire Esports. Stolen's going to be knocked. IHC be to actually went to. More openings for his team. IHC does not care Zebra who's Master. in front of him. Oh. They're going for it. Zebra Masters now starting to third party. 
Like you said, they don't they're not carrying who's in front of them, but they gotta watch out who's behind them. Neil Zada just kind of cresting that hill beautifully on time. They end up eliminating Vampire, and now IHC no way he hits are back on down to their three men. We actually connect it. Like, the end. Let's see if it's enough. And you know what? I think Zebra Master realized. Oh my gosh, <laughs> IHC has three people. Run away. Fourteen? Three people. They also have four to their name. And that was I just see. such a crazy push there by that team. Zebra Masters maybe reminding themselves what happened in the last match. Trying to re remind ourselves, you know what? Let's set ourselves up for the end of this match. Death Wolves is gonna get eliminated. Falcons, a team that definitely needs a good, a great, great match here so far with six eliminations, and they're gonna start pushing mm -hmm. over towards where next Ruya is at. Fights are Bro, about to are start so loud. and fights are about to start Insane. getting crazy. Hodge, the the whistles rain. are it's like, gonna end up hitting never Hodge. stop. Here they go. Only tired say, or something? You know, with how Only tired? Doing, they're gonna have a great match no matter what. It's up to Falcons to see if they can have a good one. Mongolian what's happening is domination starts? A lot yeah. Of pressure. On to next Ruya here. They are at the edge Six to Falcon, circle. 14 so to IHC. This is still stage Bro. six. And <clears throat> this is all because of that crazy, crazy zone to start things off here. IHC with 14 having the run of their lives right here. And especially with how many players are still up. Are they trying to are they trying to disturbing the teams here or they're actually cheering for Zebra Master and Smoke Gaming? I can I can I can't really tell where IHC is at now. They made themselves up there and boy that is scary because it's not only just a duo, but on top of that, you mentioned it earlier, they still have that trio. They still have that third player alive trying to find those off angles for his team. IHC looking to close the gap there between the first Bro, I can't imagine the World Cup being Brazil, bro. About. Team Falcons yep. is just going to have easy pickings here as next Rhea tries to climb that mountain, and it's going to be a tough Two one. Two hours, like, non-stop whistling. The Wolf is able to get it up is there, crazy. but uh, the rest of the team hasn't been able to do so far. I think Frozen was going to go to try to follow that path that Z-Wolf set in front of him. Meanwhile, Swain is in the back just completely stuck. Let's see if Ashley can hit one of these nades, though. It's going to have to be placed perfectly and cooked perfectly as well. Yeah, I think he'd rather be, he'd do, he'd do better off saving them. He needs to yep. save those nades for later on. A little bit too far away. They're the next rear players for him to be able to connect with those nades. And now what Team Falcons needs to start focusing up on is what the next circle <laughs> is. I think and they should be players they are actually right, right now in the audience and watching the games. 20 seconds of this circle before the new one pops <clears> up. <throat> And next Ruya, actually, next Ruya play. I, I'm surprised. Nobody ended Take up getting lucky. knocked yet. I'm surprised they were able to even move out of that little warehouse right there. It's a Falcons game, to be at honest. Least one player to get knocked. They got very close. But luckily for them, it didn't end up happening. Yeah, I said they definitely got lucky because of the, the circle, right? The fact that it hard shifted south gives them a lot more time to breathe here. But yeah, yeah, I'm. They were they very have fortunate that Z Wolf was able to kind of just go up that hill at all. Um, I'm surprised we didn't see Falcons push them a little bit harder. Where did they the smoke gaming go? And covered this hill. There's nothing next to you. Is underneath? And now Top is the one that's going to find himself still towards the bottom, hoping that his team's teammates at the top are going to provide some cover for him if if Top can just connect with one of these nades. Oh my Too goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. If he would have timed that perfectly to expose right when it went over his head, easier said than done. That would have been beautiful. That might have been the Fall nade back, for top. me of the day. As Tom I mean, has still hold there. Top could be the distraction, though, that maybe his teammates need to try to find those next. Nice, I see with the combo fire. I was hoping for as I see is able to spot. Falcon them. versus and NR. I think the they're pushing that. For team Fox, oh, and they, another nade. Oh, and now they're gonna be able to switch their focus. Nine kills already for Falcon. They already have a control. Gaming as well. We see one player very close by. Smoke gaming still up with two players. Wild 77k down there from Regnum Karia. That Molly, that nade's gonna do it. Make that 15 eliminations matching team reject Ooh. performance from the last game already. But you know what? They're gonna have to get the chicken dinner if they want to match it. And that's gonna be tough because Team Falcons are finally starting to soar here with nine eliminations and they have all four up. That's the scary part. That is the scary part for me. Team Falcons having their four up. They're being aggressive. They're being mathematicians here. Just taking their time, you know, trying to solve this puzzle. Trying to see where mm. everybody's currently at. I see being forced to back off with the way. Oh, the rock. No player is made in it. Zebra Masters. Just Nor is that? They, they, honestly, this is what the only thing that you I mean, can you do. You can't tell if a player is better. Just if you are game. within 
Yeah, There's other people right here bro. because not only do you have to worry about Team Falcons, you also have to worry about IHC if you do end up pushing out from the back. Let's see what ends up happening. Hey, uh, Zebra Master, I know I told you I'd give you a pass on the last game. This is going to be hard. Good luck. I hope you learned your lesson quickly because now you're going to have to try to focus on one squad at a time when you were completely pinched inside of some Playing shedding the stars is all part of Falcon's plan. On the other hand, just trying to make some noise. You can see them trying to focus on their backs as well. Smoke you never saw Edge TV as a Falcon I see today? Some of these big teams. I mean, Smoke Falcon needs to so clear well Zebra Master. But they've been able to get some points. Nazar got, got a one. With the four that we were talking about, oh. And eliminate some of them. They may just ignore the warehouse and fight outside. <laughs> oh, Zebra Master. <clears throat> Actually, not the Icy. And here they go. That knock on IHC is going to be critical, especially at this time. You can see IHC is going to definitely start pushing the action. If IHC is able to rotate all the way to that left side, yo, the secret, the secret. Thank you for getting forward. the membership. So they got to be very, oh, very late. careful here. That was my, then uh, Team Falcon is going to be the screen. one pinched between Zebra Master and IHC. They're just taking their time for Zebra Masters, using that smoke to their advantage. You can see action slowing down his gameplay as well. This is what you want to see out of experienced team like Team Falcons. Waiting to see what everybody else is gonna be doing, and we are on the final. Coops is still playing with Nigma. Your yeah. favorite one, my favorite one, because everybody is gonna be forced to fight here at some point. And guess oh. who's gonna be starting Ooh. the fight? There is gonna be none other than Zebra Master somehow. <laughs> what? Nicelda, go. you got away with that? That was insane. I thought the the player from Team Falcons was gonna be able to spot him as he jumped. Oh, I see. Is gonna get spotted by Zebra Masters. Zebra Masters being forced here to take two different fights between two different teams. And it is going to be costly. Zebra Master not going out without a fight, though. They're putting in work with all that they have. That knock on a rogue was critical. They've knocked both of these teams by themselves here. Meanwhile, Team Falcons, they have the huge advantage. 11? The circle. They have the most real estate actions. Starting Bro, to this, his way this up is always kind of crazy. It's anyone's game here. Here come out the nades. It's going to be up to Delta. Oh, Falcons pushing HC. Two situation. Zebra and Zebra went out pushing as well. HC got clear. Falcon. From Zebra Masters, and it's not looking good for him. I see he's gonna have to go up against four players from Team Falcons. Team Falcons smelling that blood in the water. They're gonna be looking to close this out. <gasps> and here comes the push. Oh, Nilsada is able to. For he scared me for a sec. Not good enough as Team Falcons finally. Finally gets the win at the main event of the PNGO Brazil tour. Why Zebra Master looks more happy than? Okay, okay, I, I was a little bit confused there. For a moment, I thought like Zebra Master got the chicken, bro. Look at how calm Team Falcon player are. They need to do a lot better than this. They know that they need to close the gap, but I'm so glad, Hot Jukes, that we finally are getting a response out of Team Falcons. They should push them up the leaderboard. In Bro, if we finally see some smells on IC. Jesus. Never fails to make me How many kills they got? They, they, I think they that got over, over 15. They got probably like 16 or something. Elimination chicken dinner. Will you now watch Nova POV? No, 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 no. We have. We gotta watch this interview, guys. We need to pay close attention to this interview. This interview is actually crucial for Team Falcon's performance, okay? We have to give them some flowers, too, because, man, these guys. The next interview is very crucial before we switch to Nova POV and, you know, do analysis on their gameplay. It was a great game by IC. The way that they had to push into every circle. All the IHC plus Falcon the combined, they, they, they literally wipe half of the lobby. We go. We get These two the teams okay, we literally wipe okay, like half of Simon. the lobby. Not the top, like some of the other teams do, but just the right amount. <coughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, I think they're definitely frustrated with how they've started. Yes, so we need to know how what players, you know, what went wrong and what went good for the Team Falcons, obviously, you know, from the interviewers. So we have to regardless, right? But know it. We have to, you know, get familiar with it, you know, what they think, right? Halfway point of this tournament. We are at the halfway point and now two big reasons to watch interview the that are looking to expand on that on that cushion. You know why? Have, because Shifa wants to see the interview because of the caster. Nah. The that we haven't mentioned. And now that you mentioned halfway point, my mind goes straight to it. Those teams at the bottom, they're going to be looking to get those highlights. They're going to be looking to maybe go up against Nova Esports. And this is why I was getting a little bit worried for Nova Esports as uh, 
I mean, those teams at the bottom, they know that they're not going to be challenging. They know that the prize pool, it's not going to be that much of a difference where they are currently located. If Esadora so does an interview, then it's a buff. If it's a down some of the teams bombshell, like Nova who's bomb? Add Paraboy to your highlight. That will definitely get you some views. Ugh. Zoo, you saw the match. You saw the match. I, saw I don't think the interviewer matters. matters. What are you thinking? I don't think the interviewers matter. It's yeah, all about really their about response. Falcons, you know, about time they start showing up. And I think this is probably the best time for them. Yeah, yeah. This the round, we will have Isidore, really like, doing the, the interview the, on uh, Team Falcon. The game really changed, you know, your mindset halfway. You still got a lot of games left to go. It's great. And Alpha 7 and also... I mean, you gotta throw rejects in there now because they're, they're both. DK1 like, player is injured? Two what? Both going out early did open up the gateway for a lot of other teams to catch up. IHC in particular, I know you guys are saying, imagine if they had four. Well, <laughs> to be fair, they did have four. They had four into the late game, as late as it has been so far for them. I don't think we've seen them with four, you know, that late into the game. And that yeah. last push was a difficult push where they pushed into Vampires. Yeah. And it was Zebra Masters, I think, right over <coughs> the top of them at the same time. Them only losing one player there to breach that circle, I think that was as good as it could get. Sure, keeping sure. four up would have been amazing. It would have been spectacular. But I think that would have had to like rely more on another team messing up. Guys, how come we're not even have we don't even have four hundred likes? Top. Guys, like the stream, please. Let's make it five hundred. I think that's what what was so important. Yo, Vinny, thank you for the give the membership to and a congratulations to Nera Yanker for so getting the membership. We just saw vehicles crashing in. Bro, show the interview. Stop doing the analysis. Seven one player ended up getting eliminated. Showing so for the to be able to do that, and I feel like it speaks volumes of their confidence as well that they were able to carry throughout that whole match. Because we, I mean, Jukes, we weren't seeing them. They were willing to take fights, and they were eliminating teams with ease. DK yeah, player they fell they for his. <laughs> right? They did not yeah. get any love uh, when it Yo, thank you, Vinny, so again for I another gift of the membership. And congratulations to Redface yeah, for getting my membership. Four up, you know? <laughs> but you're right. I mean, majority of teams. Why, also not playing? No it, idea. Right? The yeah. fact that they made it with three, only losing one in those fights is insane. So, I mean, IHC. I, I think they're probably one of the deadliest Bro, squads in this Vinny's body. popping yeah, up in the chat. And congratulations for uh, Steven. It's just because of Steve the for getting the membership right? from Vinny. Struggling, but at the same time, having a lot of success regardless. They were having a lot of success. A team that was able to find a little bit of success. Bro, in, in Turkish stream, match started. Masters and I was talking about those are teams for towards real? the bottom that are, are probably going to start switching their mindset in regards to how they're thinking about this tournament. They can't just fix, not only fix this, the like, possible, get a fix uh, for once. Not even hot dropping, just hunting down some of the top teams, right? Trying to stop their... So this is a curse of Nova? In the top. But it's also stealing those points that those teams are going to need to close the gap. And I think that's why I'm so happy Turkey that Team stream? Falcons woke up here at the halfway point, like Satir was mentioning, is because yeah. it's going to get harder and harder to get those points. Some of the other teams... They're going to get to a point where they're just not going to give a damn. They're going to take whichever fight yeah. is possible because their tournament is pretty much over. They're going to be getting the exact same amount of prize pool. And we've seen it before, Jukes. We've seen it before, Sute. At what point do we start expecting that out of some of those teams? I mean, we're already seeing some of the bottom teams take points away from the teams that are towards the <gasps> top. To close the gap between the uh, first... What did we miss? Hmm. I mean, honestly, if I'm really thinking about it, I'm dude, IGL English well, stream right? sucks. If I was a coach, if I was an IGL, what would I be doing if I was in that? I'm but sorry, Hajux. É, e esse caneco vai ficar aqui. E vai lembrar amanhã que vai estar rolando uma disputa de uma dancinha aqui para você. Então fique ligado, não perca, porque tem muita coisa boa para acontecer. Even ainda. though there's only two forty-six people watching. Assim, particularmente, para mim, o melhor lugar. É aqui no meio da torcida, porque é onde tá rolando a barulheira, né? Alfa 7! Alfa 7! Alfa 7! Isso aqui é Brasil! Isso aqui é Alfa 7! E a gente tá no momento! Ok, vamos ver esse stream from now. Ajuda os meninos ali de cima a trocar muito bem. Ué, Alfa 7! 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 Nesse climão a gente vai levar esse caneco. Bora, Brasil! Bora! Bora, galera! Bora, família! Bro! Bueno, ahí tenemos los highlights, veíamos a Vispa. Okay. Ojo, Vespa que está de Let me check every, let me check, let me check every single stream, okay, guys? Let me check every single stream. De, de Brasil. 
eh, mientras veíamos ahí un poquito las conexiones. ¿Quién hubiera pensado que el final de la partida se iba a desenlazar en Let aquel me check con... every Dan tadi kalau kita ngomongin next rule ya. Ini kayaknya salah satu tim yang bisa dikatakan Wait. gameplay-nya tuh kayak uh, Indonesia they have a diam -diam, tau -tau female caster as well. Kalau diperhatikan <coughs> kemarin sempat ada zona Bro, there are so many languages. Okay, I think they're showing the rankings. We'll, 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 we'll go back and Play see that better, honestly, later. Right? Mm, we'll we'll check every single stream, bro. A little bit more and more lose. And if anything, they might just get more aggressive where it's like, we don't care if we lose all four players. You have two knocks, we're going to go in and just thirst them. And now all of a sudden, <coughs> you know, top teams are more likely to lose one player, two players Yo! against the weaker teams. Because those weaker Eclipse. teams don't really care I don't know how about... You, how I don't you know, know who give, give you the membership leash, though. But, you know, get some points, get in there, and just you know, create some highlights, like you said. Yeah, that mm. Chinese dream ranking, by the way. Right First now, we're giving props there to Team Falcons. We're giving props to IHC, and I it's just like two male casters talking. Boring. I just noticed they ended la that last match with 16 eliminations. That is absolutely ridiculous. Bro, just checking out girls. No, I'm not. I'm just checking out different vibes. You know, there are different damage. vibes in different streams. I'm just check checking out different vibes, bro. That's just ridiculous. I mean, I really didn't even think that anybody was going to even touch IHC elimination wise, considering just how far ahead they were in the lobby. But then Team Falcons just wiped everybody out right there at the end, basically almost I see seven. them. And they got the chicken dinner. So, I mean, Team Falcons. Average I mean, stats, this leaderboard MVP stats. Have to, have to shake up after wow. this one. I wonder just how many placements they're going to move up. They should have to move up a little bit more. They should be able to close that gap. I I, I want to start seeing. I want to start seeing how uh, Alpha 7 is going to be reacting, right? We're going to have what now? Uh, three matches going into the day. We're going to be going into the fourth one. Alpha 7 hasn't gotten a chicken dinner at this point yesterday. Alpha 7 had two chicken dinners and they were feeling comfortable they were feeling hyped up you saw how the crowd was feeling as well they're definitely a team that can feed off that energy and right now i feel like we definitely need a big response from alpha 7 as the Ooh. gap it's only seven points but look at also how much of the gap there Bro, i think nova fell IC, off pushing up two spots to that oh. third place with seven I think nova's points. like 13 or something 79 points is huge considering that they were <coughs> way below that after after that last game and you got team falcons moving up six placements there still in the running you know and team falcons if they're able to you know have another game like this they're going to be in the running for top three no, but 11. I will say that is hoping this is that hard. alpha seven and reject go out early and uh, what's up brother man whole hello andrew welcome to the watch really party formed, it's gonna have to happen from a lot of these squads right so uh these top teams should start worrying about having a target on their back at this point different times here as we go to towards the second page and we have two champions two previous champions of pmgc in 10th and 11th place at some point here Sute, we gotta see uh we, we gotta see some kind of action here from these two teams because they're just not having the best of tournaments guys. and now that the halfway point market's gonna be Oops. passing by we need to see more of them i'm just gonna say this real quick i don't have i don't have the like, igl i don't have two monitors be the like, best decision right i, I don't have two monitors so like the... uh nova also with jimmy gone yep. it's just it take i feel like it's just gonna have to take more time okay okay guys go back to the really enough for the jokes and all that IGL. let's go back to the nova stream and see I'm what we're rolling i'm with you don't forget everybody the new rp a6 is available now with price pool worth over 80,000 UC. Let's go back and see what we're on. I mean, there, this this one, I kind of like did the analysis already. I personally feel like Paraboy, sh Paraboy shouldn't take this position. He either should group out with his team or pulling no more to the north and uh, trying to see if he can get some kills on IHC, to be honest. You see, Paraboy can help. Paraboy can help his team 
from that position. There's like, this position is pretty much useless. You will take that position if you clear the edge, either way. So I personally feel like um, Purple shouldn't take that position that, that fast. He, should, 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 he honestly just needs to group either group up or like go more to the like the south to um, to gatekeep IHC there so that they don't get like backstab or get like sandwiched by two teams. So let's see what we run this match. Purple scouting. Purple said, uh, I, I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. Order said uh, I'm gonna go go around and see where are they. They literally just hiding, camping there. Oh, <laughs> nice driving skill by Paraboy. Order got knocked. He will get knocked. Paraboy will get knocked. And no said I'm um, one HP. Don't say them one HP. They are coming. They are coming to kill them. Don't say that they just went up. I didn't even hear the footsteps. So basically, so basically, our oh the role of war basically camped Nova there. This match. I feel like they can do. Ma I, I they can't really do much this game. It's like uh pretty unfortunate. But the game before, the game before though, I feel I think they were too yeah, they were too rushed. Like they should take time, you know, having someone cover and then, you know, run like driving circles and see if they can, you know, bait them out or something. I think they were a little bit rushed. I think that's the only thing, only mistake they made there when the fight, the fight between them and our Royal of War. But the the previous Irangel game, the previous Irangel game, I think that's that's uh, that's 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 kind of throw. That's a that's a that's a throw. I feel like. Welcome back, what do you guys ladies think? and gentlemen. As we are getting closer to that third and final match. Of the day. What do you think about the Don't previous worry, one? Have two Miramars, but we're looking at the should Paraboy we're go to that position or he should, should just like group up with his team or either go more to well the south and uh, gatekeep or third party of the IHC. Yeah, Jimmy may not have been known to be like the best mechanical player or stats player. He said, said that yeah, the Urangel really game was hard. Was the Rock, Paraboy win was like no cover at all. The rest of the team and also he let SC two guys now, like, you know, in that position as like run the up. And the lead scout. Order's I, mindset is I feel, I, I feel like happen, right? he, he can't really do he much with that Rock's position. So he's not he can't, to she should either go, go off to pull off the team in those spots, right and he's kind of just going right below IHC so that he can the shoot them the freely and like you apart. know shoot them away or group up with the uh, I'm actually gonna disagree with you Zoo. with the team I'm gonna disagree oh now here's what I say I agree with what your point is right but I disagree with that's the problem that Nova's having in my opinion the problem that they're having is that the game has changed right where Close quarter combat is king, right? Teams need to be able to perform better. That's it's elevated to a new level. Not to mention, let's be real, the DBS is just it's so overpowered right now. Personally, yeah. you know, a, a flick snipe headshot is what gets my heart pumping. I hate the fact that the DBS is so strong, but it is what it is. And I just think that Nova doesn't have that same firepower compared to these other teams. Uh, when it comes to that close quarter. So I think that's why we see them struggle time and time again. But you know what? A new match is happening. Seven and Zoo. Y'all take this one away. He said, I think we need to pressure IHC. 
It is getting hot and on my side as we get started here with this playing path as we get started on the final Aaron Gill for Yeah, so basically two. two options for them. I agree with both of your points. Even with I like Q you were saying Sute in regards to what Jimmy yeah, It would be better if like yeah, the best the best to play there would like, be I, I, obviously I just pull below a little bit below HC and trying to get keep them and, and pressure them yeah. so that you don't get well, sandwiched. It is a lot more close quarter. You do have to be good with that DBS. You do have And if order didn't get knocked from HC, I think with Nova 3 man they can still defend team bra ever to be doing that is we, it team bra who rushed them i think team bra rushed them right with, uh, in a rango game against d plus it was an easy pickings for them but when it comes to close range i feel like nova's definitely struggling and nova's definitely struggling with their igl so far here in the pmgo yeah when, when nova is able to do that mid-range long range and even they they might get the most difficult shifts they're like superb at navigating all of that, but the second it comes down to just close range, straight up, 4v4, it gets really difficult, and nothing is more oh, difficult IHC than, versus... than that military. Oh, I actually think I finished by IC. Falcon struck. Wait, is that a hot drop onto IHC? No, 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 it's high fight, high fight. Wait, no, 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 no. In the elimination feed just now. Oh, well, well, I mean, we'll I see, we'll see, see it in it. We'll see it in a second. Like this, yeah, this is a. <coughs> oh, it says 2 G and high five is I swear, again. high five I mean, just. I guess they're both dropping here to get vehicles. These two teams just don't let each other go. Oh, here's the whistleblower. It makes sense that we're seeing a hot drop. Oh my god. In a completely different location, but that might just be due to the plane. Path. Dude. This, do with this the is the why the whistle is you know, not stopping. Not be likely to see the same hot drop as before, as we're nowhere near Yasnaya. But these two teams thinking the same. Great minds usually. What's your opinion like? on 4M I mean, in this lobby? I don't think 4M can do good in this lobby. In this kind of lobby, I feel like to back off. you can't just have gun skill. Off, you need to wait and see what you need to have. I know you mentioned team gun skills plus IGL. On this and also like teamwork. I think in the for 4M, they have like an individual gun skill, but like their teamwork is lacking. A7 has a way better teamwork than 4M. They decide to jump up. They want this fight. He's got a machete they want the in He has a knife on hand. He wants to be able to spawn. Oh, oh, oh. Throw it into <laughs> what is this? It's up hitting as Ray C does end up hitting those shotgun shots. S2G getting some revenge for all the trouble High Five has really, you know, been giving them. And they're going to feel good about that one. And Action uh, got one finished. Of the what? Falcons Ooh. players. No, one of the IHC players did go down. So one of the IHC players is out, and I think Falcons is kind of caught in a s split loot drop fight with Royals of War. There's just a lot of stuff going on, and I'm not surprised. Yeah, top right there knocking one of uh, Royals of War Rivas going down there. And I think all the action, the pacing early game has been heightened with the fact that we do have that military circle. Yeah, that military circle is going to be crazy. And Falcons, it seems that usually can end up dropping in Novo. They didn't even want to take the chance, especially with the plane. If plane you pass, was a player, you would wear a 7 versus 2-1. So sure, to shut up got this cut off guard. You were mentioning, kind of <laughs> spot it in a pinch situation. You saw IAC players being able to knock some of the some of the Team Falcons players, and on top of that, Royals of War as well. Luckily for Team Falcons, they were only able to lose one player. They were able to kind of reset a little bit there. Three players are going to be left. They're going to be focusing a lot more on those final circles. And here we go. We're going to get a chance to see it. Oh, Snow slime in the vertical chat, bro. It's so hard right to pick there. a side. Nice. You mean pick a drop spot to I rank swear, grind? If that would knife throw would have hit. You want to play safe, you know, just drop far. Find a view going to go far. <laughs> yeah. That would have been, and play that slow. been crazy, but hey, if all if you have you're is confident with your gun skill, just hard drop and get the kills and, you know, just rank like up, finding people all match. All, all three That's basically players, how you play right, classics. <laughs> the best part for me was when, when they hopped out of the vehicle, I immediately noticed. What do you mean by 71? <laughs> holding that what, What's the meaning behind just, it? He definitely didn't have a weapon, but he did not care. IHC getting some more points right there. IHC rotating out of 90, 83, 79. Wow. Of kind of more scrap loot. So high five is just really not getting uh, in our fourth place. Oh. Sitting in last place, and oh, <clears throat> did they spot? Sp I think they spotted monkey. I think they spotted. <gasps> oh. oh no, they didn't. Monkey in a big fish, big bush, currently hiding, and he got away with it. The madman, the one that's the only player. Oh, he's talking to the judge five. or something. But look at IC. IC still wondering if they're gonna be able to spot that player. 
Meanwhile, Mickey, if I would recommend anything, stay still, don't move, because here come IHC again, and they're looking to find you. They're looking around. <laughs> you can see them. <laughs> they're using, they, right now, they're just locked in. Gales is not even looking. Gales is like... Oh, they were getting one more oh, by the way, I think a lot of players got code there. From this. A lot of players are sick. With it there in the bush. Like all four, full of our NHB sure players the they are all back, sick. They all catch a coding brother. Well, no, they just went for another vehicle. I think I might need to. I need to get a. I need to get a vaccinated before I travel to Brazil. They come back again. He's like, oh, I'm definitely dead now. Oh no, they didn't spot me again. But elsewhere on the map, this fight is breaking out. This is actually on Military Island, on the far south. This lone compound south of the military base, frozen. I think he, you know, no, he's not here by himself. He does have a teammate in the form of Anar being They're fourth place right now for the rest actually of the makes me here feel a little bit better because Maybe NHP out, got wiped by yeah. Anar it twice a before, in the prelim. But next Rio does have the advantage. So good to know. They're like, you know, Frozen's fourth place. Find those angles here, Frozen, and, and still Nick winning fights consistently. Position with 70 points. That's a team that's going to be looking to close that gap even more to first place as they are 20 points behind. If they could get four points here right off the bat without losing anybody, it would be absolutely wonderful for this team. We can see Deathfall is currently holding off great angles for this <coughs> team. It's making the push a lot harder as Obscure, the not player from Deathwolves, is trying to see if he could possibly get picked up. It's going to be a tough one, though, if they do end up trying to pick up as Deathwolves is just expecting a full-on push here by next Ruya. I know Death Wolves is a more inexperienced team compared to some of the rosters here, but I love how they're not going for this revive. They're waiting and waiting and waiting. They want to establish maximum pressure on the defense. First oh, frozen with the off angle. Revive, but unfortunately, one of them gets caught, and that player goes down. And now this should be the go ahead for next Rhea to start pushing it. And Frozen rotating around, being able to get those angles. And here we go with the push from next Rhea. Now, two players from Death Wolves are gone. It's gonna be making Your it a little bit so many easier here for next year. They just need brain. to make sure mean? that they do this cleanly as they don't want to end up losing any of the players from their team. Kind's gonna be on top of the roof. He's gonna try to get an angle here on this. Oh, is he gonna be able to do it? He's gonna be the last player alive too. Very low HP. And now everybody from next year is gonna recognize that and it's gonna be cool. easy pickings there a for clean next wipe Four for more NR. points, helping them close the gap to first place in next Ruya. This is a team that's been very quiet. I feel like I personally been focusing a little bit more towards the top teams. Oh my god, Brazilian teams fighting again? There. But the next Ruya, quiet and surely, they're climbing up that leaderboard. I mean, with currently within the top. What four, happened to Smoke? I mean, they were cooking teams. the plim. I feel the like they're. Once tournament. you get to this phase where all teams' gun skills are on par with each other, Ruya. it's really hard for their like, gameplay to work. Their presence just. Match after match with, you know, not huge performances, but definitely getting the points when needed. Alpha 7 now, this is the top dog. They are not on military base. You can see that right there on the mini map. They are south of Mill to Power. Getting Nova Cross. Nice. Guys, here. I think they were looking perfect. for a boat rotation across, and they ended up running into a different team here. So now they're kind of forced into this fight. New circle pops, and it is going to military base. And it could be a bit of an awkward fight here for Alpha 7 as they are currently split on a 2-1-1. There you go. One of the players is going to end up backing off. Carrillo is still going to be staying there. Smoke Gaming trying to get an off angle. If Myth is able to get this spot, it's going to be tough for Alpha 7 as now they just have a lot more angles to worry about. And Smoke Gaming is putting the pressure here on Alpha 7. Alpha 7, we wanted to see what they were going to be able to do, how they're going to be able to react. One of the players there from Smoke Gaming is going to get knocked. Nino is going to be making the push here on Carrillo. Carrillo is going to get knocked and eliminated. Not looking good here for Alpha 7 as they cannot afford to lose more players. They want to be able to keep on building the gap. Ooh. Nino once again continuing to win those close quarter fights. Not only against Carrillo, but also against Revo. Yeah, I, I thought Alpha 7 was on the same page when he pushed right in, but his teammate hung back. It doesn't matter though. He finds a trade with the grenade. Now it's back down to a 2v2. This is like a straight up chess match. One player or one team reacting to the, what the other one's doing. 2v2, and it looks like Alpha 7 has advantage. The other player lost his vehicle, I think, because he's running out in the wide open from that wizard tower. And he makes it across, which is great, but it's still a 2v1 close range. McGrellan not able to get the knock and Smith oh. finds or <gasps> finds the angle. Lost finds one for Alpha shot. 7? Also down to one oh HP, my god. It is the blue zone that is coming into play now.
He must be also trying to heal up. I see you mentioning he's currently one HP. He's gonna pump out that DBS. Can he? I feel so. I feel like he can clutch this. Pick up his teammate and win this fight. But guess what? It's two players now from Smoke Gaming. Oh. Mafioso trying to take on everybody, and he's not gonna be able to. And you can see Alpha Seven, even though the fans were clapping. The players are starting to feel a bit of a pressure. That gap is... Oh, Nova versus Falcon. Let's go. Anymore. And this is when we need to see a response from Alpha 7. If they continue on this trend, they're not going to be in first place for much longer as Reject, IHC, oh, Tom. and Next Ruya are looking to hump them down and talking about some of the other teams that need to oh. continue on the consistency. Top versus the Paraboy. Team Falcons trying to take a fight here with Nova Esports. Oh, Paraboy knock one, low range. Paraboy knock the icy. Clearing everything really quickly. Pops that first aid, and here comes Paraboy. Close range with a nade, and he oh. got to finish the first aid. Top solid. Paraboy, two kills. Paraboy is holding that nade. Unfortunately, he misses that. The bridge can work for Nova. Yes, and he will go down. Falcons down to just the solo of Nerzed. Nerzed on the bridge. Probably looking to just bridge camp, maybe get one elimination there. But as far as I can tell, no other teams are coming in from that side. IHC go out too, I think, to D plus on that north side, right near the edge of blue zone. Maybe IHC still has one or two. You know, we they lost one very early on. So we'll see in a second who's still up. But everyone else pretty much on military base and looking to play the rest of the match out. And the person with that whistle in the stand has some lungs because they've Nuts. been going at it non-stop and a team that's looking to take advantage here of the non-stop action is going to be Rejects. Rejects currently inside the circle. A team that's wanting to close that gap. Bra versus team what? Team they can take, end up taking is first place war? after this match. Regnum Karya now getting into a fight there with Royals of War. Royals Man, of the War whistle guy. <laughs> and Regnum Karya is no going to end up winning this engagement. One player is still alive from Royals of War. We don't know where though. And you were right. IHC does end up getting eliminated. And what could happen here if next Ruya continues on a good performance? Rejects too. This point gaps that we were having earlier are starting to disappear, Sute. And I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm all for it as well. D plus will or pick D plus will pick up the man. High five. Guys are eliminated. And yeah, looking at the right hand side. Rejects with only three. They can Who's whistling the audience? The big thing though is next Ruya who have four players up and four eliminations already. Plus they're already on the military base in a decent position. This could be the big one for them to really start catching up. It could be the big one and they need some big ones too. I feel like they were in the position that Team Falcons was in that last match. Reject now on the elimination feed. Being able to knock some players from Boom, can they convert that into points? Because they are wanting to get those points, especially with what's cruel oh. offering to them. Boom Zebra versus Master Zebra. He's going to be on that roof. They're going to be looking to see if Boom is going to be pushing them. Boom is going to try to reset themselves after Reject did end up knocking one of their players. For all of the teams from 10 to 15 that are currently alive, this is a great oh. opportunity. And look at that. Boom Esports connected with the grenade right there. Frenzy is good. From Zebra Masters. And Zebra Masters trying to see if they can reset, but they need to be careful as Frenzy from Boom Esports is going to try to connect with some more Wait. Now did he solo ground, wipe to the guy with DBS? With holding? Boom, as wow. Reject is still up on that guy got radar. some confidence there. They have so much, so many angles on this fight that if rejects can somehow third party this steal some eliminations without having to push down they will be so happy yeah rejects actually did already steal one of them as they got the member that got hi-fi really did this on themselves so the, the their only focus was to make us to defail in this event why would they make us to defail the event and not performing though need to be careful of actually fully engaging running out into the open because rejects are looking dead right at them New zone is about to shift as well. We'll see very soon which way it will go. Usually, Zebra Masters are the ones that are good with that utility, but Boom is also trying to send a statement here. They're wanting to remember everybody that they have a chicken dinner for a reason. And here comes the push on Zebra Masters. Boom, pump it, trying to find that player on this mode. They're fully sending it, kind of leaving themselves a little bit too exposed. They're not able to find the player yet. They're going to know where he's at. Can he connect with this shot? Very low HP. And they're able to find him through this mode, nice. but that is not the last one there for Zebra Masters. There's still one more player alive. We don't know where he ran away with it. But Boom Esports should be happy here with being able to get this Nox. Now can they convert into eliminations? Or is Reject all the way from radar gonna catch some of this players from Zebra Masters Nox? <coughs> and 
Rejects is looking this way. They could have caught one right there. The player crawling wide in the open. Yeah, the last member of Zebra. Pass I believe Monkey has beef with them. He says something in his stream, even in his post. He says things so like Legend know right our goal the because there. they just want to kill us. coming in here on the northeast on the side, drop spots. Plus, Bro, I feel like with one player knocked right now. They still have a couple That's, players to work with. They have that would be a mature so thing to do, to like specifically a targeting a team down instead of like performing your own. High ground, catching that angle from the very top. If that's and true, two players, feel bad for high five players. The backside, and that is Myth going down and Smoke Gaming eliminated. Great play by D Plus now putting their tally all the way up to seven eliminations they'll definitely be climbing up this leaderboard they're gonna be trying to pick up their teammate right there. oh that was a little bit sketchy <laughs> i was wondering what he was gonna try to do maybe put him a little bit in the circle but he's so low that you have to go for that pickup team falcons did oh, end up getting three kills. nova is still alive with all their four players Finally. so many teams that need to take advantage of this they all agree to do right that. I think not just the monkey. The then, if they're not signed, I doubt yeah, if a Morgan will happen. sign what them. That really because they're literally showing their about ever since they professionalism in the first match. To be honest, Vampire Esports they have all their four player lives. I feel like Vampire Esports is playing very careful, but luckily for them, when we do end up showing the circle, they're sitting smack down the middle of it, so they could take full advantage of this. Yeah, Vampire with four up in a great spot. We'll see how far oh, DK versus SUG? Come on, on spectators! What are you doing? Now. Boom rotating. Oh. Finish that fight. It looks like they're trying to catch up the last member of Zebra Master. S2G with the Ray Z with the big day. Catching two of D plus two for one special. And surely S2G is going to pump the aggression up. And yeah, they're driving straight in. Evil Knievel up onto that hilltop with the bike. Gets the high ground, gets the high angle. And D plus is absolutely decimated. I think D plus got a little bit carried away there with the momentum that they were carrying. They saw S2G nearby. They said, we'll take the fight. That grenade stopped them right in their Seems trash. Just the the DK. Yeah. Now Rejects has heard that fight happening. I wonder if Rejects is going to be doing something here to this team's. As STG gonna try to back off and that's smoking vehicle. Always such a sketchy thing to do, man. I feel like people get away with things so much sometimes. When I hop in a, a smoking that's vehicle, whistle guy, I feel man. like it gets blown up as I blink. Some people get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all about the timing. Boom has moved into the radio station. New zone pops up and I think radio station is dead. Are the now audience whistling? The yeah, station. they are. are still in the zone. Rechecks can still Nova, nice. This this is literally could have been the Nova game if they can hold a team bra. Please team hold. Please hold team bra, Nova. New first place team. We haven't seen a, a change since the beginning of this tournament of this main event. It's only been. They have to hold team bra. That could be challenging now. Boom, and once they did that, once they do that, they will be the only team. Reject with the position. In the uh, at. They're West. not really gonna have to rotate any anytime soon. It comes down to what they're going to be able to do to third party some of these fights. They know that Boom is going to be down there. Nova currently oh. taking on some fights. Nova's Wait, gonna, gonna be able who to got knocked? Of is that Dreamy got knocked? Boom is saying, okay, we hear those shots. Let's see if maybe we can third party as well because we want to get some points too. Meanwhile, Vampire Esports still all their four points. Which team is in bra? I think next the bra team is bra, guys. Okay. They need to be careful because. Or I got blown up? Oh position. my it's god. A good position, but if some nades start getting thrown their way, Dreamy boy, got thirsted. With how close everybody is. Right now, another advantage Vampire has, though, is the reject team at the top. They'll prevent teams from getting too close over the top to chunk nades in, but that does not make them nade uh, completely nade immune. As we look at Nova right now, long, so okay, long clutch. The final couple of zones. Nova did lose two of their players fighting against, I believe, Regnum Karia here. And Regnum Karia up to four eliminations. Regnum Karia, bro. Uh, throw up some points. Team Bra is right such a better name. Seventh place. Yeah, Regnum it's not Karia. for them either if they could get a huge game in here with their four remaining players. Yeah, all of these teams trying to take advantage of what's given to them. Paraboy trying to find some more. Did they notice Paraboy? Because the guy is using DP. Paraboy, I think, is the don't, like one of the few players who's using DP, to be honest. Range. Even though he was able to clutch it up earlier with top, top was in low Paraboy got tacked. No. Regnum Karia having to do a little bit of shimmy, having to dance around 
as now they're getting the attention of just about everybody. Not only Nekruya, she went with the Jinx. Vampire Literally, I was just the doing the analysis on the game. That's, that's what the they should do and what they need to do. Tower. To be honest, Nekruya staying alive and then the long got knocked by Bra, long got thirsty. Karabo is the last one for Nova. Next Ruya. Oh, Tony K. Wow, clean wipe. Right I told you guys, Anar is good. Their gun skills is like top notch. Their gun skills is not alright. Their gun skills is top notch. Even on the global yep. standard. Top notch gun skill. Turbo got taken out. Origi. Nova is out with 3 kills. I think. Can we put the nail on the coffin now for Nova? They're not gonna be. This late into the game, like top and five. We only have five teams left, actually, and it is only going to stage six. And I think next Ria is gonna end up learning from the Yo, Bibu, Bibu, welcome you back. You back. You Did you? There, are you so down with cu cuddling? Cuddling like FS? There before Vampire Esports, they just got caught by surprise. And look at this circle. Okay, rank. Reject, you are set. Boom, you're set. Regnum Karia trying to find a push here with what they're trying to do. And on top of that, you have S2G now trying to find some angles there towards the top of that radar, seeing if they could possibly surprise some of the players from Reject. Yeah, I think, I think right Reject now. was able to spot him. Yeah, Reject should be fine here. No team can actually push Who died? To the Is top. it Sarah? Oh, Sarah's still alive. So they they were mine. Wild rotation where they go into the blue and then drive up to the top. I guess the the curse just but did, did them one game. Rejects, they get the next zone right because if the zone shifts off of them, which there is a high chance it will, they have to pretty much drive off the mountaintop and just full send it down and hope they don't get blown up. But let's see if they can pick up more elimination points before being forced to do so. The next big team that needs to make a play is next three. You can see there they are not in this next circle. And they have a tough time right now to find a way in, even with four players up. We've seen crazier thing happens, and I wouldn't be surprised if Reject at one point does end up sending a car over that mountain. It would be insane, but I'm all for it. You know what? I like insanity sometimes whenever it is given to us. And yeah, with SCG, I don't think that we're going to be sending anybody into that zone. If they would have, I would have been pleasantly surprised. I just wanted to get a little bit closer and make it harder for reject to get some angles there on them as they are towards the south of rejects next Ruya trying to find their way in boom if you're boom at this point what do you end up doing do you just keep on doing what you're doing and hope that rejects are going to be taking those shots onto the players that are going to be pushing towards them yeah exactly i think boom is relying on the fact that the teams on the hilltops will provide some help if they get crashed up straight so that's why Boom is holding more of a spread still rather than condensing into one build. Is QC available? No, they. No, Nova literally, they only have these four players no, rely on who can actually play. Other players are either too, retired or become four, a streamer or got the transfer to another team. To so Nova outside, will play these four. The openings, but I don't with, think they know that they will play with these four players. On the outside has four players up. I think they're going to be finding out here. Reject. There you go. This is what I was expecting to see Reject do. And this is what we were all expecting for Rejects to do, which is third party anybody, gatekeep anybody that's going to put themselves super exposed. Is it me and or like every time like if, if we were playing public mobile, right? Every time we got a kill, we often jump up. To find an angle on them. They're gonna if you got a wipe or you got, if you got a kill, oftentimes you jump up while we're loading. Is it me or like the, mo the majority of you are doing that as well? Costing some damage on those teams pushing up. There you go. When you overextend a little bit too much, right? Too much, Ragey. You will Which get PL spotted. team can compete in this Little, lobby? Little, you're feeling risky. Are you going to want to push this out? I feel like WBG. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to end up winning a little bit more. They're just going to let them know, hey, we know that you guys are there. You know what? Let's make a peace read it. Unless you guys don't want to, then we're going to have to send it to you. You jump yeah, with a clutch. I love the way rejects are playing this. They always leave Regioso <laughs> to do. This is like a weird. Thing, you crouch. Regioso does have, you know, probably the most accurate shot, the most, you know, mechanical long range player. How about? Because he's always you, in these long. Do you guys by himself, pro? The rest of the team focus on and you know, get in the car. Do you guys do pro and while so getting in the car? Rejects like a pro first and press on. Really knows, you know, get in. Do you guys do that? 
given moment. And I think that's why we see Rejects, you know, having so much success, you know, as the tournament goes on. And after they pressured out S2G, they realized, okay, they can't come up. We're okay here. Now they're all going back up to the top and focusing elsewhere. And the best thing yet for them is that they do get some of the next circle. They do get the circles. We know what Reject can do whenever they do end up getting placed by that circle. Just jump in car. Karya, one of their players. Trying to get an angle there. Waiting for Reject for Rhea players to just stay still long enough. All they need is just half a second and they're gonna <laughs> end up knocking you. Meanwhile, Reggie also trying to spot those players from Yo, next jump Rhea. Sometimes? Even if you okay. give him just a little bit, he's gonna start taking those shots. He's gonna start putting up that pressure on you. Seawolf truly within that smoke and he knows that he cannot she push back just yet as Frozen is truly vehicle. starting to get shots on himself as well. Meanwhile, boom, while all of this is happening, while Seawolf is trying to push up, as Frozen is trying to find an angle to hide as well, boom esports are just chilling. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Do not overextend, just wait for the right oh. time. Let all these teams in the hilltop take care of things, and that's it. Oh, Jump. You know what? Boom saying, maybe we'll get a little bit into that action. Maybe oh, he's, we'll he still have more kills to do. As they Jump. start throwing grenades and Rigi. hopefully try to stop next Rhea from pushing closer and closer to them. Oh. <laughs> I love how Regios has spotted that S2G player at the last thing. Like, wait a second. These are my points here shooting at, at the distance. Get back down there. And there we go. Next Rhea, not able to get much further. We'll get taken out, and I love what Boom did right there. Use that vehicle, even if for just a couple of seconds. It's always faster than running on feet, and he has some hard cover now. And S2G, I don't think they can climb up any higher, but they have been What's getting got lost, man. close to the side of Reject. Rejects right now just looking up and down. There's a team on their north, a team on their south, all getting really close by. But they should be okay from up here still. Yeah, for Duello, you're trying to see if you, you don't want to end up sliding off, and S2G, I mean, right now, this is what they wanted to do. They're going to be willing to take some damage from the blue zone if they can get a little bit closer, get the angle even harder for Reject. And ultimately, the closer and closer that they do end up getting to Reject, the harder it is going to be able for Reject to get those shots on S2G. And I think that's why earlier we didn't even see them be... They were able to spot some players from Re from S2G, from Reject, but it was just going to be hard to take those push. And here we go, Sarah now making a jump down. They know that Ringdom Karya players are going to be here. If he can connect on these two players whenever they do end up picking, that'll be massive points for this team. A team that's trying to take that first place after this match from Alpha 7 for the first time. Could we have a leader change? We'll have to wait and see. It's looking good here for Rejects though with this circle. But once it starts closing in, it's going to be a lot tougher. Do they still have a zone for Demi Rejects? Yeah, uh, Sorry right there really recognizes that there's two players that's going to be caught out of the next zone as it closes in so he's gonna get a little bit more over aggressive and risk getting knocked himself but he definitely needs to do this not let the two members in for free but the smokes will be good and that is a good smoke path right there as regnum karia bring their two other members closer into this next circle and we are going into that circle nine right and that's where rejects loses all of their advantage because they have the furthest to go to try and get to the center and the blue will start pushing them out first and have to keep in mind boom is still in this as well this four-way fight is getting more and more difficult now for every team involved boom is in this but they're gonna have to push out of the what a view that they were and you can see them have to pay for it as well as Riga. you mentioned sarah being able to spot those two players earlier guess what there goes one knock can he convert that into elimination and he's gonna switch to the other wait did we miss the interview Korea. did they do the Trying interview last the match he's gonna be able to spot wild 77 K. did, we do, oh, did they do the interview on falcon great, guys great angle right there by him you guys pay attention. Silas into an elimination point. Yeah, Sara, one man team okay. right here, handling the entirety of Regnum Karia. He's not done with the last player, but Blue Zone is closing in. He's gonna bide his time. And for Rejects, they can actually get actually do they have control of the center? This mountain juts out quite a bit. Regioso might be near center or more near center than all the other players right now, but hold that thought as as 2G. Hamzi, right over the top. Regioso did hear the player. He's cooking the nade. Can he cook it to perfection? Oh. But Hamzi peeks out with that DBS. No longer is that nade in hand. He might have to just take the gunfight. Gonna have to take that gunfight. Regioso getting a little bit lucky there as Hamzi did end up missing some shots. The grenades Ooh. are gonna be coming through. The battle of the mountain goats is what I'm gonna be calling this one because boy, it is such a tough situation. Such a tough terrain to be taking those fights too. 
considering that you could possibly end up getting shot from some of the other players that are still alive from the Bro, other what team. a zone, to be honest. Teams. This is the crazy power. Okay, there you go. At least one of them is gone. Regnum Karia does end up getting eliminated with seven eliminations. Sarah able to make it all the way down. He's probably going to be able to spot the player there from Boom. And he might be able to, if he can connect there with the player from Boom, he's going to be able to switch his focus <laughs> to some of the other players from STG. Just give me advantages, bro. Did they pick time. it up? I think I think SDG player really pick it up. That, one, that would have been a great point, but he might actually see some of the players on the top. And look at this quick lean peek to the right and to the left. Oh, Sarah! The mechanics coming in now. Sarah getting low from that grenade, and his teammate Regioso goes down. It is now it is a over. 3v1 situation. Rejects will not get the chicken dinner. It will be S2G instead. Finally showing up. With their, I believe this is their first chicken dinner. Well, 11 eliminations, almost two now they can say damage. Big game for SUG, they can, they can, they can, they, they can start shouting in Rejects. front of the high fi team, team high fi space, now, bro. Pretty sure taking that number one spot away. Keep coming, high fi, keep coming. They should end up taking that number. Keep coming, high fi. Not just with the placement points, but also with the elimination points, and that man right there, Sarah. RC first now. What a pop off for Damn. Not only I guess even the curse would wouldn't stop. The risk that he was willing to wouldn't take, stop the RC. Overall, what you want to see out of a team that's challenging for that first place, and more than likely we will end up seeing them there in that first place. And a team that everybody's been wondering what's been going on with them. S2G finally showing up as well. So they getting that chicken dinner. The ultimate play was for them to get as close as possible to that mountain, make it so Reject wasn't able to shoot them. And boy, you, you couldn't ask for anything better from S2G. S2G played that pretty much as best as they could, really becoming one with the Mountain Goat, like you said. And I've never Isadora, seen like this where teams Lucky are Charm got RC the first on position. Dude. Up and down, up and down. And this Star really needs to shake her hands now, to be honest. On that peak, oh. He gets the high ground over the two players at the bottom. And Honestly, he in. had a perfect setup there. was decided right there. When Regioso lost, I believe it was Hamzi that got the vantage peak and took that one out. Yeah, I think in all the years that I've been doing PUBG Mobile Esports, which is quite a lot now, that might be the first time I've seen <laughs> players towards the end of the match fighting within that mountain. So, yeah. you can, you know, there's always new scenarios. This is where A7 starts choking. Usually, it, the circle shifts just off of the yep. mountain top completely. And teams just have to go down. But there, it just kept centering right up, like right in the middle of the mountain, not on top of the radio tower, but like all the rocks that jet off it. And SCG played that really well. But Dude, she's you know, using the, the same played camera. That Boom pay, played that well towards the yep. end. I feel like next as, Ruya could have done a little bit more with four, but they didn't make a decisive play. Instead, they kind of tried to just creep in and they just got taken out. But uh, let's have an interview coming up and with Kelsey from have SUG. i here the player Kelsey for S2G Sports, and they got the first chicken dinner today. Congratulations in the first. I think game. there's an interview on awesome Team Falcons. We just match. missed it. And also, Guys, I would like to know how we reflect in the next match because we want to know how you guys will keep <coughs> the, 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 the to keep the similar uh, performance for the next matches. Uh, Sonraki maçlar için e, nasıl benzer performans sergileyeceğinizi merak ediyoruz. Bu sizin bugünkü ilk e, chicken dinner'ınızdı. Yani ilk zaferinizdi. Bununla ilgili ne hissediyorsunuz? E, aslında kendi oyunumuz bu ama ilk gün oynayamadık. Bugün başladık şu anda. E, i̇lk günden beri oynamamız gereken oyun bu ama oynayamadık. Şu anda devam edeceğiz böyle. Uh, we couldn't uh, perform uh, as we want, but we managed it uh, right now, so we will keep going like this. Awesome! And about tomorrow, today, I yeah, would like to know, uh, which position Forest, do you guys think you will finish top the day? And rankings, like in uh, main game, do you mean? Hangi pozisyonda bitireceğinizi düşünüyorsunuz bugün için? Şampiyonluk. Uh, they will be the champion. Okay. They will be the champion. Oh, okay. The top one. Maybe tomorrow we'll see how this will reflect their game. Thanks so much for the interview. You guys are incredible here. And I will see you guys in the next match again. 
Well, let's do G. If there was ever a time span, if there was ever a scenario for you guys to do end up being the champions, you guys needed to wake up, and that's exactly what they did there in that last match, Hot Jukes. Yes, they did, and you know Chul what? King next game? Right Potentially. There. They will probably get wiped by Hi-Fi. Watch. Let's watch. I feel like so STG will probably get wiped point. by Hi-Fi next game match, to be honest. This game, and I think we're going to see going forward is what we kind of talked about a little bit before. How these top teams are going to start having targets on their back. And Why the Brazilian seven, teams are fighting Brazilian teams, game. man? I think it was Yuzu that was talking about that, you know, is... Yeah. You know, these teams at the bottom are going to have nothing to lose, right? They're just going to just No, start interview was there for Falcon, you just check. Yo, thank you, Vinny, for the clutch. Do, I almost, like, you know, I almost was trying to rewind the stream now. And they realize it's them. They're going to do everything they can to take them out because they have to if they want to try to get some big money here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much... You know, Turn the Chinese version. Yeah, let's, let's check, let's check. You need to deny Let me check the Chinese version. Paraboy, there's a guy crushing on you. I'm helping you, I'm helping you, Paraboy. Paraboy's a knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Last one, last one. Where's the last guy? My marker, my marker. Last one, last one. It's the last, last one with the team pure fucking. Okay, so the, there's this. And how did it die? Okay, how did it die though? Dreamy said I don't see anyone. Yeah, they were fighting. That's too G. No, two brass players. Two guys, two guys on me. Get back, get back, get back. Don't get that. Get back. They're right in front, no, you're right in front. You can revive, you can revive me. No, 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 just go, just go. Let's go, let's go. Good to zone, good to zone. Oh, there's an Agax. The car exploded. Yeah, they're fighting. They're fighting. They're coming to rush me, set by loan. Two guys. Oh, the beautiful knock still from Paraboy. That was a beautiful knock. Yamuto <laughs> 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 Huh? Oh, make 
，他还有什么让人这么高兴点出来？你认识我们？我们不是卡他们的吗？我卡他们几个，就我一个人。不然的话，我看我今年没人的话，我可以打他的。我有人的话，今年有人的话，我可以直接把他秒了。他都不知道我，他跟他已经腿上来了，然后我可以打他。但是我看我今年没人，我没敢开枪，因为我开枪的话。So， 呃呃，这么说，这样的一个位置，这里啊。So dream dreamy is asking long, why didn't you? Come, come with me and watch the hospital side. Long said I wasn't even looking that way. And the dreamy said I thought you were with me and you can watch this team. And Long said uh, I, you said I took their tires out. I took their tires out and left. And then I left. Dreamy said, Okay. 已经摸到你脸上多了，可以救。再打一个一个，一个就是两个两个。先生，我已经打两个了，我去挂后面。你们两个打好吗？我一个人挂。这就有人，把他卡死，把他卡死。把给我卡死吧，我这里可以，我这底边，可能得要来帮。你们绿的看能不能去挂一个？我去挂。我，我一个，我两个了。我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我
Yeah, Vamp Nova literally needs a double digit chicken dinner here. I think if we want to see them even have a chance at top three. Yeah, and, and there's like a point buffer in the rankings too, right? Top three, the points are right now in order 98, 91, 82. And then fourth place, however, is sitting there with 80. So to pass up, you know, fourth and third, it's the points are, you know, a lot to pass up. And fifth place is 67. So the big point drop off from fourth to fifth, and you want to get into third. So that's two. No, no, I was taking the call, guys. I was taking the call. To make it into the top three. So right now it is almost do or die because of this, you know, point gap that's being created in the top three overall. Yeah, and you know what, I mean, the yeah, there's a point play gap the in the sixth, top three. And and ten points. Even bigger. They we were averaging folks, you know, six points in every point single gap in the prize pool. You're right? matching. Uh, just cash gap actually. Yeah. Because first place, a hundred thousand dollars. Cash Second gap. place, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Second place, fifty thousand. Third place, thirty thousand, and then goes down to fifteen thousand for fourth place. And the crazy part is that the difference between fourth and last is only three thousand dollars. So, I mean, these teams have nothing to Nobody's lose, right? And I kind of like that because it really pushes all these squads to not settle for, you know, seventh or sixth place because there's no difference when it comes to prize pool. Just pay attention to every every fight I did the analysis on. It's you will pretty probably much know all the, or nothing. What, and know the reason that's behind. what I like to see. You know, all all players play, make mistakes. Play all players make mistakes. Especially when it comes down. Not just, it, well, not, not just dreaming, not just holding, not just paranoid. The later paranoid. stages of the tournament. And we are well within the later stages of the tournament. Oh, yeah. Here we go in the last two Mirror Mars of the day. Who do you guys think is going to end up on top? I want you guys in the chat everywhere to let us know. Meanwhile, look at this. Oh, you can see Nobu focus. Look at that player camp. Oh, I, I love player camp so much. Something I've been begging for. And now we get to see it. Uh oh, man. He let out. He let his position be known. And he said, see ya. I couldn't get that knock. I'm out of here. Yeah. Goodbye. Driving straight out there. I think, it's, I think we see a lot of teams playing a bit more passive too because of such a good circle, right? This is a circle where it's like, Every team can have a game plan, and every team wants to keep four up to execute that game plan. Before on Miramar, it's like a hard circle down south where teams are kind of like, yeah, we're not really going to get into a good position anytime soon, so we will take fights when it, you know, it arises. So we'll take those points instead. But with a circle like this, I think everyone's just like, just get into the circle, and we can play for the next one. It's easy to rotate. Let's just keep all four up. Uh, yeah, and I think all these teams are kind of realize what's at stake because you got to think about it, right? Because of how this prize pool is positioned. There's no difference. Like, there, there's a very small difference between fourth and last place. Like I mentioned, only a difference of $3,000. Seriously? Yeah, so you got to like think about it. All of these teams, Nobita fourth from on Durango? down, they're in the same boat, <sighs> right? So they're all going to have the same, same strategy. The same strategy is this. Take out the top teams, get a bunch of points. So... When all of the teams because have it's that probably same because I didn't do my hair today. Okay? These teams my hair cut. really because if have I to don't be like, careful here. Because they have hair, literally the entire was like, lobby you know, against like, them. Go like this. Yeah, well. Guys, this is going to get uh, intense here. As I start looking at this circle, it's only stage one. It's still in the same position that we saw before. The only current teams that are sitting outside of it are going to be IHC. Uh, next, Rhea, D. Getting called in Nobita is not coming in. It's alright. I, 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 like, I like Nobita. We got Zebra back. I watched him a lot while I was a child. Shots, having some fun there. Okay, you know, I guess you got to get a little bit warmed up. I will say, I am pretty proud of <laughs> Order of Zebra Master has performed. Lesson so for well. Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? I think the fact now that he's they have, for Jimmy. you know, this is their first tournament coming on in uh, at this level. The fact that they've been able to win some fights against top teams, I think is a good sign for them. Definitely so. And these are like a lot of veteran squads as we do get into a fight now. Regnum Karya against the likes of, I do 
think that that's actually yo that's yada actually boom. thank you for the super chat 430k where you go but thank you thank you man thank you all for all 64 the players still remaining because this is such a nice circle everybody has a nice piece of the pie Team bro, actually, boom. the circle hard shifted to san martin that might bro, increase boom is the pace of the action off today. The boom saw that shift not gonna lie they realized they're pretty, okay, we gotta get they're pretty on fire with with quick. The team fights. they are ramping up the aggression regnum caria lose one player boom on the advantage, and they have one player in the far back line providing overline support fire. The 2v1 isolation on the left side, it is good. Boom, are dismantling Regnum Karia. Great play there. They realized that they had a player isolated, and then Boom Esports went for the instant 2v1. They are taking apart Regnum Karia piece by piece. Losing Silas is going to hurt big time, but I did hear some shots coming from down the way. And is that the final player? Yes, it was. And that is Ragnum Karia out of there. A, Bro, a, RC the ninety eight going out early is gonna hurt. Dude. Yeah. Oof. Ragnum Karia. They really needed to do well in this one. Sitting in that fifth place position, they have a chance, and they still do, even with a huge donut from this game. Here comes High Five. Looking to get into the action. Now, this is one team I feel like that is willing to take a fight no matter what the situation is. All we see is them taking a fight early game and then getting eliminated. Mm. So let's see if they can. Nova fighting Alpha 7? Something oh, here monkey. as Monkey gets ran. Mafioso over. got Thursday. That's not good. But in the feed, in the feed, I think I saw Nova get a player of Alpha 7. That's a huge fight. Maybe it was just a. One of the players that just ended up getting finished. But yeah, look at that. Boom. Still holding on. Five eliminations. Great start for them, especially considering that they're currently sitting in sixth place. Yeah, not too far behind the top three, honestly. 61 points. Third place, 82 points. That is easily be easily doable. Well, so I wouldn't say the easily, problem for Nova right now as we like in so match, far, we've been watching a lot of like what, matches in BMGO. So where I'm they're from on a good Nova's start, POV. getting eliminations early. So and then working personally, their way I feel like there. that is currently what Boom is doing right now. As we do see the circle now, yeah, it did hard shift up north. He's a good player. Like he can take positions, he can frag. Vampire like overall, Dreamy is quite good. To break out in the coming circle. Like, I'm mostly I'm and gonna talk about like the Alpha 7. Alpha 7 positioning, the east of right? Nova. When it comes to the positioning, right out, one of the I think of Alpha Order, get taken he can position, Order can position mm -hmm. himself Hurt really good. A three man, especially but for in a some certain scenarios, he I mean, can't really. So many expectations on Alpha 7. Really, like, for them, it's not about even top man, He can't really nothing. manage every single player's position. Their first world title at home. Paraboy will. Paraboy's oh, position, the Just like the I would say 90, 99 percent so of the time, intense. Paraboy took a really good position. They've really been putting themselves in good positions, like, and uh, Par Paraboy is the regular, like, yeah, they are dead player. center of this circle. Like, Just below Paraboy Vampire, can, you know, you can 99, right there, the 99 out of the 100. Right below the, the time, airdrop, so, Paraboy will get it right. Uh, but man, if reject, there's only one time Paraboy got it wrong, position because Alpha Seven are going to have to play from the outside. Be able to remind Paraboy or pull Paraboy back. And New circle did pop for Lone, I feel like Lone's a player, Vampire. he's a good fragger, now, but he Rejects, needs to be I feel like from what I've micromanaged seen, you know, by the IGL. Games. This position, it's great for the just IGL needs to you but give him a really spot. Teams, you know, get a Where should you hold? Like a this, you can take this through and no hold the team. Really be able if order can perform this and you don't have really sight lines onto too long, anything, Else, it's kind of like that. I think spot will, that D this, this whole this whole of structure of the team on will Herengel, right? Where they had improve four a lot. And they were hunkered in. So they now the problem the is sometimes Lone doesn't really know what like, position you know, he should taking. He should be taking, and no we one is reminding him. You know, fall to they're all eight. good with themselves. We'll the shifts, they, they're all so like order Jimmy Paraboy. They're all good. Their positions, they can position themselves good. But when it comes to no, you know. Michael I mean, that way they have a reason manage a player. to move out and push I think they weren't, versus they weren't being doing continually that. surrounded, right? Like mm. in that match, uh, if you remember it, on Erangel, right? D+, plus, they got every single circle to like the very ninth circle and they couldn't do anything because they were just being constantly surrounded. They have no sight lines from inside their buildings. And from what I've seen on Miramar, Ace, Ace, Alpha Seven should have never, have never like let go Mephic. Spot. Now it's a I think they borrowed the Mephic, bro. I don't think they had. Oh, 
But it, it's still one of I those don't things think where they, I don't think Rejects is going to get a lot of they got opportunities. Method. Unless teams are forced to crash for you. Oh, oh. getting popped out by Zebra Master. And that is the isolated what player. What is Order doing in the blue? On the push. And they're going to realize this huh? is right here. Boom, the IGL. What is Order what, what what doing the shot? Not going to be easy. Yeah, the reason why the I ask this a question is because I do agree that, you know, D plus. What is Order doing the good, shot, we'll guys? Say, there's a big difference between what? D plus Q and reject. I'm you know? confused. When it comes to a team that, that I think could pull off aggression from that position, it's going to be reject. I mean, these guys have just been shredding lobbies. But I will say, That's I don't want to see them switch to passiveness. So I do understand why what you said scouting? that. Sure. Then why he get off the buggy? Yeah. If he's scouting, it's, it's why why he get off the buggy? That position to be aggressive. He should be like driving in circles. Rejects. He, he you order is trying to try not clear their back. He will off order he will should be, you know, just find a position and watch the like back. This. I think it's good, right? Or, now their backside you know, will be clear. Driving circles. And yes, they are forced to push out into the open into either, you know, Death Wolves or Vampire. But with four players up, and we've seen them fight their way into zones, they know how to navigate these situations. This is, in my opinion, a better circle shift for Rejects rather than centering right on top of them. Yeah, especially considered with this big old hill here comes right the there rush. Uh, in the middle of the map. Zebra vs. Long. Here we go. Zebra Master pushing up. Dreamy got a one. Gotta take him out Long here. Long first gets finished though really early. That's not going to be good. That's going to go ahead and bring it down to a 3v3. The fight is even. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Who's Nova's going to go into pass. This really close together. Nice. Oh, they're trying to Dreamy got another. Long got another. Why? Maybe they heard us too, nice. Tay, because Nova said, hey, you guys talking smack about our close quarters combat? How about some of that? How about some of that? How about some of that? I'm not going to give it to Nova because that was definitely more so Zebra Masters oh. just kind of mm. not having the experience and just you don't like that. Stuck in the back. Them. There's no setup. Mm. There's no setup. There is no util being used. It was just run straight into them. And when you're just running straight into push up the time. Team, even if they're not the best. Uh, last best time I do the push up, Nova there, was all dead. You don't win that. You after I do, after after I did the push up, with, with Nova no was all dead. No smokes or anything. So Zebra Masters do get taken out, and that is Nova. See, Zuta is a curse. Strong with three. Okay, Their it's not me. Go ahead, order guys. It's not me, then. It's not me and, who's the curse. I'm not cursing Nova at all. Like yeah, uh, order. He's a little bit newer to the. IGL don't do the push ups. Scouting. My push ups are cursed. The guys. Order did scout before, even when when Jeff was IGL. Sam Taylor. Both. It's definitely harder. That's definitely a mix up for sure. Oh, no. You know, meanwhile, we're going to watch next three. Reject is still full squad. Teams, D plus Where is Reject at? Yeah, from on top. And yeah, Nova's going to be peeking down here. Do you think Nova can win this tournament in this situation? It would be hard, hard. It's not a good scenario for them at all. So, Hello, future is live. End up having to do this by Hello. His lonesome. Welcome to Unless the Virgo chat. Some critical I'm doing good. And give his team some breathing room to get out. India of is missing in such tournament? Yeah. Feels bad. It's probably not gonna happen. Taking a look at the map, Alpha Seven did move down into graveyard right next to Boom. I see Alpha the vision with the Dreamy. Yeah, Dreamy, so Dreamy is they still yeah, might have Dreamy, a chance at putting up some good. points, but being no right next to Boom more time with, with Dreamy, the man to be advantage honest. of three, it might be difficult. And I'm sure Boom knows exactly where Alpha Seven is because they had to rotate in. Long range shots now on Miramar. As teams are still trying to, you know, kind of shimmy their way into the edges of the zone on the west side. Next, Rhea facing a lot of opposition in the form of D plus and Death Wolves. Oh, oh they're fine. But you know what? I'll tell you right now. Uh, next, Rhea is getting lucky. The fact that D plus Kia is getting punished so hard. What's happening? They're able to get in this Chinese forum. Probably focus all their efforts on. If you guys want to see that, I can open the Chinese forum. Like, Rosen gets the steal. Oh, actually, gets what they say. Two steals right there. So it's gonna be a soaking up a couple of points. It's that's, gonna. That's big it's indeed. gonna look la nasty, to be honest. There are gonna be a lot of hate Great messages. Job by Frozen. To capitalize on that. Do you mind how do you show your heart rate alive? Because I got See, the, I got a smart steals, watch. He's make his way further into zone. He which knows can his two detect their heart rate. There are kind of pretty much done. Frozen by himself can't suppress all of Death Wolves, so he's gonna kind of give up on the team. Wait, w what did, the, what did oh, I missed it? Circle pops no, up, I missed it. We won't have to see the region. What did the, what did the camera was showing? Vampire, Vampire does have the advantage. Oh, Nova, where comes the Nova? Third party Those time. On the map. Third Where's party that? time, Nova. And Alpha Seven. Oh. And I mentioned earlier, oh, Alpha wow. Seven with only two. Boom. Boom with three. Literally, it's not gonna work just out. don't Alpha lose fights. 
and Rejects can only they wipe their lead at this point. Rejects still have zero points overall, though, and with 12 teams left, they don't have any placement points yet. Oh! That is a brutal, Low. brutal Showtime. for Alpha 7. That is not the time that you want to pull out the goose egg right there. So let's see what Team Reject can do. You know that all of Japan is cheering at this point for their squad. Oh! No Look at Flyboy! Trying to hope to see they can take out Boom. Oh! Flyboy has a really good angle on that roof, though. So Nova's going to have to be careful. You remember what we heard before? Uh oh! Oh! Did you see from Nova. Shh. Getting that knock finally. Uh, gotta hit this shot uh, here. Para boy. Gotta be able to pull off some Cole's quarters, my boy. Let's see if you can do it. Yeah, para boy in the 1v1. And oh! Gets spotted. He couldn't. Crazy. Running into that smoke. Catches a glimpse of him. And yeah, Para boy does go down. Nova almost winning that 2v3. But it was, uh, it was not enough. Meanwhile, on the west side of the map, things are starting to slowly fly beast up as well. Vampire this death boom team, this boom team players, boom the players, they are gun skills and the confidence is like, bro. Vehicle. They might full send it into one of the teams out on the west side. We'll see in a second where they go. But rejects still wary of their backside. Now uh, uh, Nova got two or three, the right? Hey, Zute, look at boom. 10 eliminations so far Jeez. and they're in fifth place the, they have the biggest oh, gap wow. yeah. You, yeah so i mean they're getting they, boom they're gone skills here, man they can finally close that gap and put themselves in the running for and first boom place is a missing deer so best of player here. too let's see bro like, this boom team start, though. That's the, for sure. i don't know about Meanwhile, the igl yeah, rotations but like the fights they SPG just wiped just had pop three squads game. already. To have a bit of a they wiped the Team Bra, they, they wiped the Nova, they wiped the Alpha 7. Gonna see, say, Holy see shit. This boom, this boom team SPG. is gaming. Let's see what this match. Who's going to get this next knock? Team Falcons. Oh, oh, STG's in big trouble here. Here comes the red zone from Falcons. Yeah, man. Falcons are surrounding them every which way. Kelsey goes down. He really needed Wait, to pull who knocked that top the side, but with dreamy. the top side going down. Who knocked the they dreamy though? Fully surrounded. They did not fire. Not just I only one, saw Long and Herboy Falcon, went down. Who knocked the dreamy? Who knocked the dreamy? Falcons go down. Actually, Royals what? war. I just oh, caught what? that. Oh, kind of what? Falcon goes down? Distance. That's what's causing the downfall oh. of the Falcons. And luckily for S2G, Royals of war. Managed to find some sight lines, and here's the next big Honestly, fight. pushing Vampire up. Engage with Death Wolves. Rejects hear this, and now Rejects are going to come in for a huge third party oh. timing. They steal one point away. Newsy goes down. Rejects are going to continue the aggression, and with Vampire really feeling the pressure, they go straight Obscure. in. Obscure catches them both. Obscure shutting down Vampire, the Death Wolves. Making some noise here. Another Brazilian squad. You know, the hometown team is uh, pretty excited about that one. Tony K going to be the final player, I believe. Yep, final player up for Vampire. But here comes Reject licking their lips. They saw Alpha 7 go Bro, this out. PM Joe is and no you know joke. They've already passed up the Brazilian brothers of Alpha 7. And they're looking to continue to make that lead even bigger here. And they have the high ground to their advantage. So all they gotta do is play this smart, and these should be some easy elimination points for them. The next zone does center up, so they're still in the circle. Yeah. They have time to work with now. Rejects taking their time. And I don't I can't tell if Rejects is playing a little bit slower than usual. Or if this terrain is just really difficult to navigate. I hope they're not slowing down their pace. 27 alive? They've been winning pretty much almost every fight they've taken. Especially when Wait, they have Boom four. got their players up? that they slow it down too much. Am I tripping? The circle closes and the circle shifts. I thought Boom has only two players. And, oh man, Duello runs up what? by himself. Rejects. Maybe being in first place is a curse. Must have looked missed. Uh -oh. They're no longer the kind of underdogs. And the pressure is getting to them, and they're making some mistakes. Well, like I said, you know, once you're on top, all these teams, literally from fourth place on down, are going to be looking to knock you out as fast as they can. And uh, Reject cannot let off the ga gas. Meanwhile, we're going to watch Smoke Gaming take down the high fives. I definitely want to stay on Reject, though. Let's see what they're going to end up doing with this high ground. Because, like you said, Zute, you know, 
teams, once they really get in a good position on top and they see Alpha 7 go down, they just think, okay, all we gotta do is stay alive. And they start going passive. But that is not the Rejects game. Their game is full-fledged non-stop violence. And they have to continue that. And they need to keep shooting loot boxes too. Because that's, that's been true. working for them. They do catch out Tony oh. K and Divine wins a huge 1v1 up there. By the way, and next week is still These alive. Global. I don't know how he's PMGO. Every single team's Dosko is no joke. And our boom. This man has been just I want to see. His way through little by little by little. SQG have we catched the action boom between has now, has Team Boom and NRX? I want to see these two teams point. fighting. You can just see the desperation from all these squads. They know what's at stake. They know they want to make it to the top. I feel three, like. And they only have a few games left to do it. Sara firing off shots. Needing to reload the UMP and running out of ammo in the other weapon as like well. Like NRX versus Boom. That's the 44 I want to see, you guys. Even NRX versus Boom. They really need to get more. Firing off shots left and right. Rejects with three eliminations and a great circle for Rejects. They get even more time to work up on this hilltop now as the next circle does not hard shift away from them. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they get this circle once again, which is so critical. Now they just got to creep up and work together. I think they lost a player pretty unnecessarily there. They could have had all four up, but they're going to have to get it done with three. And you can see the crowd is going nuts as Smoke Gaming's at the bottom. This one's going to go all the way down to the last circle with how this zone is. This is going to be a huge game for Boom. Because look at Boom's positioning. They have the Bro, I just down. took a peek All at the, the Chinese forum. Pretty much stuck on one another on the they were saying side. watching Dude, Nova struggling in PMGO. It's like Royals watching. I don't know if you guys watch north, football, but like, SG. but like, Chinese has this game football is probably the worst mm. football team. Not worst. This but like, they never make it to global tournament. They never make it to World Cup. They make it to finals, but like, the results in the like yeah, it could be more years, considering like, really, their really position and if that zone locks onto them, so this next circle, like, I mean, they Nova are a shoe into win this it's match like with a ton of eliminations. And look, see, there goes the rebounds from Royals of War. Here comes S2G trying to make it happen. IHC from the corner now catching one of the players. But boom, I'm telling you, boom is going to just soak up so many eliminations. This is getting intense. Oh, there's another one. Ray Z catches Rogue. Yeah, that was a knock. And that was a point confirmation. Zio, last one up. Zero eliminations. They for the, the one for FIFA. Team right I think now. that was like. Smoke with all four up. Just 10 plus years ago. Alive. I think that, that was, was like 2028. 2008 or something? Meanwhile, 2008 or Regents. like. I really want to see he was back out when I was a child. Really close I think frozen. they qualified that. I think that should definitely be when the, the when the really uh, look at Rejects is getting that when the Olympics was. Third player that when the World Cup was hosting China, Beijing. Zio crawling. Oh. Slowly crawling. I think he's going. Oh, no. Is that a name? Oh, that looks good. Oh, that was a perfect wow. name. Wow. What a nade there. Throwing it up the mountain. And here comes Flyboy, ready to soak up some even more points. Will we see a PMGO finals record right here? It is totally possible. Boom. And I'll tell you what, this couldn't have been at a better time considering Boom. they have such a 14 point kills. Most of the teams are out, but Reaper Holy are still up. 15. Down to the top two. You this can be the record. You can hear the fans. They can set a right new record for they like the whole to go out early like the if global they tournament. Their favorite squad, Alpha 7, to have a chance at passing them up. Divine realizes the opposition from the north side is too much from S2G, so he ran else. Are they right? For the audience, are the audience really trying to do the whistling and to bother players? He's waiting. Divine. Can he pull it off? Oh, he sees all three. He has one grenade. Is he going to use the grenade first? Dude, he's going to pull 4 a.m. He's going to PC. He can get one here. See ya. He definitely gets one. Oh, that was close. The Spidey senses oh. out of S2G, too good. We are in a four-way fight. S2G, Smoke Gaming, Rejects, and of course, Boom. Boom is just going to eat up these points like crazy. So Boom is going to win this game. There's no doubt about it. It's just how many eliminations are they going to get? Now they, they decide to oh. strike on S2G. 
frenzy. This is boom chicken, guys. This is boom chicken. Twenty kills. What do you think? How about twenty kills? Oh, oh, making a ring, frenzy. Here comes the blue zone. Another one. Getting punished. It's only Razy up, and he has the blue to his back. You might got taken out. There goes reject. It's down to the top three. Come on, boom. They're pushing up. No. Don't get knocked. Bro, could this be 20 kill chicken? Could this be a 20 kills chicken? That is gonna be the question. Two boom players is holding S2G. One boom, boom player is holding smoke gaming. Here comes the oh fly the boy from Boom. Look at it soak up every seven seven. Oh no, it got knocked. See, getting a nice knock. No, that was pretty. Oh, two knocks. Who's in trouble? Raise. No, don't get knocked. Oh my god, this is the record, bro. He's got to get this. It's a three way. Get this, get this. Kill him, kill him. S2G is getting the revive. We could have back to back chicken. 18, 18. Oh, making the ring. Two more. He will in for 20. Can they get the chicken dinner? 20 goals to their final player in a 1v2 situation. You can see the oh, 1v2. You can see the focus. Can he hit these shots? Oh, he's he's out of. He's out of ammo. He's out of ammo. Look at his vest. He's out of ammo, guys. He's out of Oh, one HP. A one more nade. Here comes another. That could be it. That could be the end. It's done for. For three. Oh, nice. Oh, nice dodge. Still alive. Another one? This is huge. Popping those bandages. He needs every he can't piece pee. of Oh, no. He peeks out, doesn't land his shots. He gets hurt and tagged instead. He still got first aids, but they're circling him in. Razy down to that one HP. Gets oh, the first off. He here's a chest. Nice. Oh, four, four bullets. Four bullets. You have only four bullets, Razy. Pretty much almost full HP. Okay. Oh, five bullets. Oh, wait, wait. Five, five bullets. bullets. His UMP was down to oh. two, I think. He's got a couple bullets of the M4 and a couple bullets of the UMP. Imagine. Can imagine. Can you loot? Back, can you loot? Can you loot? Bullets, no, two, no bullets. He's out. Oh, oh, my God. This is crazy. No, he didn't. I don't know. He just got the first thing. He's the got four bullets. Four now. bullets clutch. Pay him! Pay him! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You ain't too mad at that, baby. Oh my god, the Eddie's too good! Eliminations come from them. What a finish! Did he forget he has he still have he still has he still has he still had a four bullets. He's UMP though. Question, guys, can you <laughs> knock one player with the four bullets <laughs> UM, with the UMP? <laughs> oh, oh man. my god, if he would have gotten that Bro, run from the pen fight? His name would have been etched in Bro, if he has, I feel game. like if he had a more bullets, they would have put that's 19 kills. This man in Second the place. Yeah. If they got the, the last kill, that would be 20 game, kills chicken. That's literally the world of record, I think, in Global Tournament. 20 kills to chicken for boom? Oh, <laughs> my, that was the last thing I was expecting. I was like, he's out of bullets. Blue's at his back. He's got to deny the Oh, ball. my God, Reezy's <laughs> crazy. He holds out the pan Send and it. just runs at him. And I, I love, love that quick little maneuver there. He, he, only, he, only, got, he only got a I helmet, I think. Left, right? Try and grab some ammo. He couldn't get it done. Bro, what an ending, bro. <laughs> I think this is the best <laughs> ending we've seen so far. He's like, why did you put up a pan? He's like, S2G was like, why did you put up a pan, bro? We're, I'm not gonna pan you, bro. Oh my god. The only way that goes wrong. Imagine S2G player being cool and then put up a pan as well and then do the pan fight, bro. That's gonna be legit. He ran backwards. Not gonna be legit, bro. If the S2G player was cool enough to put up a pan. As much history would have been made. If Boom won that with the pan, what a match! The history of losing a one v one when the tournament matters the most. But yes, after you guys won the last match to a guy. Like with Boom a pan, had it in the back.
You SQG player was just outperforming booming oh, the end there. Know, I, loved it. Yeah, I think like, one I player got like of him just putting his hands in the air like what? Like, like are you serious? Like, I think you know it, it was like Hamazi, right? You know, Hamazi you have to try to got two knocks on boom player. Resources as you can, but that's the thing about Miramar. We talk about oh it my so God. often. How Miramar is the map where you need to store as boom is crazy and they're backing the race for the top three, even the first place. Yeah, you never know how it's going to end up. But you know what? Yeah. It's time we bring back the 7WG. Bro, what did you think about that match? Let's go, Boom. <laughs> I'm still Jeez. cracking up, dude. That I'm game is too good. The S2G player, Hamsi, decides to just back up. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. This isn't going to happen to me. Let it's me like, just back no up way. a little bit more and <laughs> make sure I end up eliminating you from far away. And I mean, for Boom Esports, I was with you, Hajux. I honestly thought that Boom Esports was going to be able to clutch it up there. I think they were just a little bit too split worrying in regards to both of the other teams. Almost, it gave me flashbacks, honestly, of what Zebra Bro, Masters did earlier chicken. today. Oh, yeah, it's tough. I mean, that was such a hard one. They had Chinese team dominate when they play so, FPP. You know, I don't think they can dominate. They, were, facing right? FPP, they were literally just focusing on what was in front of them. And all it takes is one little mistake and boom, you know. It could go to another Bull team. Wipe exactly team what bra, Regardless, Alpha though, 7 and Nova. The most eliminations we've seen in this tournament so far, right? I believe so. I believe it is. And you know who's yes. happy right I now? I think this is not a game. S2G fans. They said that they were going to end up being champions. I was doubting it. Bro, drop sure your... See it. Drop now, your... Back -to -back chicken dinner, first place... They didn't end up getting the most points because... Protection for PMGO, guys. Does end up this is so unpredictable right now. Those 19 eliminations they ended Ooh. up with. S2G puts themselves in a great position. We still have one more match today. And on top of that, we still have tomorrow. And you never know what can happen in the final day. S2G showing up big, big, big here on day two. And one does he still has that oh, does he man, still have smoke though? To, to point this out. One team that needs the point, one team that needs to respond and it wasn't there in the first page. What did they right. eat Alpha for Seven, breakfast? first? A team that got those three chicken dinners in the first four matches of game one. Is off. They're currently not responding in the way that their fans want to see and they're not responding in a way that they a champion would need to respond as they end up with those zero points. Oof. They're gonna have to do it in this last match though. They're gonna have to. They have no choice yeah. because now it's not even just team reject you have to worry about. Now you have to worry about all of these squads coming in at the last second. And out of all the teams, are you kidding me? That's it's Boom, literally it's S2G, right? It's IHC. The best. Huge names are now knocking at the door trying PMG to hunt down first place because we were talking about it in the game, right? There's no difference really between fourth and last place. Very small difference in prize yeah. pool. So the whole lobby is going against the top three here. Chute, if uh, Alpha 7 uh, doesn't respond thing, here one... in this final match, do we think that they're done for tomorrow? Like, they're not going to end up champions? Actually, I feel like this... Now, okay. Unpopular take, for sure. I think this is better for Alpha 7. Every single time going into the last day, Alpha 7's in first place and they choke. Now, <laughs> finally, they could be the underdogs not have the immense pressure of maintaining first place and you know Dang. have that kind of not cinderella story but like that huge comeback this story, is a hardcore right? mode. like i've said this before i when i was a competitive player trying to chase your way into the next you know top position it always for me felt like easier than trying to tomorrow's hold gonna down be lit. that top position. i mean today is so, uh, like i'm just throwing it out there and a small thing to he's already push, insane uh, rejects right they're finally yeah. first place and i don't know if you caught it but they made a crucial mistake mm -hmm. is it because they're first place and they're feeling the pressure they hot tricks called it out you think you found a new favorite team booming the way to go he was caught out in a 1v1 where they knew there could have been nova's you know, curse snaking or camping in corners you know ahead of them but he still went out by himself so the first place pressure it's definitely a real thing oh for sure yeah, it, it's a real thing, hands Jukes. down. Yeah, it's it's a real thing. And uh, the thing is, is that not only is it going to be a real thing, it's going to be more intense. I don't know why Boom bring their substitute right? when their MVP doesn't you know, go. Like Maybe said, it's, it's the because whole of the B-side versus guys. the top three. The top team is also the most researched team by all these squads. They're going to be looking yep. at them like a hawk, looking and see where are you dropping, where are your vehicles going, because we have to take you out. So, um, 
I kind of agree with Zute here. I think that it's a lot easier to be in, you know, second or third trying to hunt down a big because teams aren't hard focused on you as opposed to when you're just in first place with such a huge yeah. lead because, I mean, they had a massive gap going into today and it was closed in match number two. Yeah, that, and I, I would usually agree with you 100% with what you were saying there, Sute, because we even brought it up yesterday whenever they got those three chickens. And like, they, this is a little bit scary for us, right? All right, do this we watch Nova POV or we go to the Chinese forum like and see how to toxic the Chinese fans in are? In this last match to the awful performance that they have been having so far today. I mean, besides I the first That's game. Yeah, After the first game, By the way, Grain, is my mic louder today? Place? I adjusted three, my mic. Uh, the, the three eliminations. Is it better now? 13 yeah. Is plays, it better than three yesterday? Eliminations. Because yesterday plays, I remember you saying that you can, can see barely no hear me when the Kessler's are talking. The Ilums, yes, Is it better? Being able to get Ilums, but not to the likes of what the other teams are getting. They need to find something to break that bad momentum currently going their way and hopefully change their mentality to going in, going into tomorrow because this players, I mean, I've I seen them before. I've seen it live where I just look at Rebel and he's still and louder he's than me. Down and he's like, man, how am I going to be able to, how are we going to be able to come back from this one? And even though I, I... Let's check this out. Let's first to see how or why or how did the order die there? I don't understand. So they were saying Hacienda has no people. Or, or a new or is that uh there's a team full squad did they leave they said no they're still there oh he's actually in That player actually wrap around all the way to the north. And order said, what the fuck? I still have one. There's still one more in the blue. And order shouted, y'all should play, you know, stop camping the compound and spread out the more. Like, you know, more the like, you guys should not just all camp in the compound. That's what Oda said. We are so good. You do not go wine, sir. We are so good. What do you say? not go wine, sir. We are so good. What? Can someone translate? What did he say? What did Oda say to this, this line? What did he say? You do not go wine, sir. We are so good. What? Ethan, are you here? Ethan. Order and the Paraboy cried? For real? Yeah. Wait, Ethan, what did the order said there? Like, I don't, I don't understand the first one. Uh, okay, just, he just says stop camping here. Bro, you are literally yeah, Oda's yeah. translator. Sometimes I have trouble understanding him because he says a Chinese accent. <clears throat> uh, come follow, come follow. You have nades? What the what the what the? Look, let's see this fight. Oh, it was a spectator glitch. I thought Frenzy was dead. That's why I thought like Boom was two players. Play slow, play slow. Yeah, this is a three versus two situation. Healing, healing, healing. One guy on the roof, one guy on the roof. 
He's one HP, one HP. Don't get knocked, don't get knocked. Jimmy got knocked by high fire. Yeah, I was what is I was asking. What is I be careful the off angles? You are the last one, Paraboy. Oh, Huh? Or is that why are you guys why you guys why you are you guys playing so afraid? Why what are you guys so afraid of? Why am the only one who do all the scouting and you know watching the back and getting you know just you know like why I'm only the guy who's on the vehicle and you know driving around you know do the scouting and you know getting the info and all that like <laughs> do, don't you guys feel bad when you were just camping in the compound there uh Ling order is actually very, very angry. I do understand, personally, I do understand the frustration. But on the other hand, they're still playing tournament. I feel like order needs to control himself. I know he has, he's upset, but like talking with your team, like talking with your teammate, like like, you know, showing your like depression and frustration won't help in the matches, in the later on matches. You can do it in the water review, you can do it after the matches, after the game, but not after, like not between matches. Because players are still playing. The teams, that, like the synergy, like, and also the momentum is gonna go down if we were just talking loud and, you, you know, shot at them. Like, Feels bad, like watching the POV makes me sad, bro. Seriously, not even joking. A shadow of a doubt. Center zone is now the meta at this high level. <laughs> I, I just don't think edge works anymore. It's just not consistent. Yep, yep. I'm with you in regards to that. I mean, we're talking about the splits too. We're talking now about center zone. We'll have Literally to really see who their, ends up getting watch, blessed by those circles too because the teams that have been getting blessed by the circles, they had, makes me they've been sad. able to do wonders with it. We saw what Reject was able to do earlier today too, and felt like that was definitely a spark up to their game so far today. I'm going to be looking at some of the other teams. Team Falcons, man, not this star that you wanted to see there out of Team Falcons. And I think this kind of three scenario players. where they're a team, team that's currently sitting at 67 moment. points. I think you and I mean, the, in seventh them. place, I'm sure like, they wanted to finish off the day in a, in a much, much, much better played, way where they could actually try to fight Jimmy for some extra points. Jimmy? Yes, they Jimmy do have that one elimination point. But with the way S2G's been playing, I mean, S2G in the past two matches, they have jumped you know, up so much that S2G, I think, I think uh, before play better. their last two chicken well, layers, they went 10th place with 41 I, points. I and for this team to now be sitting with 84 points in 5th place, like, that's you know, what can happen when you can spring up back-to-back chicken back dinners here, especially in this format that's only three days long. If he shows depression, and, you know, his teammates won't be, you know, and I can't his teammates stress won't that feel Unbelievable well, like, that is. Lack of confidence, okay. you know, so in certain situations place, and all that. 41 points. Like, it's 84 hard. It's hard points watch, now in fifth place. Like, even me in case you guys, shit, you know, that are a little bit tough at math, do you guys realize that in two games, they've doubled their entire score? Oh, sorry. How insane is that? Sorry, guys. I, mean, I forgot to, like, turn the volume down. I was just saying that watching the whole translation first place, especially was hard if they have another for me. performance like that here in this one. Hey, they're looking at the prize pool a little bit different now. Remember what you were talking about earlier with the prize pool? I mean, first place. Now it's better, 000, right? Second place, 50,000. Third, 30,000. Fourth, 15,000. If they would have stayed in the position where they were earlier, it would have been 14,000. But now they can challenge for even more. Now they can possibly end up challenging for that championship. Can reject the win? Their players wanting to do. Could be. A team that definitely needs to snap Bro, up this, it too. The like, literally. Been on. It's Nova because Nova is Top 16. I mean, we know Nova can put up points as well. We All know of what Paraboy is able to do at times with being able to put up a lot of eliminations for his team. It just comes down, can this team I do guess, it? I guess, 
At the end of oh, I missed. Two, I missed the, the fight between Falcon and the. Uh, responding in a good way here on I the missed the fight. Day. I thought it was gonna be Nova, and it's been an absolute disappointment here on the. Is it day still two. high? Is the yeah, Kessler's voice still high? If Nova doesn't get a chicken dinner here. I'm gonna almost stop talking about him. That's how bad it is, because I mean they're just not gonna have enough breathing room to even get close to these teams. You know, I mean they're only at 50 points. At first place, I mean, they have to double their score. Like we saw I think it's not PC even about the prize money and the placement. And, and this is like, you know, they're literally the representing plus. PEL and they're representing gonna China. Gonna let up off the gas here, you know? so, they have the pro uh, yeah, Oh, Nova, what a return fire. A double digit chicken dinner here and now. Is that the push? Oh, it is a push. Tomorrow. These global teams, guys. But we need to see it. <laughs> yeah. We need to wait and see how this team is going to respond because there's a lot of other teams starting to respond. We oh, what they're able to do. look at his carrying the knocked up players running for his life. With all the what ifs, and maybe they will they be able to clutch react to this fast. Oh, I missed that. Oh, uh, taking on some shots there to ring them. Karia, they're going to be able to eliminate that player, turn him into a point. Vampire Esports looking to put themselves in a great position come to Eason said in this in this situation like but going back to IC, I mean, players so feel slow today, it's already hard to like yes, the, to be adjusted the only hope great, is you know lessen the pressure to the Jolon and the Dreamy but, uh, and let them play that, they yeah, really haven't I been agree. able to do much we've been seeing a lot of 13 plays 1 LM 14 plays 1 LM Fifth place, zero elements. So it's not the IHC and the fragging power that we've been used to seeing from yesterday. And right now, that's why everybody's starting to jump down over the Vampire Potion. Vampire Esports. They're On Team Bra. Urgency hot jukes. They're going to be taking the fight here to Regnum Karia. Yeah, and that's exactly what they should do. They they were able to catch Regnum Karia slipping. They took out Silas already. Or actually, no, they didn't take out Silas. But they took out two players from them. They need every single point they can get on. They're going to go and push this 4v2 all day long. But they know that they need to do it quickly. Because even though it's still early circle, they don't want to risk a third party. Yeah, Nova POV only in this match? Nah, we're still watching the global. We're well, watching the Nova POV after, the, after each match. Especially this early in the circle, as you were mentioning, look at Silas trying to spot any of the players. Silas has and Eason is at on top of team. that. In PEL, there are a lot of haters. Every every match they finish, if they play, if they don't play, perform good, these haters will go all out on them. You know, judging them. You know, and yeah, it's like going crazy in the Chinese forum and uh, on the chat. So they're especially for Dreamy and Long, they are actually under a lot of pressure. I would say they are under the most pressure out of all the players. Players in PMGO, to be honest. Bye, gonna try to put up some points on the board. Regnum Karia, man, they were so consistent in day one, but it just didn't have it, you know, in day two. Especially AG fangirls, like hey Nova. Point sponges. Not just AG fangirls, yeah. like. It's insane. Yeah. Just Once you have like certain, you know, achievements, they are gonna be haters. They want, they want, they want you see you go down. Stress how huge that was. Especially like you know they got back to back. It does head they want to see side, you go so down. Like we're gonna have a little bit of a water That's just how the game, here. how the world works. And uh, we're going to see teams make that rotation nice and quick here as they're on that hunt. Alpha 7 fighting in your level wars. Two knocks. Blooms already got That's you see as well. Are you kidding me? Alpha 7, a team that we're looking for that response out of them. There got you go. Up. This is more what we want to see out of Alpha 7. Royals of War. If you want to do the reject route, do it, Alpha 7. Shoot the boxes because you guys need that confidence. You guys need that momentum. But this is great for this team now. Bro, they need to I want to see Boom killing every single play player this match. Placement points. We know they can get the eliminations, Hot Dukes. We've seen them do it over and over again. But we need to start seeing also those placement. Shivan, are you still in Nova? No, I'm not in Nova, Nova roster. This, this is PO. Oh, this is PO with Nova. That'll give them that buff they needed. Oh Nova. my God! A boom yeah, just wiped IHC. IHC as well. So boom is on the hunt here towards the end. Like I said, and they still have a full squad. Oh my God! Is Boom the best human in Indonesia? Guys, is Boom the best there. team in Indonesia? Tomorrow, tomorrow is BTR better than them? Colors. Or they're literally one, like the best team, the, right the most now, dominant team in Malaysia, team in, in Indonesia? Good. This team is, looking to carry momentum. is Boom the strongest the one? Two matches, third place, six LMs, second place, 19 LMs. And something that I'm glad you mentioned as well earlier was the sponge points. 
I've, we're starting to see, especially I, I feel like today, those teams that end up being in first and second is? place, being able to get over 10 eliminations. And that's something that I'm not used to seeing as consistent as we're starting to see here today with the last match. I mean, we saw what SGG was able to do. We definitely saw what Boom was able to do. Oof. And for those teams that need the points, for those teams, I'm going to start looking there towards Vampire. Boom never fell. Nova, like you were mentioning. And so on for those teams towards the middle of the pack. Oh, this is long. This is gonna be a north stone. I feel like heavy, this. This is gonna be a north. The next the shift is gonna be a north shift, yes, sir, and Alpha Seven will be getting his own, Imagine same as S2G, and Nova will tomorrow, push up. Like Let's see. You remember that? <laughs> Imagine. Just, just COVID straight bald. Oh, yeah, but I'm afraid I that Zebra Master will force a Nova. You know I'm kind of afraid that Zebra Master would have posted Nova, Nova to be honest. Four eliminations here, I think, was just huge for their mental. They needed it. They needed just one good fight. Now, this is the last match of the day, guys. The pace, this is the last know? match of the day. Um, yep. Like you mentioned, I think that they realize it. Everybody realizes it. How important it is for them to be able to finish strong here. Boom had the same amount of eliminations. They're going to catch them if they're not careful. So, Alpha 7, we do not want to even see them close to outside of top three. Um, their fans don't. Everybody expected them to be continually on top of how after they performed on day number one. But this team right here is creeping up on them. And honestly, I can't think of bigger rivals to Alpha 7 lately than SGG. Oh, yeah. We saw why SGG was able to do If that Nova split is working and they didn't get a full send, that would be that would be a good split to like putting to like pressuring your surrounding teams and like shoot them away. So it's not bad. It's not a bad split. They just need to be careful once the team full send the winner's compound. Because they gotta fight north. If they gotta let if they if they let team in, they will get surrounded. They will be they will have a hard time knows. pushing north. We might end up seeing some of this player getting split up, but in different orgs. They always end up happening, especially after global events. And with what you were talking about with Alpha 7, I kind of want to echo that a little bit more too. If they can just get some good points here, if they can still be within the, those top three, right? That's going to be a, a big confidence booster for the team going to tomorrow. But if they do end up jumping out of those top three and they get jump, oh man, that, that mental state is just going to be completely on the floor and for that team i feel like it'll be just tough man to snap out of it they don't want to be playing catch up tomorrow that is for sure so they definitely want to continue strong here they have a great position the zone this is lobby to this floor will be uh, in danger well, they're pretty much in the you, just, the you just need to watch your size again, they're going to be in a good spot so we'll see where it ends up going boom is still on teams a do though, split man. in this kind of lobby it's not account. like a team is not doing splits doing at that. You got no business. Honestly, like, it's just like they really need to be careful and watch out every single distance, like why? thing why? surrounding you're not you just need to watch their surroundings like carefully you're not, not missing like so jumping crouching proning you know and missing some angles as well so they need to like where you're gonna go after the circle there's no be careful with other teams like movements so that they can like react to accordingly some of the other players so that's a crucial part are pros for a reason yeah zone harsh zone shift to north as i as i predicted and let's see how nova played this order is in a circle with order the circle, but on the car we talking about the meta is going to be towards the center of the circle where's nova right. going let's see a team let me, let me just uh rub my eyes real quick is that right? oh they knocked the one one of the eye pyre oh zebra master got a dreamy as nova esports is losing players to none other than uh... zebra masters man everything is just going the wrong way here for nova esports and, and honestly, Nova, Nova in this like water treatment area, this is usually their circle. I've seen them dominate from positions like this so many times before. Long is just pushing what's going knocked. on here. Long and Paraboy looking to just head straight into Vampire Esports. Yeah, Nova just, you know, uh, not really looking too hot here today or in this tournament so far at all. I wouldn't be surprised if next time we end up seeing Nova we're gonna end up seeing some roster changes again <laughs> with the way they've been playing this uh this tournament so far because I think right nova now it's not prelims. working out their way i think they really so need i think nova needed some prelims under their belt you know i think oh. they needed a good little warm-up tournament just to kind of get a feel for this lobby feel for this area because we we i've said it before land's a different story folks try to listen to footsteps when you got whistles blowing at max volume right in front of your face you know what i'm saying it is not easy for sure so 
Uh, but we're seeing teams adapt, right? I mean, Reject all the way from Japan, putting in work. Bloom has been really, really getting it done here, especially if they're able to take out next Rio right next to them. Yeah, and the firepower Bloom has been able to showcase too. I feel like that's what was impressive to me. We always talk to about be honest, that can make guys, those jumps that can make those leaps. I think guys, we're gonna be switching over to the fight here with Vampire Esports and Nova. No, PMGO is more competitive is. than PO. What do you players guys think? Alive, and if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be I think PMGO Global Tournament is way more competitive and than PO. See, man, they usually don't give much emotion, but it's not looking good there for the PO teams may be good at third parties, so, you know, use the bugging well. running people over, but like we need to come to the competitiveness of the lobby pmgo wins that's it for team falcons they end up getting eliminated and now off a seven on the sides of boom and we know what boom can do if we put a j team here they would got demolished bro no not hating j team but like i'm just making an example right if we put a if we put a j team in here in this lobby bro and you can see that even these top teams they're not trying to take crazy crazy shots they're trying to gather intel Maybe they'll shoot one bullet, just single tap, because they can afford to lose, you know, five, ten bullets. But they're not spraying like crazy. So does this mean I don't have to do P uh, watch parties anymore? What do you guys think? These teams like uh, <laughs> an inch, right? Earlier, what was it? I think it was in Erringill <laughs> when we were casting too. We saw one player from SGG just standing down at the open for barely a second, and as soon as somebody spotted him, okay, you're knocked. Yep. <laughs> Zero breathing room for a lot of these teams with the skill that we have available. I mean, here I'm just joking. I'm just troll. I'm just trolling on YDD, man. <laughs> I'm just trolling on YDD, guys. Don't take it personal. Where Alpha Seven is gonna be? They don't know that it's Alpha Seven, but they at least know where that team is gonna be at. And boy, if they for some reason do end up knocking somebody from Alpha Seven and confirming. No, I myself is a PO fan. I watch PL, bro. I watch P. I, I, I literally I watch this every single match in 2024 PL matches with you guys. Start seeing them focus a little and bit translating every single area. thing. Focus on seeing if they can maybe get another angle on a different player and harm their rotation a little bit more. Let's see what. Nah, why did he wouldn't mind? We joke around with each other often, you know. Creeping up. This is that. Like he was on my team. This is gonna start getting intense in the next few minutes. Boom, looking to hold down next Rio a little bit longer. Parable, I get the knock on a doozy. J team? Do you mean Japanese team? No, I'm. J team is a PL team called the J team. And Paraboy is finally saying, oh, I got a little bit of CQC still left in me. Oh, Paraboy. I think that's going to be about it because here comes the rest <sighs> of Vampire. And, yup, that is going to do it for Nova today. Going with the player right there. And something that I keep seeing more and more of Nova Esports, especially when we get into the close quarter fights. I don't know if they just don't like using them or I don't know if they're just... You should have watched their weekly them, scrims more. Me? Fringer, really who are you talking about? Me? DBS is as much as we're used to seeing some of the other teams and I feel like that could be a big meta difference between... Eason said order is meta again. Over there in China. This, is this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Next, Ruya currently in fourth place, trying to keep on challenging there for that championship spot. That first place. Getting mad. And so far, they've been able to do everything that they need to do. High it's not five. good. A team that's in last place. We're wondering what they're going to be doing. And this is what I think they're going to be doing, especially right now and possibly tomorrow as well. They could be hindering some of the teams that could challenge there for that top spot. As we saw, they are not scared. They are not scared. For just like when I signed. A star. Able to see in the qualifier finals, when well, NDG signed that, player star, because I played with the star sure. back in Nova Esports, he he's a player who cannot so control his temper so at all. Here. Like two years ago, back I play, back we played for Nova Esports together with the cat, with the current Nova coach. So he actually he cannot control his temper at all. He actually got in a fight with the cat in game while we're while the rest of the players are still playing. Single game if they and the next, th I mean, the so next what? thing I know is he it was kicked out of the Nova Esports. There's no difference in, there's no real big difference in price. So after you know these years, yeah. right? And talking about that, this was starting to be a little bit more. When with the NHP is trying to resign, star. I made it sure he corrected his temper. No matter how good he is or how how much his IGL improved over the years, I made it sure. That would be insane for this. No matter what happened in game, even bigger jump up in no matter if FS missed a 10 shots or 20 shots or 30 shots shotgun bullets on one player, you can be mad at me because you are the ideal.
by none other than Swain. Swain's gonna be able to spot another player. Oh, he moves just in time. But this was the opening that next Rio was looking for. I think this is and this is the tournament where they need to be careful. Modern World Learn from Boom Esports does have a DVC to come to his time. No matter know what, this team what? Able to do with that DV things, very close by. No matter what happened in game, you just can't be mad. With a shotgun to his name as well. Who's gonna Especially if you're an IGL. That's all he's trying to do. Okay, you even just fragger, bro. So that way they can get these reses off, but they're not going to be able to. They're forced to crawl way too far. So it is going to be a 2v3 versus next Rhea. Oh, that knock from Frozen. So good. What did I say, guys? Anar Rix. Anar versus Boom. And now we're seeing this in this one. He's trying to secure as many points for his team as possible. It seems like Anar is currently winning. He's but we will see how Fren Frenzy play this. Meanwhile, if there was ever a time for Alpha 7 to third party a fight, this will be it considering that Alpha Frenzy, 7 is go for the two. One versus the three instead of reviving his teammates. Uh, and now get a better out of boom. Dude, Anar. I know Anar has better position than boom, but like. Anar's skunk skill is top notch. In the global lobby. Makes me feel even better because NHP got wiped by NR three like two two times in prelim. If NR is doing shit like high fi and lose every single fight against the global teams, bro, I would actually feel upset. But now actually I'm feel a little bit better now, you know, because NR is actually they're literally about to overtake Alpha Seven. You can see their and so far, trying to see if anybody's gonna be giving him an angle. I think they've won 90% of the team fights for Team Anar. Anar versus Smoke Gaming. Let's see this. Oh, what a shotgun! Knock. Oh my goodness! Somebody stop Neto because that was a filthy 180. And not to mention with a pump shotgun of all things, you're gonna start applying the pressure even more. Smoke need every point. And then I'll collect this. Need these so much more. Oh! And Z will get Frozen's the last one. He got mollied? He's dead. Close and personal. And then now here comes He's no, he has no shot. Oh, didn't they hear him jumping? Rhea. And uh, can he pull off a miracle? He needs every single point he can get. <gasps> He's stuck in the corner in the house. Oh, Crazy, but shot. yeah, with the US nice try, team, not much you could do. So there they go out. Anar is from NA? Hell nah, bro. If Anar is from NA, bro, NHP with the sign, I mean, the heartbeat. They're from Europe. They're from, they're from Turkey. That aren't afraid of taking a fight, aren't afraid if they're gonna lose or not because of where they are currently positioned. Zebra Masters, Masters yeah. finally getting spotted there by high fives, and that's gonna be massive for some of the other teams because I see, I think that Zebra Masters player was holding the angles there for Alpha 7. That's why Alpha 7 wasn't able to push up. And on top of that, I think I saw high fives as well. Some of their players taking on some shots to Alpha 7. Alpha 7 is not in a good position. S2G right now in a great, great position as they are going to have a lot of angles towards everybody and they're going to just pick and choose who they want to fight. They might. They're, they're Guys, like the stream. Let's get you to 700 likes. This, uh, circle here. And yeah. on Your likes are, keeps oh, my live oh, stream yeah, going and down. going for, even for PR. Great position for that second, and then this second is all pop. See, uh, they're starting to hop in their vehicle. S2G rising, getting, getting that back to back really boosts them up. Now I think it's really all boosts them up. Open, right down that hill in front of them, so they're gonna have yep. to find some, some cover, make some cover if they need to. They only have a few vehicles. Yeah, there's nothing. They're Alpha Seven out in the open after this one. Oh, this will be a, this will be a hard zone for Alpha Seven. They can obviously push Smoke Gaming here and try to soak. There's no way Alpha Seven can push on Smoke Gaming. Hadrix is on drugs. An absolute war is happening though between Vampire. But do they see? Do they see the fight? Alpha Seven. They make him full send. Vampire Esports. That one is gonna hurt. D plus Kia saying thank you very much high fives we will definitely take that help there on making sure that vampire esports is next to us 
and high fights, not scared to Translate the what POV for us, Chief, and I will after the match. I don't want to switch between the matches. I took some of your advice. People were saying, like, it's because I can't do it, like, fast enough. It's actually bad and a little bit annoying. Not bad. But they need to be careful with S2G. S2G has no zone, not there. Not there. S2G could start shooting down on them. They need to be quiet. No, oh, if that's a knock, that's... So if Rebo got the knock there, that's 100% a, a full send, to be honest. Possible, not try to get any attention towards them. S2G had to hear those. I wonder what they're doing <laughs> and even thinking <laughs> about doing. Who drove to the car? S2G in their position. <laughs> Look at FO7, bro. Rebo literally so drove, drove the car so and to see, like, Mafioso and, and the yeah, other the Carrillo, they, they were, were like... Looking in that direction, trying to take some shots. He needs to get oh, they need to suppress. They need to suppress they S2G hard. They finally do. What a clutch. Oh, clutch two knocks on Alpha 7. And luckily for Alpha 7, it was actually D plus Kia that was able to save him there. But now Alpha 7 is just such oh my a, God. in such an open spot that everybody's taking shots at them. It's not just S2G. Now it's D plus Kia. And on top of that, it's going to be Reject. And it's going to be so tough. Reject right now in a great position. And they're going to realize that that's Alpha 7. So they're going to make sure that they eliminate them and create a bigger gap. Reject oh, Alpha 7 is so dead. Looking good. I feel like that's going to be it for Alpha 7. Alpha 7 only going to be able to get five points there in regards to eliminations. Plus the placement points that they're going to be getting right now, though. D plus Kia. <gasps> great, great RC here, consistent Reject, AF, guys. All these teams are truly oh. on a Sarah is no joke. The handshake the yesterday was no joke. Which one is the one that's going to come out on top? That's going to be the question. And that's why I was so shocked that Alpha 7 took that shot. I mean, I think at the same time, he was hoping to get that initial knock so they could push on the D plus Kia. Uh, but at the same time, they weren't even looking in that direction. So I think Alpha 7 should have just tried right then and there to just go for the drive. You know, crash yeah. on the compound. You know, see if you could take it. Because you're going to go out no matter what if you stay there. But uh, you know what? You still have Revel still alive. So he's out. Comzy with an aid on R RC. It really is up to S2G and to reject to make it happen. But then now they're out of circle. So we can see a win from the two bottom teams here. Oh, Rebel, Rebel sneaky. There within this zone. All this oh. There you go. S2G is not distracted. Kalsi said, I see you, buddy. Slow down. Get back to the lobby as you're only going to end up being in the top five situation. Now we're going to have rejects here versus S2G. And meanwhile, S2G is going to have to you be the sniper or shotgun or double barrel. to D plus Kia as well. All this team, this is just such a tough fight here for S2G and for Reject. Meanwhile, High Fights 2 is going to be over there next to D plus Kia. That's a double and barrel. Of these teams can take it when it comes to here comes RC. And D plus Kia. The push. One of RC players got knocked. Stop. Switch C. D plus Kia taking on some shots. Sora got knocked. Being able to knock RC. Oh. Reject as well and making it easy. RC got wiped. S2G. Oh, DK uh, was helping them too. Need to take out these teams of reject and S2G. Nice try, RC. Just S2G up left. <gasps> back to back chicken, guys. Back to back to back chicken dinner for RSG, bro. He's gonna be stacked. Finds a for S2G. What were you doing there? That's that off angle taken away. They should be able to get this res. Nah, I don't think they can get the chicken. The zone's pushing. It would take a miracle for S2G to get the chicken in this game. But nine kills, third place? Not bad at all. CEO with the filthy angle there on that D plus play. It seems like the more whistles Brazilian audience was blowing, the worse Brazilian teams are playing and the better other regions team are playing. So the whistles, I don't believe the whistles are cur I don't know. These whistles are cursed, the guys. Honestly, if if I was to curse the whistles. If you were to ask me if my life was on the line, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to pick anybody. If mine was, I'm betting high fives. I think their position is just too strong considering how this zone is closing. S2G is hard focused on D plus Kia here. And with this zone starting to press, D plus Kia actually might push on the high fives. If they do, S2G oh. could be at a big advantage. But Wait. oh, that nade from Rob. Do S2G still so, have zone? So brutal. Then Let's the second place? High fives now finally starting to get Wait, they still have so much area to work around? And it's all Yo, win. this could be the S2G game. Final game <gasps> of day number two. 
And it might not just oh, the roof position with Monkey. Has three players monkey being Monkey on the roof. Let's see. Bro, if Hi-Fi lose this, I would lose my mind. There's no way Hi-Fi lose this. Nice. Nate. Monkey. Wait, I recognize the player from from Hi-Fi. That that player was he playing for Madbull? Was that the player playing for Madbull? Regardless, winning a chicken dinner in a global open like this is a major achievement if you're a team <clears> that came all the way from the qualifiers here seven yeah and if i'm one of those teams like s2g like rejects looking for those extra points this is not what i want to see here i that's that that's maybe the least thing i want to see here the team that was in last place being able to get a chicken dinner being able to get some eliminations as well because that's just going to give them confidence yep. that's going to give them more confidence than they already came in with and we've been saying it they got nothing to lose you got absolutely nothing to lose so if you are going to be taking all those points what does cqc the top, mean cqc means happen, close quarter combat means maybe at the top we'll 2k 23 did you just sub to my channel because i use cqc in my videos a lot Anybody that's with How do you improve your close quarter combat? Yeah, I will in say PUBG something Mobile. that I really, really like from High Fives is what they did in the qualifiers, right? The last game of the day, they it's Snow and Rubs from and SPG. The other two has zero achievements. Got it, got that's it. That's exactly what they did. You can see the excitement <clears> the fact that they won this game in the final. Nova POV. I know you guys are waiting for Nova POV. I'm waiting that for I'm waiting for that too. Let's see the especially for this squad because if they're confident. Let me go to a bathroom and I will be right back to translate boys. We could do this, you know. What happened the top last match of the day on Nova POV. Okay, just give me 30 seconds for these top teams. I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. Let the madness begin tomorrow because with the way today ended, I don't know what's going to be happening tomorrow. And I mean, Alpha 7 in a way, even though uh, they didn't end up getting the points that we wanted them to, they did end up with some good eliminations. S2G as well, being able to play second place here, almost three chicken dinners in a row. That's what you want to see two out of those challenging teams. And then not only that, we saw Boom being able to get some Milims. We saw Reject being able to get some Milims. Sute. The I, I I don't know who's going to end up winning tomorrow with the way everything is currently playing out. I mean, every finals time, there's always so much going into the last day. And I, yep. I love I love the way it plays out. Every, it's always like day one, you have your leading superstar, right? And you think yep. that's going to be the storyline. And there's like maybe two teams, two, three teams that you're like, oh, they, they're they going to have a chance. It's probably going to be these four teams we watch out for. But no, day number two, everything just gets switched up and going into day number three, it's like everybody has a piece of the cake. And I love that you mentioned like high fives, right? The last place team just got a chicken dinner. That's Did they go over the standings yet? Everybody in this lobby could put out some hurt, do some pressure, go crazy, go wild. And the top team, the second team, third place, fourth, nobody is safe at this point, like you said absolutely nobody's safe and on top of that i mean teams towards the top we're talking about rejects we're talking about next uh, next ruya at 1.2 s2g we're still living some big titans out of the conversation mm. that they could insert themselves into the conversation look what happened with s2g s2g insert themselves in the into the conversation with just two matches and the, and I was I was the one nitpicking at mouse saying where's this championship team? Where's All right. the team? We'll watch the stand later. The so now players. let's switch back to the Nova. <laughs> From uh, PMGC when Are they, they going to winning. Uh, ratings? The they're rankings? To show up. And the crazy part. Nah, they're still not right showing now, our rankings. Let's go to the Nova POV. Vampire Esports, Team Falcons as well. And the CEO while we're around. Those teams Nova. could definitely end up getting some chicken dinners and back it up with eliminations because we know that they're capable of. We know that they have showed that in the past. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do we give you give you no info? Watch circles. Get near vehicles. No, your car says no tire. Can you just cover me? Can you just cover me, where, can you cover me from the compound? Oh my god! Oh, that, that, was that low? I was like Paraboy hacking! I knock one, knock one in the compound. The I got. I got, I got shot from the back. Order said, uh, I will cover you guys. Go, go take their heal. Go take, go take their heal. Oh, I got knocked. I got knocked. Revive me first. Okay, Long side uh, two guys on me. Terrible, you can go first. In the support long. Go 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 go. That guy may nading, maybe nading. Long said that I, I got people on me. Everybody said I can't really force in. Order said, uh, we can fight, we can fight this, but uh, they only have two. Long got knocked, long said, what the fuck? You got zone. You got zone. Everybody said, uh, I think Vampire is crushing. They're coming, they're coming. Nice. nice. One more. Oh, there is asking long. Can you can you just you know nade them so that you know to force them to move back so that they wouldn't shoot my car? And order is mad now. Order said, "Of uh, and, and long replied, I didn't know you guys were coming." And order said, "Of course we're coming." Cause Zone is pushing. And then that's the end of the POV. Oh, uh, and order is mad and long. So order thinks long should while the order, you know, successfully over 
watched alone and let alone get to near vampire Long should smoke up, smoke either smoke them or throw some nades on, on the, at the top so that the vampire players wouldn't have such nice angles on order but to be honest, I mean, Long can probably do that but still, I feel like vampire can find other angles to knock order to be honest but uh, order, yes, order is mad and Long for nah doing things when he when he gets close when he gets close to a uh, vampire and the Chinese caster was just saying like they tried and Oh, Nova, I think they only got 10 or 20 points. Nova basically put a NHP first day in prelim. Like NHP in prelim's first day performance today. This is a, that's a pretty hard This is a pretty hard one. I guess the best wish for them is to, you know, just, I guess, order first of all. Order needs to calm down. And obviously, you know, they can do the water review and talk about the mistakes players made into these matches. Tomorrow, just give their, literally just give their best shot, you know? And uh, play, try improve. Yeah, Jimmy won't be back, guys. Don't even think about it. Jimmy will not be back. Don't even think about it. And uh, let's. Bro, how come my cursor disappear from time to from time to time, bro? I'm like weird. They want to think okay, back in the right time. strategy about the movement and how they're going to do the game later. Back from the right time. Perfect. And also I want to ask you how do you plan to spend the rest of your day so you can come tomorrow in your best level? Uh, they just want to come back to the hotel and sleep, sleep a lot, and they're sure they will come tomorrow full of energy. Perfect. And last, I want to ask you, how do you feel about the possibility of winning the 2024 PNGO, especially when it comes to the fact that it's the first international tournament of the PUBG Mobile uh, scenario in this year? Uh, Kotoshino <coughs> Guys, I'm sad. You guys are like, you guys are making fun. Perfect. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations. You can translate your better than him. Do you know Japanese player? To your whole team, you were amazing. Congratulations. And we continue with more content of 2024 PMGO Brazil. Thank you so much. See you soon and stay tuned. In we haven't checked the rankings, man. 
It's a ranking. Hot jukes, two things. Oh, here's a I've ranking. I've been inspired by that interview. I've been inspired by the performance. You know, <laughs> try my seven? Five, seven five, said, four. I'm inspired. Seven said, I got inspired from that interview. Seven is sus. As they are truly in first place there with the Someone clipped that and sitting on the axe, guys. Someone clipped that. Clip. Clip it and sending on the axe. Seven said he's he's getting he got scared. he got inspired oh, I, I from this, the interview. But I'm also like just like ah, look at that. Even boom, 91 total points. Any Seven is sus. Literally on this first page, could make a crazy run tomorrow after what I. Oh my gosh, Shivan! I think I just thought the reason why okay, West RC is doing really well. Bad. Showed us right like six games. Heck, even three games. Yo, high five is like jumping into the pole. We got chicken. Maybe. Maybe not like 11th downwards, like around the 50 point mark, but still, six games is a lot of games, a lot of potential. It is gonna be a lot of potential, man. Anything can happen tomorrow, boys. Before we end the day, any final words? Anything that surprised you on this day too? <laughs> seven wants. I mean, obviously. Green said like seven wants to be interviewed. Score of 40 <laughs> points in two games. At this level, it's unbelievable. I mean, the fact that we're seeing such big point sponges is really me, me, making me scared bro tomorrow. pmsl I america's I, I am not me envious of or the seven at all brazilian casters and hosts if they get any how about you Sute? i will for sure uh, wear a earplug can we just fast forward <laughs> when my team is playing the <laughs> PM, pmsl like, like the america's bro much, there are gonna be a lot of whistles time. bro I'm with you. I'm having to monitor my heart here. I'm having to calm down, especially with the performances that we have seen today. We got a chance to see Team Falcons. We saw what they were able to do. Maybe we'll end up seeing them tomorrow, or who knows? Maybe, Maybe we'll this is the reason why this lobby is so competitive because every the team they want Global to get into Brazil 2024. Make sure you guys tune I see in. Now. Once again, I my see name is the Seven Worlds Gaming alongside Hot Jukes and Sute, and we'll see you tomorrow. Order just need to be chill. She finds NHP lineup already locked over. You guys might recruit more players. We're always open for players. We are, our roster is not is not locked at all. We are open to try out experienced players only. Players with certain amount of achievements. Like top 10 fraggers in some regions. Or, you know, not just NA players. No matter where you live on the world, if you're good, we try it out. And if you have experience, we try it out. Even Falcon Falcon also struggling. They didn't show the Falcon POV, so but like Falcons Falcon players looks really chill. I don't believe they I don't believe they act like a owner to be honest. Oh here's the here's a here's a cringe PUBG mobile music song and then not a mu not a song but like the mu music video the cringe one <laughs> i'm down bad bad bro <laughs> what's this lyrics bro i'm down bad bad This, this 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 lyrics are sus. Starting of the song is kind of sus. I was like, yeah, it's kind of sus. What? I'm down bad bad. It's crazy how hilarious it is. <laughs> I wasn't really close the stream, but like they put this out. Let's, let's. I'll just watch it one more time, bro. The song is about the host. <sighs> Man, what a bad day for Nova.
Bob Jack's Island Walker was the best. Yeah, at least he does. Island Walker it doesn't come with the lyric. I'm going. I'm down bad, bad, bro. Yo, thank you, Green, for the super chat. Have a great day, Shifan. Thank you, Green. You have a great day, too. Appreciate your support, always. Thank you for being here in, the, in my every single of my stream. And how many months are you in already? Like with that gold batch, are you like five, five months or six months already? Green is like the OG OG in the chat. You used to blast a song in your in-game. Six months. Thank you, Green. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, thank you all for coming today. And tomorrow I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. And we'll be watching the last day of the PMGO Grand Finals, aka main event. And uh, we'll be doing the same thing, having two streams. Um, and also being doing the translating for the Nova POV. To be honest, do you think do you think there will be Nova POV tomorrow? I feel like they may not show the Nova POV. I got a feeling that we won't be able to see Nova POV tomorrow, considering like what they did today. Um, I don't know. We will see tomorrow. See if we got a Nova POV. But if they do, I will definitely be. I will definitely be the one translating. Because according to my experience, PL PL only shows. Team's POV when that team is performing. You don't really show if the team is like the performance is going downhill, they they often don't show. So I think tomorrow there's a chance that we may not be seeing like Nova POV. We want to see NA on top, not 17, 17 slash 18. NHB actually didn't get a 17. Oh, the, wait, who was it? But yeah, like trust, trust me. Like we're trying our best to recruit the best player possible for the roster. But like building a roster takes time, especially this is like literally a roster like three months new. And uh, but I, I guess you guys, we could see some potential in the roster to be honest. But uh, we're always looking for more players. Unfortunately, we won't be able to sign DE for now because they signed up for PMSL qualifiers. We'll be seeing, we'll be watching their performance closely and see who came on top and top fragger, like in the PMSL qualifiers and uh, see then. And Kindness and Koi, they are actually playing the PMSL qualifier too. So by then, I guess we can watch how they perform. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Enough for the... Oh wait, Parabui, they got a, we got an interview coming. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. That was a Parabui second. Ah. That was a Parabui second. 今天我们的选手的行程真的非常的紧密，非常的忙碌啊。那今天的比赛过后呢，已经来到了世界赛第二天的。So today's the second day. Okay, I'll watch just a little bit of it. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably. That's my God. What? 呃，就是我们第一天打完的话，然后复完盘，其实会发现其实问题，其实问题已经其实总结出来了，然后但是可能也是因为呃世界赛的压力比较大，然后第二天的话，其实我们出现了新的问题。Parabry said, actually, after the first day, we kind of like already summarized the mistakes we made, but because of the pressure, really pressure from the global tournament, I think in the day two, in the day two, we new issues popped out and new problems were shown. Paraboy is talking about the game. I do the ball review. But Older's his path is to first get Kasu and then get the ball and then get the ball and then get the ball and then get the ball. 
呃，我觉得这可能是一个适应的一个问题，因为我们也很久没有去打这种国际的这种比赛啊。Herbert said we haven't played a global tournament for so long. 我们自己的赛区的比赛的节奏是完全不一样的，因为我我们我现在也没有办法确定到底是应该先卡还是我挂一。Herbert is saying that so the match, do you all remember the match I did? I did I did an analysis on. 但是 I was saying that Herbert went into the circle too early. So Parabol is actually saying that order is think is thinking the same as me, like gatekeeping teams. And the first then going to the rock where Parabol was at. So Parabol Parabol is talking uh is saying that now he can't really be sure. Like he seems he thinks teams are. Like nobody's still adapting because they haven't played the global tournament for so long, and he's right now he's not. A hundred percent sure that should he go to that rock or listen to all this call. So also for the new players, the players are having a new play players are having greater pr pressure. So Nova actually like you know haven't played global tournament for like four hundred and fifty days. 呃，所有的目前为止拿过的世界冠军全部都在这个舞台上齐聚一堂。And PMGO, like all the defending champions are here, and also there are a lot of Brazilian strong teams, and also the jet lag. 如此众多的一个嗯难度系数大的因素之下，我们是怎么进行抗压或者说自我调节的 ？And how did you guys like you know adapt to these? 现在其实还在，其实我们现在一一直是。一个高压的一个状态，因为,因为每个人其实，其实没有人，因为更想去把每场打好。We want to play the best games every single match. 出现一些问题，这些问题不是我们本意要发生的，但是。But there are definitely some problems showing and issues showing these problems we didn't mean to make them, but uh, it happened. Mistakes, mistakes happen. So, but they are trying to, they are trying to do their best. Despite these mistakes, you just realize she went to Brazil too. Yeah, she actually went to Brazil. Paraguay said, uh, I think the most important thing is we all take, we all relax and take a step back, like relaxed, take it easy. We thought we were doing well, but we came to a new stage and met a new team, and there were all kinds of strange things happening. And so, what we showed is that we are very calm. It's not our own pace. And Paraguay said, you know, because of all the pressures and you know, not being able to adapt to the global team fast enough. And also, we were not—we were actually not playing ourselves. We're not playing. We're not playing, we're not playing like ourselves. 能克服他们的，就是你们自己了。所以今天晚上回去背水一战，为明天最终的六把比赛。So show you said. 过程肯定要拼尽全力去把它打好。So after day two, 今天晚上的一个目标计划是怎么样的呢？呃 ，What's your plan for tonight? 昨天，昨天我们，昨天我在那个开游戏的时候，我看到了 IHC 他们在。在练他那个一个地图，所以我看了那个地图代码，说我们也过去练。我昨天练了一个晚上。Paraboy said, uh, I, I saw what IHC players were playing the WOW mode. And uh, Paraboy said, I saw the code, the room code that I was practicing all night. So I guess tonight we will be still be playing the WOW mode and you know, trying to improve our team fights and stuff. 今天发生的问题，昨天发生的问题，然后。Hopefully tomorrow we don't make the same mistakes tomorrow. And uh, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Paraguay said, uh, in the middle of the match, I kind of want to like you know, cheer my team up, but like I think it's already too late. We are already not playing like ourselves. 这个做事情才能更轻松彻底一点。对对对。哎，不要有那么大压力，我相信所有在我们主场看比赛的观众朋友们，虽然很担心前线的一个情况，但是内心深处无论怎么样都是会支持我们 P 要赛区代表的队伍来到呃如此辽远的世界赛来比赛。加油啊！So fighting. Okay, Nova fighting. And uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Uh, 好好休息。那以上呢就是我们的采访。在下方面，要欢迎你们休息。我我觉得吧，他说的这个。
呃，有一个点啊，就是他想要给队友们加油鼓劲，但是已经是加不起来了。Boys, it's late for me, and thank you all for coming in today. I'll see you tomorrow. 就跟上上周进没进周约一样，其实我一直在带动气氛，但是没什么太多用。因为已经到那种 NHB well said, DE the current NHB and DE is better than current NHB roster in every way. 就感觉他们已经是。We'll be supporting DE and A from now. 就是很努力的在带领。You never know. Let's let's see how the performing PMSL qualifiers. 今天的这个。We need the stats to back it up. We can't just like sign players because they play the PMGC. 其实能够感受得到啊，从这个第三局。It doesn't work like that. 结束了之后。And also we can. They didn't provide enough VODs for the coach to review. They only provide the like two matches, and that's it. We can't sign players or sign teams based on two live stream or whatever low tier NA because NA doesn't have a lot of good practice. We can't sign players based on two. Live stream VOD, and there just weren't enough. There weren't enough time for us to proper, properly try out players before the PMS will qualify. So we just need to let the PMS will qualify play, and it will be play, picking players from there. And thank you all, and I'll be seeing you guys. Tomorrow, okay. Come back tomorrow with every questions you have. You need to go now. Thank you all. Bye bye. See you guys tomorrow.